Hey guys, welcome back to another VOD. This is from the 14th of January, 2022. I have a, my calendar is down there. I have to look at the date because my brain is a colander as we speak about frequently during this VOD. <laughs> it was a 50-50s leveling stream. Uh, I got a bit done, you'll see, um, obviously, as you watch the thing. Um, fair warning, we talk a lot about food. In fact, we actually ordered dinner. We had pizza for dinner. It was delicious. Um, but but with, there is a lot of food talk, so if you're hungry, maybe grab a snack before you start watching or like part way through or like prepare yourself to have to pause to grab a snack. Yes, I hope you enjoy. If you want to find me live, you can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Fiyama. The link is also down in the description box. I am live from 4pm Australian Eastern Standard Time that is local to Brisbane, Australia on Monday, Wednesday, Friday and Sunday. I hope I will see you in chat. Talk soon. What the fuck is my default mic set to then? That is my default. Why? Ugh. All right, something went balked, um, but it's fine now. I'm pretty sure it's fine now. Yeah, it's working now. It's fine. Thanks for that. What's that even supposed to be? I don't even know. That's fine. Cool. How is everyone? Welcome back. Welcome back. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. doing tokens that's what we're doing fantastic forest arena we're back in the pokemans back in the pokemans uh what am i placing whoa okay uh templars templars is what i'm placing which is this one yes that's my templar skin which is mogren yes uh good let me why am I going back here? I don't need to go back here. There's nothing for me to turn in because I'm a noob. What I'm supposed to be doing is placing battle plans. There you go. Enjoy. Enjoy. Right. I am on a rogue. I am on a rogue. Ah, uh, well done, dupe. On first. Yori with last. Shiva with second. Hello, duh. The 50-50 spreadsheet. Can't believe how close you are to finishes. I know, right? What the fuck? We're over 95%. I have five level 47s, I have five level 48s, and I have ten level 49s. That's it. That's it! Literally, that's that's it. That's what I have left to level. 20 tunes. Five, five, and ten. What the fuck? Wait. Jesus fucking Christ. Like, holy shit. It's we, we Uh, yeah. Most pretty spreadsheet. All my spreadsheets are pretty, duh. All of them. <laughs> uh, finally dropping a mod chat. Fantastic mod chat. Interesting. Usually you DM them to me. Obviously you want to show off somewhat. Okay, not a problem. Sounds like a plan. Hi, the Sounds sunlight. like a plan. Ah, candy friend. Much appreciate the sub. Welcome to the fear, Nutty. Got my old account back. Ah, <laughs> fantastic. Well, congratulations. Oh, dearie me. Um, 
Yes, so I've enabled a thing that the closed captions will remind me to turn them on if I haven't turned them on once I reach about the five minute mark. Um, unfortunately, usually we're still on the starting soon screen at about the five minute mark, but that, that should mean that I never miss them ever again. But we'll see. We'll see. Fantastic fear mother hypes of the fiery and ferocious wielder of fire herself. Just with fantastic RNG, wonderful loots, all the levels, and just intensely good vibes because she's awesome. Well, thank you very much, Roy. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Um, hello, Rello, welcome back. Hello, dupe. See, I unchatted one of this 2002. I don't even know what it was meant to be, though. Like, I tried copying and pasting it into, uh, into fucking, what's it called? Um, word notepad. And it didn't really do anything. So, like, it's, it's not just ASCII art, it's bad ASCII art. But anyway, that's fine. Uh, someone's face, I guess. Well, it, it was like a bunch of... Uh, uh, look, I don't even know. I don't even know. It's difficult to interpret. Uh, doing great, I hope you're well. Yeah, I'm not doing too badly, Fox. Thank you for thank you for your well wishes. This is streamed tonight, because company is here time to down. I don't think it's time. It's starting to worsen my mental health. Sounds like a plan, Shiba. Sounds like a plan. I'm um, almost level 56 on my monk's last character. Get to 60. Fantastic, Koala. Well, it's not for now, of course. It's always for now. Always for now. Even when I get to 50, 60s, eventually one day in the far off future, it's still just going to be like for now. Good lord. It's happening. Just seeing 60 on my main as soon as you start streaming. Ah, oh, well done, Pixel. Congratulations. Well done. Well done. No more random underscore. Fantastic. This vibes once again. Of course, enjoy your look. Enjoy your look. My day has been wonderful. I wanted to make an entrance to start your stream before I looked since it's been a bit. Of course. Of course. Well, enjoy the look. I hope we can provide some wonderful background entertainment for you. Wall is a general dungeon. Good. So we're in the correct expansion. Try notepad plus plus. It should up fine here. Yeah, no. I can't be fucked. It's not worth spending that much time and effort on a troll. Green master. Oh shit, that means I have to change my headset. Ah, uh, okay, give me a minute. Give me a minute. I don't have enough embers to redeem today's mount now. No, you don't. You made the choice. You made the choice. Alrighty. Uh, Alright, give me a minute. Because I have to switch everything over to the... That was me, not you. That was me. I have to switch over to the actual... The, the headset that can use... It can use the um, mic covers. Because this one... This is the mic. There's no, it doesn't attach, that is the microphone. So there's nothing to like plug in and have anything sit on. So give me a minute. Uh, where are we? That one. And then this one. Battery fully charged. I'm aware. Thank you, headset. Um, <laughs> I just unplugged you. If you weren't fully charged, I'd be a bit pissed. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Mike covered. Um, um, just hit 800 battle pets. Ah, oh, fantastic! Congratulations. Loving it. I'm so glad to hear you're loving it. Hey, Josh. I I did see it the first time. Um, I'm sure that was an accidental double post. Um, oh, the alliance. Whichever Mount Sheba wants. I'm not sure that that's how that works, but sure. <laughs> I'm a little nervous about what this um sound command is gonna be. Oh no. Oh fuck. Okay, sure. Sure. I wonder which particular. There are so many voice lines. Susan. I'm pretty- don't I not have- oh no wait, I do have them all now. Ha <laughs> ha! I forgot about that. It is getting to the point where it is exceptionally difficult for me to remember which mounts I have and don't have. Just putting it out there. So that's done. So when I actually- let me just touch down for a moment. There we go. Oh, there's a Twitcher. Fantastic. I you have it because I bought you it. Look, you've got a better memory than I. I, look. 
I've been trying to keep so much in my brain lately and it's it's not working. It's not working. I need to find me a better system of getting shit out of my head and onto surfaces, be they electronic or analog, uh, digital or analog. But um, yeah, it's something like tracking how many mounts, like which mounts I have and don't have, you know. Speaking of mounts, um, the, the mount, you, no one, no one guessed the mount yesterday. Oh, not yesterday, fucking Wednesday, but that's okay. I think we're all just a little bit more than caught up in the, um, in the story and having our heartstrings wrenched from our chests. Uh, but the mount today is one that I own and it is one that does not fly. Um, it is a ground mount and it's like warm browns and like a little bit of creamy color bit of a darker warm brown but still like warm browns like yellowy kind of browns rather than like not red browns or oranges but like definitely browns with that kind of yellowy icky sort of baby poo brown if you yep cool um and then the and then a bit of cream a little bit of a lighter colored kind of color and then um some some blue accents which is what the little pop of blue is in the corner here. I was gonna draw some stuff on my face with the blue, with the Duraline, like, like, eye, like liner kind of, but I thought, no, that's gonna be entirely too obvious. So I thought I'd just represent the color um, instead of the shapes because otherwise it would be like an instantaneous guess. But we'll see. Taking guesses, do you reckon we'll get two more 50s today? Or do you think we might be able to squeeze in a third now that we're working on level 47s? I personally think it's going to depend on how far into 47 they are. Like this one, this one's like, you know, 30% into 47. But the next one we get might be like a bee's dick away from 48. But then the third one might have only just, just hit 47, like just touched it and then that's it. So I think... I think it's going to depend pretty heavily on how full those experience bars are, but we might maybe be able to squeeze in a third. Because we got two... We got two 50s. It was a 46 to 50, and then another 46 to 50, and then a 46 to a 49 last Friday. So we were one level off getting another 50, but now that these ones are starting at 47 rather than starting at 46, we might be able to squeeze a third in, I reckon. But I don't, I don't think it's going to be fewer than two, and I don't think it'll be more than three. Hey, Chaos, doing well, thank you. Doing well. I've had a semi-productive day today. Um, I didn't get everything done that I wanted to do. But that's okay. I, I did get some things done. I ate like shit today. I've not had any healthy food whatsoever today. Like any actual food. It's all been junk. Um, <laughs> Cause apparently I hate myself. Um, I finally, finally got an email from Throne about um, my Ring Fit, Ring Fit Adventures. It got gifted to me the day we launched the wish list, which was the 17th of December. I finally heard from them and they said, you have an issue. The link you have provided, they're permanently out of stock of the gifted item. And I had a look and sure enough, it was the third link that I'd provided to them that had run out of stock and doesn't look to be restocking. So the first one I did was JB Hi-Fi and they, they removed it from their website entirely. The link no longer, it would return to 404. It was completely gone. So I replaced it with an EB Games link. Um, and then a couple weeks later, with no, no notification from Throne, a couple of weeks later, it was flagged. Uh, like, I checked it myself, and they were out of stock. It, the page still existed, but they said out of stock. And then, so I replaced it again with a Harvey Norman link. Like, that's how, like, a Harvey fucking Norman. Um, which is like an, a white goods 
uh, white goods and, and appliances store in Australia. Uh, apparently, they also do some some video game type deals as well. Um, but and that was what I'd replaced it with, and they came to me and said they've they're out of stock. And it, they are. It doesn't and it doesn't just say out of stock. It says we no longer stock this item. So um, I replaced it again. I found a Big W link, which is a department store um, here in Australia. Not don't not like Walmart kind of size, but like. Um, like a smaller department store that doesn't have, it's not like, um, grocery or anything like that. It's just like clothes and electronics and books and toys and homewares, like, like kitchen supplies and, you know what I mean? That kind of, like that kind of department store. Um, and it's like a mid range sort of one. So, uh, I found that link and I've stuck that in there and hopefully they see it and order it fucking soon because I guarantee you it's going to be sold out again in a couple of days. Uh, it's like the fucking rapid antigen tests. Everyone wants a goddamn ring fit, apparently. <laughs> so, um, that's, that's fun. Uh, but they, they respond, and it's the last, that's the last thing on my list that hasn't been ordered. That last thing that has been purchased but hasn't been ordered. Everything else has shipped. So I'm super excited. I'm expecting over the next couple of weeks there will, there will be a lot of, oh my god, look what arrived in, in Discord. Because I'm just, I'm so excited, holy fuck. It's like the Christmas that happens between Christmas and my birthday. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Ah, uh, rusted mechanic crawler. No. Three. 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 Oh, you reckon three. I'm like, why are you yelling at me? But no, now I understand. It was the conversation. Yes, good. Good, I've been ranting for too long. Fantastic. Three. You reckon three? I hope so. Because finishing up on 3350s would be really nice. Especially considering that the drop chance of the Heartbreaker is one in three thousand three hundred and thirty-three. If we can, if we can get three tunes, like finish on thirty-three out of fifty today, maybe that's a good omen. Maybe that's a like a really good omen. Oh my god, I'm so nervous, you guys. You don't fucking understand. Like I am, I am both extremely excited for Love Is in the Air and fucking dreading it. It's just, it's a combination of both. Um. February, and I've I've recently learned um, that there is even more shit happening in February than I was aware of. So I look, I'm gonna take half of March off. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm not going to. But I am, I am just, I'm gonna need, holy fuck, I'm gonna need so much fucking hype from you lot to keep me going. I'm gonna need like. The push and the support and the and the like I'm gonna need some help carrying the energy, you guys. I'm gonna need some help from you all carrying that energy throughout the entirety of February and then into March. I mean it'll it'll definitely settle down a bit in March because there are, you know, not as many hypey shit hypey things happening and all that kind of stuff. So the the hype will certainly settle down, but uh, I'm uh, I'm gonna need some help with that. I'm gonna need some help. Armored Brown Bear, no. Sundancer, no. I mean it could very much be more than three if you just do all the 49s sitting on, but that's cheating, Shiva. That's cheating. Plus, can you imagine what the what the what the what the marathon's gonna be like? It's gonna be like 50 and a 50 and a 50 and a 50. It's gonna be amazing. I am so keen for a marathon stream on the 22nd of, of January. I'm gonna cry. It's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be amazing. Armored brown bear. No. Speaking of rats, I got two yesterday. Ah, oh, congrats. That's like actually congratulations worthy these days. How fucking ridiculous is that? I'm gonna die. Yep. Fucking rogues, man. Fucking rogues. Um, I'm excited. I feel so much better today. Oh, fantastic, Yuri. I'm so pleased to hear that. Yay for feeling better. Indeed. Woke up without a headache or body aches and even cleaned my house. Aw, oh, well done. Well done. Um, speaking from experience, once you feel like you're actually back on the road to recovery, don't like, oh good, I'm better. Do all the shit. No, no, don't, don't do that because you will, you will die again. Your body will be like, <laughs> no, uh, at least mine was like, um, so I'm talking about when I came out of surgery, obviously. Um, and like once I finally, after a couple of weeks, once I finally started getting some of that energy back being like, oh yes, okay, here we go. Let's get back on the, onto this shit. Um, and I did for about three days and then I just fucking died. It was horrendous. I couldn't do anything. Uh, it just killed me. 
like death part two. Um, so yeah, highly recommend just taking it easy even while you're still like, even though you feel better, just please do take care of yourself. I only say it because I care for you and not because I'm trying to be a mother. Um, but like, you know, I just, yep. Yeah. Oh boy, it sucked. Hardcore. And I felt so bad because it was like, I had to like, I was all ready to start cleaning and doing the houseworky shit and getting back on top of stuff. And then I died and I had to say to Jess, like, I'm so sorry, but I, I cannot, I cannot, I have to rely on you still. And he was like, it's fine. You really should have done that. And I was like, I know, but like, I wanted to because I feel bad for being a burden and shit. So like, yeah, I get it. I get it. But like, oh, holy fuck, be careful. Holy fuck, be careful. Um, scrolling. Yeah, you're feeling better. Yes, we're coming. There we go. All the hypes. Find more Glade Chua. Yes. Well done, Koala. Where did Shadow Claw go? Oh my god, did I fucking bug him out? Okay, no. Oh, thank god I killed that. Okay. Um, yeah. This is Find More Glade Chua. Good job. <laughs> um, the. This one. So you got like the warm browns and shit, like the yellow toned browns and the, the bit of the cream as well. The, the, the pence is a cream and then the little, the blue. No, ah, oh, shit. It's fine, it's fine. Um, can I have a number from you, Koala? Between one and 100, please. Mm, I went to Ikea at North Lakes, getting shelves when I put vinyls, more on that later. Line started falling up at the pharmacy next door. We figured out what it was, so I jumped in line too. They would have put a sign out saying, we have stock, and then, yep, that's... Wow. Um, so I heard a rumor. Take this with an enormous handful of salt. It is, it is just a rumor. It makes sense to me, like it makes logical sense to me, which is the only reason why I'm sharing it, but I have no evidence of this. I have no proof of this. All it is is that I've heard it and it makes logical sense. And so I am deciding to share it, but please be aware that this is not confirmed and I have no evidence. What I have heard is that um, the government are offering rats uh, the rapid antigen tests for COVID to uh, pay, like concession card holders like so that's very in Australia that's a very specific group of people um so concession card holders are people like the elderly uh, people who are on medical Centrelink payments and things like that who like and it's really quite difficult in Australia to get yourself onto those um so people uh, this is so I'm assuming it's extra you know really vulnerable people who can't ex necessarily uh, afford to be able to stand in line uh, and hunt them down and all that kind of stuff may not have the know-how to do that and all that kind of shit. Um, so apparently there is a program where the government are sending limited numbers of rats to the, to that section of the community for free, but they got, they were hit by the shortage as well. Like they, they ran out basically from all these people claiming them. And so they bought out retailers. They, they, they approached retailers who were open to the general public and took all their stock. I, I'm assuming that they bought them because it's from fucking companies. Like they need to, those companies still need to make the money, especially if they've bought stock and then the government is buying it off them or whatever. But yeah, and so that's why there are shortages literally fucking everywhere because the government is buying up anything and everything that they can get their hands on to try to fulfill this promise that they've made to certain parts of the, of the co population. Keeping in mind, I have no evidence of that. It's just a rumor that I've heard, but that makes logical sense to me. So who knows? But um, yeah, interesting, huh? Oh, but that of course doesn't explain the shortages in other countries as well. So it might just be that you know there's only a certain amount that people that that come the the, the warehouses and stuff can well, the warehouses don't factories. There we go. There's only so much that a, a factory can fucking actually produce physically in 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 the opening hours of the you know the working hours of the staff and uh, and then you know that's <laughs> that's all they can make. And so if that's running out, then what the fuck are they expected to do? You know they can't just build another factory. Um, to, to house all the new, all the more um, equipment and shit to be able to make more. But yeah, it's a, it's a thing. I'm just staying home because I can't afford $90 for five tests. Um, and I can't really afford to go to a testing location because if there's one place you want to catch COVID, that's the place to do it. Lining up for a fucking test. Um, and 
yeah, it's just the whole thing is... Yeah, I'm just not leaving the fucking house. Uh, I was like, apps are fucking literally have to, of course. Uh, family of four, they only let me buy two, but hey, rules is rules. Exactly. Exactly. Um, uh, I did like one thing, leveled some, and then another thing. Okay, felt knackered after like emptying and restacking the dishwasher. I'm glad you're taking care of yourself. I'm glad I'm glad you're listening to your body and going, oh, I'm knackered? I'm a sit. That's that's a good thing. I'm glad. Uh, Jazz MVP, always. Always. Um, hey, AJ. 13 for Koala already. Sorry, I am, I am, I promise I'm reading and catching up and shit. I'm just getting there. Uh, okay. 13. Ooh, this is a good one. Um, I've actually got a copy of this. Uh, it's Layers of Fear Masterpiece Edition. It's a, um, my most watched clip ever. My most watched clip ever um, is from this game. It's great. There you go. Congratulations. Um, it's a it's a horror game. Um, and it's like jump scary and stuff. Yeah, it was great fun. Great fun. Um, what am I doing? The next bit. This one. Uh, there we go. Giveaways open for a random Steam key. This is the second chance draw for those of you who. Uh, we're not able or not willing to, to guess my makeup for the day. So exclamation giveaway to enter. You need to be following to be able to win. So just keep that in mind. Um, if you're not already, if you haven't already hit that follow button, it doesn't cost you anything. Um, and it's not like you get like, it's not like you're signing up for a fucking mailing list or anything. <laughs> I just, whenever I'm live, I'll sit over in your sidebar. Like, not, not that big a deal. So, uh... <laughs> Feel free to hit that follow button if you would like the chance to win. And then of course, exclamation giveaway as well. Great advice to someone who's had bipolar for years. I learned not to do everything at once when manic. I am I'm still learning not to overcommit. That's my big thing. Is um when I'm so I'm I don't get manic, but I do get hypermanic. Um and it's it's only for like shorter bursts. I have um cyclothermic disorder. So cyclothermic disorder is like bipolar, it just moves faster. So instead of having like weeks long like a week or so is my absolute longest swing. Most of mine last days, sometimes even hours. It's fucking exhausting. Uh, but when I'm in a hypomanic state, I tend to like, yeah, let's go meet those people and let's let's catch up for lunch and let's let's go and, and we'll go clubbing and we'll and we'll go on a holiday and we'll go and do this thing and we'll go do that thing. And yes, I'll do that stream. That'll be awesome. And yeah, I'll totally edit all these videos and put them in a place and I'll do all these incredible things and, and blah 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 like all this shit. And I commit to all of it and then I come down and I'm like, why the fuck did I commit to leaving the house? What have I done? <laughs> um, and I I don't like, I mean, I'm sure most people don't like cancelling on, on stuff, but there it gets to the point where some things, something's got to give. Um, and often if I've committed to something stream-wise, especially like marathon streams or charity streams and stuff like that, I, I can't pull out of that. I mean, I could, but that reflects really terribly on me as, as a person to work with, as a contractor. Um, so I can't really do that without taking a really big hit to my business reputation. Um, so often it's the social stuff that has to kind of fall through, which blows. Um, but yeah, look, it's, it's not a, do not recommend. Do not recommend. Um, so what you're saying is we need to keep an eye on mailboxes of the oldies down the road. No. Stealing mail is actually against federal law. Just putting it out there. Scov, I'll take your entire stock. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, which is interesting. I don't, yeah, but again, I don't know if it's actually the case. I don't have any evidence for that, but it's um, kind of, it's an interesting thought, hey. And I mean, for once in their lives, good on them for doing something that, um, like actually doing something to fulfill a promise that they made rather than just going, oh, sorry, we can't actually do that anymore. Tough shit. Like they're actually making an effort to do that. It does mean that others, like people who are not part of vulnerable populations are not getting, being able to get their hands on stuff, but 
you know, there's there's only so much stock in, and to be perfectly honest, the vulnerable people who can't leave the house are the ones who should have those fucking tests. You know? Like, that's, honestly, that's where they should be. But anyway. Uh, the new reporter retailers bitching the government took their order, like Channel 7 News, maybe. Oh, maybe that's where the person I heard it from got it from. Yeah, I have no evidence of it, but that was, like, that's what I heard through the grapevine. Which is really interesting. Uh, so we have that microchip shortage. Supposedly it takes like six months to produce a microchip. So the supply is quite finite. Yeah. Interesting. Six months to produce a microchip. Holy shit. I didn't know that. That's really interesting. Layers of fear. That'd be an interesting game, wouldn't it? What would- okay. Layers of fear as opposed to fear as in like a, a fear of something, a phobia of something, that kind of thing. So layers of fear or layers of fiyama, what would that game be about and what kind of game would it be? Like what genre would it be and, and what's the what's the deal? What, what do you have to do in the game? Tell me. Ah, uh, that sounds amazing. It's super good. Like I hate it, but it's super good. I only hate it because I hate horror games. But I played it with uh, a friend of mine, and it was just fucked. <laughs> uh, I believe the cl the clip is called "Ha Ha Ha Fuck" or something similar. Um, is there any region lock on these giveaways? Not that I'm aware of. Usually, I say that kind of shit when I'm talking about the giveaway. Uh, enjoy your lurklicity! Oh, hello, Jackie. It's been 20 months where I never left my house at all. Looking back was a bad thing at the time. It's like, where I was at the time? Yeah, it's a battle, but you just grow with it. Yeah, exactly. And while you're still, like... And after you get a fucking diagnosis like that as well, you've got to relearn who you are and fit, like, okay, so that's why I did that, or that's why I do that, or that's why I am the way that I am and then you've got to like you've got to redefine your whole fucking world and understand new ways of coping with it instead of like for, for me for example instead of you know I, I would overbook myself to over over not, not overbook myself as in like double booking for the same slot but I would overbook my capacity to actually attend this kind and do this kind of shit all the time all the motherfucking time I would constantly do it um, and, and overcommit and be like, yeah, I can do this and 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 and then I'd get there and be like, I can't do 90% of this shit, I can only do 10%. So once I kind of recognized that that was a pattern that was going on with me because of my cyclothymic disorder, it, it took me a while and I'm still learning, but I've come, I've come to understand how long it actually takes me to do something, both when I'm hypermanic and when I'm down, like when I'm low, like highs and lows. Yep. So when I'm high and when I'm low, I don't get high as in, like it's illegal in Australia, but that's, I'm talking about my mood swings, right? Cool. Um, so in my highs, I, I can, I can do this much stuff, but in my lows, I can only do, let's say 20, 30% of that. Um, and then my normal is somewhere around this 50 to 60% of my highs. So it's like this, yeah. Mm -hmm. So what I've learned to do is actually before I commit to anything, look at my fucking calendar. Um, and I keep, oh, look, it works. I don't have to place a spell. I'm so happy. Um, like I, I check my calendar and I book shit in. I, anytime I commit to anything, I book it in my calendar. Um, and that way, like... That way, when I'm when I'm looking to commit to something, not only do I look at my calendar for that day, but I look at the week prior and the week after as well, and I kind of see, okay, am I doing like a lot of social stuff around this time? Am I have I committed to a whole lot of stuff? Like, am I committing to go and do an appointment, but I've got like a lunch the day before and a marathon the stream the day after? Like, is this how am I? Is this actually going to work for me, or am I going to be fucked? Um, like. Am I going to exhaust myself? And so I've started, like, I'm still not quite there yet. Um, I still do find myself overbooking every so often, but it's got a whole lot better. And I'm learning how to say no to people as well. Like, there have been uh, two things um, that I've had to say no to just recently. Um, one was a charity stream towards the end of February. Um, uh, firstly, because it's it's February and everything's just an absolute shitstorm, but also because I don't know when my surgery is going to be. And I, there's another one in March that I've, I've turned down um, because I, I just don't, I don't know when my surgery is going to be and I'm not going to know until the 10th of February. 
and if um even even once that's done like I don't know how long it's going to take me to recover. I don't really want to have a big event right before surgery because I know how anxious I'm going to be and I'm going to need to like step up my game with um, like all my housework and, and pre-prep and all this kind of stuff so that there's not a shitload of work that builds up while I'm recovering and stresses me out because that stress is going to make my recovery take longer. And all, so it's, I'm, I'm learning how to manage my workload, but um, I'm still getting there. I'm still getting there. It's an it's an ongoing journey, and it will for years, no doubt, because my own capabilities will change as well. Um, congratulations to Asher and to Pulse on all your bonus shit. Well done. But yeah, recognizing for yourself how much energy it takes to do different things, and then not overcommitting. It's um. It's a big thing. It's it's a it's one hell of a learned skill. Um. But yeah, I could have sworn I've already done this. Should be fine, so if I go back here... Yeah, I've killed three melee. And I've set three battle plans, uh, five battle plans rather. So what's my next challenge? 50 event tokens, that should be easy enough. But yeah, it's a, uh, it's one hell of a journey. Let me tell you. Um, a lot of friends suffer from some sort of anxiety, myself included, feel like when coming out of a slump, all the emotional energy gets spent right away. It's this intense desire to catch up with pumps you, which pumps you right back down the hole. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I've definitely learned to not do that because, you yeah, know, it sucks. It sucks. Um, I, I've learned that, um, not everything can be caught up on. Um, some things definitely can be like, you know, you catch up on emails. It'll take you a little bit longer, but you can you can do it. And it doesn't take too, too much energy either. Um, but, and, and social media, like catching up on responses and stuff. But things like social media, like emails, no matter how old they are, they may still be applicable. You can, of course, you know, realize, oh, that was sent two weeks ago. The window is passed and you can send a quick apology email and just be like, hey, that's cool, no worries. Um, and then social media stuff, at some point you've just got to be like, nope, I'm not going to respond to anything older than blah. Um, catching up on exercise, don't do it. Don't ever, 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 ever try to catch up on exercise. It's just not worth it because you end up overexerting yourself, you end up injuring yourself. It's just not fucking worth it. If you miss three days of a program, if you if you've done seven days, you're up to you're up to day eight of a program and you miss three days, don't try to do eight, nine, ten, and eleven on day eleven. Just do day eight. Maybe repeat day seven to to remind your body of where you were up to, and then just jump in and back at day eight, and then do day nine the next day, etc. Um because you'd you just be so much healthier that way. So much healthier. Um cleaning and shit, don't bother trying to catch up. Just just go back to your regular routine. Stuff will be a little messier, yeah but it's not gonna fucking kill you. Don't eat off dirty dishes, obviously, because that could kill you. But like, do you know what I mean? There are, there are so many things that you just do not have to catch up on. You don't have to. It's unnecessary. So why, like, don't do it. It's not worth it. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, Especially things that are like daily tasks that people feel like, oh, I've, I've lagged behind this many days. I need to need to do three days of work in one. No, you don't. No, you don't. Whoever told you that was lying. Um, well as well. Indeed. Indeed. Hey, Axiom. F'd up February. Fuck yes. Fucked up February. Saying no is a massive thing. It is. It is. Especially when it's an opportunity that could, like, from from my perspective, um, like, I'm, I'm trying to grow a business here, you know? And so these opportunities, jumping in with these, uh, like, even if it's not a financial benefit to me, things like charity streams, jumping on big events that may get me more exposure and, and you know, open me up to, to new audiences who haven't heard of me previously, that's, that's a huge opportunity. But being able to say no to something that would benefit you because of other, like, it sucks, 
but it has to be done. It, it has to be done. If I said yes to every single opportunity that came my way, good lord, I'd be dead. I'd be dead. Hey Jack, doing well, how are you? How are you? Exercise is a daily quest, not a rough grind. Exactly. Exactly. Once you've missed a day, that's it. It's You've missed a day. And that's fine. That's totally okay. But you need to come to terms with that. Like... <laughs> If you if you try to catch up, you will fuck yourself over, and then you will have then you'll miss even more, because you'll be injured and unable to. Yeah, nah. Don't exercise. Got it. Sure, sure. <laughs> I've missed a couple of days of exercise myself. Um, I I was getting back into it. I found some incredible baby YouTube videos. Da, da, um, da, da, baby, na, 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 na. The last couple of days, I've um like I I told you guys that I missed a bunch of sleep and stuff, but I was still exercising. Um, but it got to the point where I just, I was un, I was not feeling good at all. Um, really not feeling good. So I didn't, I made the conscious decision, I am not going to exercise today. And, um, and my body is feeling better for it. I'm feeling more rested. I'm feeling like I might actually be able to jump back into it soon. Um, potentially tomorrow. Maybe not as hardcore as I was going with those videos, but maybe I can go for a walk tomorrow. As terrifying as the thought of leaving the house is. Um, in group today, the theme was anxiety and procrastination, with emphasis on breaking tasks up and delegating, asking for help. Yes, which a lot of people with anxiety disorder sort of struggle with. Yeah, for sure. That's a really good focus to have. That's wonderful. Ah, uh, sounds like everyone's on the same path. Runs a good energy. Uh, spending and being overbearing with oneself. Overbearing. Um, Freddie, thank you. You too. I haven't had breakfast in three weeks, so I'm gonna eat three we three weeks of breakfast in one day. Exactly. It doesn't fucking. I mean, it can. But you don't feel good after it. If you don't feel good after it, that's for certain. Good evening, Seeker. How are you going? Oh, entries to stop for the giveaway. Give me just a second to kill this and get myself out of death's way. And uh I bought Ring Fit for ourselves at Christmas. Still haven't opened it, excited to feel good enough to do it. Um, well, Throne contacted me today. I'm sure you heard the story before, but um, Throne has finally contacted me today to tell me there is an issue with the ring fit that I've been gifted. Um, it turns out the third site that I provided to them has now also officially run out of stock. Um, so I found one that does have it, popped the link in there, so hopefully the next day or two um, that will overnight, I'm hoping it'll be overnight, um, they'll make that purchase and it'll be on its way to me. Uh, I'm sure overbearing is the right word, just being good to oneself and being too self-critical. Um, practicing good energy spending. I'd say being patient with oneself or being kind to oneself. Um, like being understanding. Overbearing is like, think of all the horrible stories you hear about mothers-in-law or mother-in-laws, um, like constantly getting involved in a, in, in their, their child's marriage and, and, oh, well, if I were going to parent my grandchild, this is the way, like, that's overbearing. That's overbearing. So I think, yeah, it's absolutely the wrong word. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, where I'm killing things. Good, but we're, we're drawing the giveaway first. That's what I was doing. Uh, Lady Coas. Sorry, Lady Chaos. 1996. May I have a number from you between 1 and 100, please, as you have won today's giveaway. For sure the wrong word. Years. Yeah. Overbearing. So yeah, when you're, when you're like bearing down on something, you're being overbearing. It's the, the words are related. Yeah. Gosh, lots of things fitness-wise tend to sell out post New Year. Imagine Ring Fit the same. Yeah, well, even before New Year, because of all the uh, double that up with fucking isolation. People not wanting to go to the gym because there's in people there and everyone's breathing lots and they can't wear their mask properly and it's all, yeah, so people are wanting to, to work out at home. And so, yeah, three different websites. JB Hi-Fi removed it from the website entirely. Um, and then I, and then I replaced it with an EB link and EB sold out and then I replaced it with a Harvey Norman link and Harvey Norman has listed it as, uh, no longer stocked. Um, so they haven't removed it, this doesn't return a 404 error like JB Hi-Fi did, but, um, yeah, they've, they've noted that they're out of stock and that they no longer stock the item. So yeah, it's, um, it's a bit fucked. <laughs> I'm going to ring fit again this week after smashing my Achilles on Tuesday. Oof, a few days of limping around. It's much less sore. Oh, that's really good. Just, yeah, be careful when you get back into it. Be careful. How did you smash your Achilles? Like, can I... 
potentially possibly learn from your mistake if that's okay if you're not if you're not wanting to get into it then i'm totally okay with that too obviously um but i would love to know what you did so i can maybe not do that <laughs> hey nutty good evening well yeah it's afternoon it's still i think here it's still it's not yet five so i think it's still afternoon for me hello being a dope running without shoes on okay all right. What are we without this gotcha. The Fuck off, Mograine. Forty-eight. Where's my Where's my spreadsheet? Forty-eight. Where we at now? Ninety-five point three eight. Not quite up to. So we're one. We're still one day ahead. One day ahead. Uh, did a full-on workout without shoes. See, I do most of my workouts without shoes, unless I'm going outside. Um. But I guess that's because I mostly do pole. And when it comes to like running on the spot, it's only for like 30 seconds or so. So I guess maybe. But yeah, with, with pole, I would use the front of my foot to like grip the pole and shit. I know that sounds really uncomfortable and it is, but you get used to it real quick. Um, but yeah, like you use the, the front of your ankle and the front of your foot as like grip and shit. So like I've always, for, for years now, I've worked out without shoes on. So that's really interesting. I wonder, uh, I like all the early we fit injuries learn from them. Exactly. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, I hydrate. Uh, I've been wanting to ask what leveling guide you use. Is it just Azeroth Autopilot? No, I've never used AAP. Never. Not once in my life. Uh, I use Zygor, which is what the name is here. Zygor. Um, you can type exclamation Zygor into chat to get a link. Exactly, yep. Good morning, Rowan. It's great to find your stream. You're very open with your mental health. Your advice is always respectful. Thank you, Fox. I, I, pre I try. I try. Like, there are definitely things that I'm not open about because, look, it's Nanya. Um, like, legitimately. None of, none of my mental health journey is really any of any of your business. Or any of any of... It's not really any of any of your businesses. There we go. Like, I don't, I don't have to. To be, like, to be perfectly blunt, I don't have to share any of this shit. Um, and there is, there are, there are, f there are a few things that I don't share with you because I don't want to. And so I don't, um, but the stuff that I do feel comfortable talking about, um, I try to do so as respectfully as possible because the thing is like, this is, this is my journey. These are my experiences. Um, and that is going to be exceptionally different to everybody else who has gone through this. Um, even, even if there is someone out there who has the same diagnosis as me and sees and has seen the same medical professionals as me, their journey is still going to be different because they are different as a human. Um, so I try to be as respectful as that, as respectful of that as possible. Um, but yeah, I, I do try. So thank you for recognizing that. I really appreciate it. Um, exactly like those things I don't speak about. Yeah, absolutely. And that's, that is your right, just as it is my right to, to not share stuff. Um, even when it's directly related, you know, just, just because, you know, if I, if I'm going through this journey and I have a, a, a psych appointment and I discuss some things with her and, but I, I, I discuss part of what I had at that psych appointment, but I don't discuss all of it. That's yeah, absolutely. Like, you know what I mean? That's, that's my right to, to keep that information private. Um, the stuff that I do choose to share, I think about very carefully. Um, I, a lot of the stuff I share is stuff that I've known about for years, um, and stuff that I've been practicing for years. Doesn't practicing doesn't necessarily mean I adhere to it one hundred percent because not everyone is perfect. Um, you know, we all have off days where we can't quite follow our own advice, um, and. You know, I, I, there are days that I try to take it easy and there are days that I fucking fail at that hardcore. But yeah, it's, um, sometimes there are things that I don't want to share because I'm not, I haven't come to terms with them yet. And I'm still, pro you know, and I, I want to process that without a bunch of, no, no offense meant, randoms on the internet <laughs> giving me medical advice or, or telling me, you know, uh, telling me all of their stories, which sometimes 
is a wonderful thing. People coming together and sharing their experiences and all that kind of stuff. Sometimes that's beautiful. But if you're in the thick of it and you're still processing your own shit, you f you may feel overwhelmed by other people also sharing their shit. It may feel like other people are trauma dumping. They That may not be their intention. They might just be sharing their own stories and how they came to where they are. But to some that might feel like they're offloading and they can't handle that because of the position that they are currently in and that's okay that's totally reasonable 100 percent valid so yeah there's um i know that when i share something it you not always but it usually triggers an outpouring of um uh sharing of other people's own support which is fantastic and um yeah but sometimes that's not what you need. Sometimes I need for the only people to know about shit to be me, my medical professionals, and Jazz. Because Jazz has to live with me. So if he sees me taking some random pill, he may get concerned and be like, are you on drugs? So I, I tend to tell him what's going on with me, even if I'm not ready to necessarily. And I'll just kind of say, this is the thing. This is what I'm doing. I'm not talking about it any further. And he goes, cool. And that's the end of the discussion. He knows me well enough that if I don't need help managing shit, then, I, then that's fine. Um, but, like, there have been things that I haven't even told my fucking mum. And, like, fuck, I'm telling you lot before I tell my mum. <laughs> like, you know that by now. She's an angel. She's she fucking angel sent to earth. But sometimes I don't want to worry her. And I don't want to, you know burden her with shit when she's two states away and feels completely and utterly hopeless and helpless and there's nothing she can do to help me I don't want to I'll tell her when it's fine when there's nothing else to worry about when when everything's done and dusted when I have an answer um and she she knows that she's not happy about it but she knows that um so yeah there's uh there are things going on at the moment you guys don't know about it's because I don't want to tell you so deal with it <laughs> um uh, Blizzard put out a blue pro saying the love rocket will only drop in boxes full of 60 characters. Are you sure about that? Or are you just trolling? Without yeah, send uh, send a mod a link, please. Um without seeing a link, I don't believe that. Um A good way to remove the stigma. I agree. I agree. And there is a lot of stigma that, and it's unnecessary stigma because everyone deals with this shit just because for the last seven generations, people have been swallowing it and not, you know, just trying to ignore it or whatever. That doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. Like, let's talk about it. Let's, let's get it out in the open as much as people are comfortable with. I share to help normalize and let others know they aren't alone. Exactly. It doesn't mean I share every tiny detail or things that will dox me. Yes. Do not share things that will dox you. <laughs> Agreed. Agreed. I sometimes sharing with strangers is easier than close loved ones. I agree. I agree. Um, as much as I know, like I know logically that you lot are internet randoms. Like I, I know that, but it doesn't feel like that. Um, posting anonymously on like some random Reddit forum. Yes, definitely a lot easier than, than breaking it to loved ones and stuff. Um, but I, as, as much as my brain acknowledges that you guys are internet strangers for the, for the, you know, um, we do still have a connection because we do share things with each other. Um, and so that connection does make it difficult to say stuff sometimes, especially considering like, I know roughly what the response will be sort of thing. It's like, you know, with, with family and friends, you know how they will respond. I know sort of how you guys will probably respond because of the way that the community has responded in the past when I've shared stuff. But yeah, it's, um, yeah. Uh, I also can't find any mention of the so-called blue post, so I assume someone is lying. So Wowhead has a blue tracker. Every single blue post on both EU and US is tracked and logged on Wowhead. It's at the top. You don't have to scroll through any spoilery news thingamajigs. It's up top left. It's a blue tracker. If it's not there, Rohim is lying. 
Simple as that. Keep in mind that Rohim, if Rohim is lying, they may not be lying, like, they may not be the source of the lie. They may not be trying to be malicious right here, right now. They may have been told something by someone who was told something who was told by someone who was told, like, there might be a whole chain here back to someone who made it up to freak people out. And they might be sharing out of the goodness of their heart, but it's still trash, you know? Like, that's, yeah. So if it's not in the blue tracker on Wowhead, which is, I'm pretty sure that shit is automated. Like, it's a bot that finds blue posts. So it's not a matter of waiting for Wowhead to find it. Um, yeah, if it's not there, it's not real. Simple as that. Um, are you going on the mend yet? Sorry, I'm here. Just realized I want to give away. Yes, Chaos, can I have a number from you, please? Uh, it's always 10 levels below max level that have a drop chance. It always has been. Yes. That doesn't mean that Blizzard can't change something like it is well within their right it's their game they can do whatever they want but without a blue post i call bullshit um your life your journey my life my journey is something i go by yes fucks i love that that's beautiful nothing on wowhead or in the recent blue posts about it yep so it's bullshit guess what rohim the information you've been given is wrong isn't that awesome isn't that wonderful uh, I doubt that I was looking at blue posts like three hours ago and I think I'd have noticed. Yeah, I feel like that's something you would have picked up on, Jack, especially considering you're, you know, a part of this community in particular. <laughs> um, are you in the trouble drive too? I am! Oh, two! Are you wearing your seeker? Are we twinning? Are we twinning right now? Holy mother of fuck. Seriously? <sighs> um, thank you much for now. Yay, thank you for talking to everyone. I say we appreciate what you share and respect what you don't share. Thank you. And that's... That is honestly one of the reasons I fucking love this community is that like we are just so open and accepting even we're even accepting of non-openness we're accepting of keeping shit to oneself and that and that's beautiful like it's just I love that I love that um I want to double down on this for him no, no, hey, leave him alone. It's it's fine. They may well have been fed false information by someone else and they are trying to share it with people because they're concerned, like, out of concern. There's there's no reason to, like, cause for doubling down and, and stuff like that. If they if they can share where they heard it from, that would be phenomenal. Um, but, yeah, let's, let's not, let's not come for people. Um, so I do hear someone has told something, why wouldn't they validate that claim before perpetuating it? Some people panic. Some people don't have the, the practice of, of going and verifying shit like that like we do. Not everyone lives the way we live. Yeah, that's like... Personally, I was trained through my university degree to, to verify literally everything. If, if I hear something, I need a source like that. And But I learned that through my university degree. And I recognize that not everyone is... is like um, lucky enough to, to even attend university, let alone get the degree at the end of it. So like, I can't assume that everyone verifies everything like that. I mean, yes, of course it can become exceptionally harmful when you don't verify shit, but it's, you know, the best thing is though, is if you do panic and go, oh shit, this is what I heard. Like, I mean, even before I spoke about something that I couldn't verify, that I haven't verified, that I have no evidence of, but I was very careful to let people know, I have no evidence of this, but this is what I heard. Um, and that, you know, provides other people the opportunity to maybe verify it or disprove me. And I'm happy to do that. And if you get that, if you are someone who has passed on information and someone goes back and says, nah, that's bullshit, here's the proof. And they go, oh, Fuck, cool, okay. Hey, mate, you know how you told me that thing about that mount? Guess what? It's bullshit! Isn't that awesome? And then it hopefully, maybe, we'll go back along the train. But if not, then at least we've done what we can do. Um. 64. Okay, one second. I'm um, watching the blue post like a hawk recently, waiting for the paladin nurse. Jas was telling me about the DK um, changes, buffs, I think. It was a buff to something that didn't need a buff. Or well, I don't know. But yeah, he was he was telling me about something. I, I honest to God, I was listening and understanding really, really well at the time. And then my brain deleted it. <laughs> uh, I often frequent the Warehead channel in your Discord so I can glance over what's new. Awesome. 
I'm glad it's of use to at least someone. I have that muted, honestly, because of all the fucking spoilery bullshit posts. But uh, I'm glad that it's of use to, to at least a couple people. Right. Chaos 64. Alrighty, here we go. Where am I going? Lady Chaos 19... Ninety-six. Just making sure I spelled that right, because I'm nervous. Good, yep, okay, fantastic. Here you go. Neoverse. I don't know what that is, but it's yours now. Congratulations, I hope it's wonderful. Oh, excuse me. Ah, oh, it's, come on, I'm not currently hearing you. That's okay. That's right. Yeah, we have um, we have ads that run. We have mid roll ads. Uh, it's ninety seconds uh, every half an hour. Uh, however, it may not actually run for the full ninety seconds for you, and it may not run every half an hour for you, depending on the country that you live in, because Twitch can only run ads that they've been paid to run. So, for example, in Australia, there's only like four ads or something that we actually have in Australia at the moment, um, and they won't run more than like they they won't spam you with the same ad they have a, like a maximum cap on how many times it'll show the same person in the same day and stuff um so they might run out of ads to to show you um and that's why you might not see them the, the full length because they might just not have anything to show you but um that's how often i try to run them and that's to disable pre-roll ads um and the reason i keep pre-roll ads disabled is because uh we're more likely to retain a viewer through a mid-roll ad uh, than we are to have a viewer actually sit through pre-rolls in order to get to us. Um, fun facts with fear. Um, I don't know, but social media is the thing I was meant to say today. Oh, right. Okay. Yes, I am. I am wearing the, uh, the, uh-oh, is this going to kill me? No. Okay. Uh, I am wearing the Chopper Drive t-shirt from last year today because it's super comfy and very cute. Got buffed, right? Airbomb limb got a buff in three different ways. Like to fuck Liz. Um, I have everything muted. I just actively check there. Fair enough. Fair enough. Don't play pally. Delete from brain. Yeah! <laughs> uh, Blizz being out of touch and buffing the wrong things. Surely not. Blizzard have actually been really fucking good lately. Um, and, like, at keeping up with the community and communicating with the community. Listening to what we need and giving feedback on why it hasn't happened yet. Why it's having, while they're having difficulty making it happen. All this kind of shit. Um, so, you know, credit where credit is due. Blizzard are being really fucking good at that lately. Yeah. So, let's not shit on them for something that they're not currently doing. Cool. Uh, you're very welcome, Chaos. Very welcome. Dogs can now out of my room. Space feels so large. Do you have an idea for the space, though? I want to buy a wide, big, comfy armchair turning into a little reading area. Oh, that sounds beautiful, Sheba. That sounds like a really good idea. Well done. Can I hit you, please? There we go. Um. Uh. Right. So yeah, that what you've done there, Sleeth. Um. So you're meant to drop like it says in the redemption to pop voice in chat before you redeem, because you have to pick one and put that in the redemption box. Um. Yes. Um, and I haven't seen another message from you, so I don't know if you actually want that redemption or not. Um, if I if I refund it to you, you're not going to be able to do it for another hour. So let me know, yeah. God's sake, hit the damn thing. There we go. Um, we're all is the worst. Yeah, exactly. And so, like, a large percentage of viewers just drop. If they get a pre-roll, they'll just leave and either leave the platform uh, or find another stream to watch. So, if I have them turned off permanently, I'm less likely to lose those viewers. 
uh, and then once they're actually in, but once they're in skipping a pre-roll, once they're in watching the stream, if they get a, a, a chunk of ads in the middle, they're more likely to wait it out because they're already invested in the stream at that point, um, which is awesome. So it is a, it's a huge benefit, which is why I do it. I know it annoys some, but. And yeah, sticking through and actually watching them does help um, from a financial perspective as well. So if you're someone who's not able to afford a sub or doesn't want to like sub for, for other reasons, totally understandable, totally fine. No judgment here. Uh, watching the ads is a free way that you can support me financially, which is kind of cool. Uh, and we actually, we worked out on Wednesday. We did the calculation. If you were here from start to finish every single stream and got the 90 set full 90 seconds of ads every every half an hour and you watched all of them you would actually be um you'd actually be roughly the amount of the amount of cash i'd get from you doing all that would be almost the same as the amount of cash i'd get from you subbing like how bonkers is that how fucking cool is that Obviously, I'm not expecting you to be here full time and all that kind of stuff. Like, there's no obligation to do that. Um, but if you're unable to sub for whatever reason, watching every ad for the full, like being here start to finish every single stream and watching all the ads gives me the same amount of money, roughly, not quite as much, but roughly the same as you actually subbing. Cool, huh? Mmm. Three ads, only 10 seconds long. Oh, there you go. Interesting. Thanks for the explanation. You're very welcome. Not a problem. Um, I'm going to, like, uh, so Jay, your message was held. Um, and so I'm going to not let it through because we're not, we're not even going to touch that topic. Cool. Uh, I should stop eating chocolate and cook dinner. I mean, you can do both. You can do both. Hey, fairy. What's tonight's makeup? Uh, Spine Mole Glade Sure. It's like a yellowy browny sort of color with a little pop of blue. I'm quite happy with it. Hey, Ilsung, how are you going? Nice to meet Nice to meet you too. I hope you're having a wonderful day today. Welcome on in. That is cool, effectively a free sub and stream you get cash. Yeah, pretty much. So yeah, so you get, like, we get a percentage of your sub money. Like when you sub, we get a cut. Um, the amount of money we get from ads is, yeah. So it takes roughly a month and a half for us to earn. So they have, like, they have a rate like it's it's X amount CPM, which is per thousand views. So we calculated how long it would take one viewer to hit a thousand ads watched. And it's about if if you were here start to finish on a six hour stream, and I was doing it six hour stream four nights four nights a week, blah blah blah. blah. If you were here for every single stream start to finish, it'd take you roughly a month and a half, just over a month and a half, to hit um, the. The million, the, the million, the fucking C CPM. My brain keeps thinking million for M. Yep, but it's a thousand. So it takes it takes a viewer just over a month and a half from my streaming perspective um, to hit a thousand views of ads. Um, so that's when I'd get that amount, and it would take just under a month and a half for me to earn that same amount from sub revenue from a person. So yeah, it's kind of funky. Sub is worth slightly more. But watching all the ads um, gives me the same amount of cash, roughly, as, as a sub. So it's kind of cool. Kind of cool. Uh, congrats to Dervio and Rallo on your bonus shit. Well done. Well done. Um, damn disciplined. Uh, you know what, Sophia? You're right. I can do both. You can. Yes, you fucking can. Good job. You could just have chocolate for dinner or use chocolate in dinner. Oh, have you guys ever had chocolate risotto? I haven't, and I really, really want to try it. Has anyone tried chocolate risotto before? Mm, chocolate for dinner sounds like a good idea. Maybe not. I don't think my belly would be okay. Oh, no, that's okay. Chocolate curried sausages. <laughs> uh, you never know until you try. Damn it, I forgot to get meat out. <gasps> Shit. Does that mean we don't have dinner, Jess? When was the last time we had takeout? I 
currently no dinner. Right, so we have we have two options. You run down to no the um st the meat is frozen in Ziploc bags and you can't microwave a Ziploc bag they melt um and you can't get them out of the Ziploc bags either because they're like stuck. Um, it's basically, need to touch a leveling or tackling putting my clothes away. Yes, good good idea. I think that sounds like a fantastic idea. Um, so options are going down to, to supermarket and getting something that can be stuck in the oven or stuck in the microwave or something like that. Um, or take out. The supermarket option will be cheaper. By like a fair bit. Um, haven't tried truck risotto, but I'm going to now. I Like I've heard about it for years. Like years and years and years and years. But I've never had the opportunity to actually try it. Nor have I ever made it. Um, every time I've tried to make, every time I've tried to make risotto, it's become that stodgy mess that you don't really want risotto to be. Like I've never been able to get that oozy gooey kind of risotto because I get impatient and I turn the heat up too high or I walk away from it and don't stir it literally constantly. Um, so, mm, so I haven't made it, but I reckon it'd still taste pretty good even if I made it and it turned out stodgy. It'd just be a texture thing, not necessarily a taste thing. I was thinking South American dish with mole. Spicy sausages with chocolate in them. Ooh, yum. That sounds delicious. If chat all kicks in $1, we can fund a pizza party. Oh, fuck. I mean, we could we could order Domino's. We could order pizza. And then have leftovers for tomorrow breakfast and lunch as well. Um, also, everything hurts again. Put bag in bowl of hot water. Sounds like a fast way to partially cooked meat. Yep. Yeah. So, um... I can't do that. I have to. I have to defrost meat properly. Um, if if we don't defrost meat properly, I so the the particular kinds of things that I'm at risk for. Um, okay, let let me put it this way. Last time I got food poisoning, I ended up in hospital. Like food poisoning for me isn't just runny poo and a cup and a bit of vomiting. It's hospitalization. So I need like I we do everything by the fucking book here when it comes to like raw meat and shit. Everything by the fucking book. Um, <laughs> uh, mole. Ah, oh, mole? Is that closer to it? Sorry, Seeker. <laughs> oh, God. Clean rice in cold water. Cook in rice cooker, then finish in pan. Oh, interesting. Do we have, I don't think we have a rice cooker. Ah, uh, it softens up the outside and you get it out and do whatever you want. Restaurants do it all the time. I fell asleep because my headache didn't eat anything till this morning. Interesting. Should we get some food then, Chelsea? Is everything hurting again because of finger or are you crook? I'm being only the first. Uh, so it seems the better of the two options. Nah, he's, um, I think at work he's been doing a lot of very involved manual labor, like full body kind of, I think it's, I think it's more exercise pain kind of thing, except it's work related, not actual workout related. Does that make sense? You find we send Joss back in time 33 years of the set of cryptic instructions that might lead to him getting me. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's you fucking hilarious. I love that. A blood main oh, shit. To bring him oh, Lord. Feathers. That's great. He did for the glory of battle. The young chieftain had hoped to incite a war with the Arakoa. But the Talon King came alone, and what ensued was not a war. It was Time travel is the answer. Time travel is always the answer, I feel like, honestly. No reason to be sorry, definitely to pronounce it more like the critter. I haven't seen a bunch of food docos on it yet. Oh dear, mole. So I need to try mole because chocolate sausage. Gotcha. Be fair, I travel to a different city and start randomly slapping people. No, you wouldn't. I can't imagine you, IRL, actually. I can definitely imagine Internet Jass doing that, but I can't ever I can't imagine IRL Jass ever doing that. For real. If the answer. I understood that reference. So did I do. I never understand any references, but I understood that one. I'm very happy. I'm glad that people are making references to things. Like, it's that's not even like, see, that's not even a pop culture reference, right? It's a stream reference. The fact that I am, the fact that I'm creating content that can be referenced makes my heart so happy. I, I'm, I'm, am I becoming a part of pop culture now? Is that what's happening? 
Oh, not there's literally zero consequence to me. Except when people slap you right back. Chocolate sauce, not sausage. Oh, shit. Did I misread that entirely? I thought it had chocolate in the sausages. Spicy sauces. I read spicy sausages. <laughs> I read spicy sausages because we're talking about curried sausages. I need sleep. And food. Can we get something microwavable, Jess? And slept by someone I only have to last three days without dying. Yeah, but people, like, there are some people who will instantaneously become fucking red ragey and, like, do the, like, you know what I mean? They beat the shit out of you right there and then. With the sweep of his wings, he cut down. Because people are assholes. Run away! <laughs> oh, fuck. So what do you feel like for dinner? Jess, do you want to just like come in here and we can talk about what you feel like for dinner? <laughs> I prefer Jess was the asshole first. I know, like, but he, yeah, he's he's copying the the fucking results of his own actions. He moved with grace and power. Man. You're absolutely right, Meaty. Absolutely. It's 1990s Australia. There's probably a bunch of good places to hide. Talon King left the blood main. Look, when compared to my mum, fail brain fart Facebook moment. We good. Oh my god, Sika, I loved that. That was just so pure, so pure and beautiful. And I'm like, oh my god, this is great. It took me a second though. I'm like, what? Like, because I, I read through it, I'm like, what would a, what would a bot be tr like? What would a hacker, if I'm compromised, what would they be trying to accomplish? And then I'm like, oh, wait, hang on a second. <laughs> and then I read all this stuff and I'm like, oh, honey. Oh, no. Oh, no. But it was great. I love that. I love that you have my, like, so I was actually thinking about this before, right? There, like, there are so many members of this community and there are so many things that I love about each of you individually. It's just, and don't ask me to tell you what, because I will not be able to think off the top of my fucking head. But, like, it's, like... I'm not just happy to see people in chat. I'm happy to see individual people, but when individual usernames pop up, I'm like, oh, such and such is here, yay! Like, it makes me, like, you know? I am happy to see each of you individually rather than just happy to see the number of the viewers go up, you know? It, yeah, it's, you're all awesome. You're all awesome. What happened? We all, oh God, must help fear. Are you okay with me sharing like the full story? Seeker? Obviously, there's not much of a story, but like, are you okay with me to, like, I know it's kind of a slight embarrassment, so, um, this is eyebrow. I'm mid-twenties and white in 1990s Australia. There's very few places I couldn't just blend in. Yeah, but still. So me don't make it a public issue. No, I know, that's why I'm like, I'm, I'm not sure if I should, like, I mean, we're talking about it, but I, I don't know if you want me to go in details and stuff. She's a dead. Hey, Serge, how are you going? Welcome back. Show away? Okay, cool, awesome. So, um, what happened was, uh, Seeker got a message. Uh, Seeker follows me on Facebook and got a message from my Facebook page. And it said, one moment, please. It didn't say one moment, please. It said, um, can you tell me more about yourself? Can I learn more about your background? Are you available to chat? Where are you located? as like four different lines. And so Seeker sent me a message saying, um, I think your Facebook page is compromised because this is definitely not like this, this feels like something you would not send me. What is going on? Holy shit, are you okay? Like, is everything all right? I need to not post it. I wanted to send this in a DM because I don't want to draw attention to the fact publicly in case people can find a way to fuck with that. And all that. So, you know, genuine like, holy shit, this is concern. And then it clicked for me and I lost my motherfucking shit. Because at the very top of the image, it says, choose an option or type your own message. When you send a message, Fiamma will see your public info. So what has happened there is it's popped up a, a list of suggestions that Seeker may want to send to me, rather than Seeker receiving a message from me that is very out of character. And so I noticed that and laughed in caps. No, I didn't. I said, oh my, I said, ha 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 ha. Tap one. There's suggestions for you to ask me. Like, that's why it says the thing up the top. And it was very funny. And we both had a bit of a giggle about it. Uh, and it was great. 
We enjoyed it. Um, <laughs> Seek Lamello no. Yeah, right? It, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it was, it was, yeah. Um, um, oh, Seeker so could probably, like, considering it's not, I'm not compromised and everything's fine, you could probably, if you wanted to share the context, you can probably drop the image, like, in general chat or something, so that people can see what the fuck I'm talking about. Uh, general in, in Discord. Um, but yeah, so it was, yeah, Seeker was like, oh no, must help Fear, must protect Fear, must go, and then it was like, oh, oops. <laughs> but it was so lovely. So, like, we've all been there, and that's exactly what I said, we have all been there, and I love... I love that that's like where Seeker's brain went because that's exactly where my brain would have gone as well. It's just, it's perfection. It's hilarious. Oh, they showed your best interest in her. Exactly! Uh, oh man, that's funny. Yeah, I, I agree. It was, it was very, very funny, but at the same time, like, it's nothing to be like ashamed of or any of that kind of shit is like I I've been there we've all been there but yeah I love that the first response was must protect fear like it just it makes me it makes my heart so happy you know oh dear we are 48 and 73 percent we're getting there we're going slow because rogue is shit Rogue is squishy. Rogue is not shit. Rogue has been one of my favorite classes for a long time, but like, excuse me, they're just so squishy. There's a candle burning in here. There is a candle burning in here. It smells pretty, doesn't it? You hungry? I'm hungry. The saw. Do you want to do takeout instead then? Probably good idea. Yeah. Because like, I get to hit. And, and then you fall. No yeah. <laughs> there's a, there's, oh, that's pretty, that one can go up though, so you don't have to sit down as far if you want to pull that chair out. Last time I raised this chair, it was Christmas, like six years ago. I yelled at you? Oh yeah, you blew up with me <laughs> hardcore. <laughs> yeah, but I was also dating fuckwit at the time. I think my fuse for anger has, um, lengthened. It's on your side. No, 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 just sit. I think, I think my fuse for anger, I don't have a short fuse anymore, do I? For some th for some <laughs> things I do, but for the most part, you okay? Do you want like wee? Good. Um, you poor duffer. You're all right. What do you so do we do we want to trust? Do we want to try Uber Eats again, or do we want to fuck them off and just get Domino's? Means we'll probably get healthier options from Uber, but um, the amount of times they've fucked us over is kind of ridiculous. Um. It's a rouge. It is a rouge. Rouge is best. Uh, rouge, should I agree? Hi, hungry. Hello. What is your favorite class? Mage. Rouge. My main is a mage. No, it was a paladin. I've been maining a mage for coming up on 15 years. And a paladin for 9 years. No. I've actually not had a paladin. I've only had a paladin for like. since Legion. You're getting attacked. Oh, for fuck off, you fucking fuck. Fucking fuckity fuckity fuck. Um, Rogue has been my late, least favorite for always. It's a trick question, Jazzy. <laughs> what the fuck is that? She summoned ads. They're beating the shit out of me. Yeah, I don't like those at all Where's in the your slightest. Red it's there. I was just, I was in stealth, so it wasn't on my bars. Um, good morning. Hello, MMO. Zygor for the win. Great to see. Yeah, I fucking love Zygor. Been using that for something like 13 years. It's incredible. Mating a pellet for five. No! Wrong. Incorrect. Mage main, please and thank you. Fialadin. Fuck off, Sheba. Fucking fuckity Jesus Christ. Yeah, la, 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 Dominoes, la, la, get the la, vanilla la, custard la, 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 or chocolate lava puff rolls for dessert. So good. We actually don't have anything dessert in the house. Unless no, you want to. Unless you want to make jelly. We do have three packets of jelly. Where the fuck do we have three packets? Because they were on special for three fifty dollars. Why the fuck do we have three packets of jelly? <laughs> because we were gonna get it because my it was back when my jaw was hurting. Oh and they were right. On special three for two. But, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, three for two. And but we didn't use them, so they're still sitting there. There's I think there's raspberry, lime, and I think it's port wine. No, I don't think it's port wine. I think it's a different. It's like a dark, but it looks like port wine color we on the box. We should make jelly on the weekend. 
I mean, you could make jelly tonight if you wanted to be ready for tomorrow morning. The idea is to not cook tonight. I know. Oh, no. Um, but yeah, Yori says get Domino's, get the vanilla custard or chocolate puff rolls for dessert. Why not both? It's my question. Always more dessert. Because I'm expensive. pissed off that Domino's doesn't do dessert pizzas. Like, fuck, man, it's not that hard. Put some goddamn fucking Nutella and some marshmallows on a, on a fucking pizza dough that you already have and you're done. You assume they have Nutella. Oh, no, but that's the thing. They could get Nutella and they could get marshmallows and that Nutella's wouldn't be... Nutella's expense? No, it's not. It's not, expensive. not, no, not when you're getting it from a, uh, our wholesale prices. Trust me. Fjald of the Righteous. What is that meant to be? Yeah, la, 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 No, what is, what is Blah of the Righteous? What is that supposed to be? Title. Oh. <laughs> no, Fjald of the Righteous. Is that a paladin title? Fia Paladin of the Righteous. Oh, okay. <laughs> Main is a hunter. I have a 60 mage that I love as well. Yas. Don't worry, Jack. I am educating. Uh, I really should do some toast or more suitable breakfast than munching on a packet of cream crackers. That's fine. That's toast fine. Toast is not a healthy breakfast because most of the time we put a whole heap of random crap on it. Like Nutella. <laughs> yeah, it definitely depends what you put on your toast. But like peanut butter on toast is fucking good. You know how much sugar is in peanut butter? Probably more than in the cream crackers. Not if you use proper peanut butter. Like if you get the natural stuff, you have to stir with a knife every time you have to do it, use it and That's stuff. That's extra effort. You're making toast here. <laughs> yeah, but it's good. And the fat from the peanuts keep you goddamn full. Like, I get that. Really good for but you. That's extra effort. You're making toast here. It's like Jedimite. the most low, low, low effort breakfast. No, low effort breakfast is slice of bread with spread. That's what I do. Yes, but this is. Oh, this is Pick me out at RL shenanigans. Brilliant. Ah, uh, yes, why not? Enjoy jelly, but hate having to think about wanting it hours earlier. Yeah. It's good to, like, you make it and then forget about it, and then you open the fridge and go, oh my god, I have jelly! <laughs> it's good. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> yep. You've, like, and that's the best bit about, like, you know, not, like, I don't remember shit. Lots and lots of marmite. Ooh, yum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never understood having dessert, to be honest, but I grew up never having dessert. I get too full to have any. Anyways, I don't really have a sweet tooth. I have a wicked sweet tooth. I never had dessert growing up either. Um, like, we just, we didn't have dessert. So it was always a thing that we had, like, if we went to a, a friend's place, like a, like a family friend, and we had, like, a dinner party or something, and everyone, like, there were uh, three or four families, and they all brought their kids and stuff, and, and we'd do, like, a potluck, there'd always be dessert then. And I always liked, like, chocolate and candy and stuff like that, but it was definitely a treat. And so when I moved out of home, I overdosed um, on, on like, chocolate and, and stuff. Like, especially, like, I bought a bunch of, like, fun-sized chocolate bar bags with the intent of taking a couple with me to uni each day. No. no. GG, one day you're gone. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Um... Main is a druid I've played since I started as my favorite class. Amazing! Yeah, same. Well, that's, yeah, I've been playing my my mage since I started 15 years ago. Um, and it's definitely still my favorite class as well. Right, so are we doing dominoes? Or pizza. Do we have a pizza hut that will deliver to us? Good question. I haven't had pizza hut in ages. See, I haven't had pizza hut since I went to Singapore because pizza hut in Singapore is fucking bomb. She's <laughs> dominoes. Um, first result is Domino's. Look, we got a 30% off for Googling yeah. Pizza Hut. Yeah, it's, um, that's hilarious. I'm oh, sorry. Pizza Hut delivery and take away. Alan Beth class though, Kappa. I was thinking about that the other day. We didn't do dessert when I was a kid. I don't really do it with my kids. I don't often have dessert with dinner, but I like candy. And I like sweet shit regardless. Like, it's not a... I don't yeah, tend to have it after dinner. I just have it all the time. They do have chips. The Domino has chips as well, don't they? I just don't think I trust don't them. Domino's don't have potato chips. Yeah, but I'm not going to buy fucking potato gems from Pizza Hut when I can go down there and get them and put them in the air fryer. People buy wings from Pizza Hut and Domino's. Yeah, but that's different. Potato gems, they literally do nothing to. They just put them in a fucking fryer. Go to a wings place if you want wings. Yeah, but if you're having pizza and having wings on this. Anyway, um, having pizza, enter delivery pizza. address. Numbers, letters, definitely not saying any of this out loud Faces, because that will completely dox me. That one! Yeah, that's us. That's us. 
Just making sure I don't have good. <laughs> Your cart looks a little empty. Okay, Are so we sure can we can get it delivered. Oh, ASAP, thirty minutes. What is that green shit on that pizza? That yeah. capsicum. He's capsicum. Ew. Capsicum um. Is on pizza. So we have three plus three. Ow. Thirty-seven ninety-five delivered. Look. You get three sides with that. Yeah, you do. Large schnitzer monster meal. What the fuck is a schnitzer? Oh my god, that's a pizza made on a fucking schnitzel. Yes. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. I saw Pasta an party. The other day. <gasps> They've got B and J. Look, there's Ben and Jerry's. Fuck. <laughs> Maybe this was a bad idea. Fourteen ninety five delivery. Fuck off. Nah, and they were. I bet you they won't have the um the vegan one either. Probably not. You even on camera there. Yeah. All right, thirty-seven ninety-five delivered. Probably. All right. So. Choose a pizza. Barbecue cheeseburger. Any suggestions, chat? Yeah, chat. Suggest pizzas. Yeah, hey, barbecue like cheeseburger, it. ham lovers, cheese lovers, vegan cheese lovers, uh, vegan margarita, margarita, smoky chicken and bacon, veggie sensation. Hawaiian, pepperoni lovers, barbecue beef, chicken supreme, hot and spicy veggie, super supreme, barbecue meat lovers, surf and turf, we are getting the barbecue meat lovers, you have no choice in that. <laughs> um, creamy chicken and bacon, butcher's block. That sounds good. That creamy garlic really good prawn, well. vegan Mediterranean, vegan deluxe, garlic prawn, hot and spicy chicken, barbecue chicken, mega meat lovers, Actually, and no, ultimate hot and spicy. What is the difference? It's mega. Steak, streaky bacon rashes. So steak, bacon, ham, pepperoni, sausage. You, know, you could just take a beef. screenshot, right? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> no, what's the meat lovers one? There Barbecue is. meat lovers. Okay, so streaky bacon. Ah, oh, it doesn't have steak. It has the smoky honey ham. It has a pepperoni. It has the Italian sausage. It has the beef and mozzarella on a barbecue base. Um, so it adds steak and it adds a sweet baby raised hickory and brown sugar drizzle. Fuck yeah, we're getting the mega meat lovers. Oh, sorry, that was me. That was me. Um, hang on. Uh, fifth class is Hunter, main pally drew because I have a deep psychological need to be able to fill whatever role the group needs. Fair. Uh, I grew up on having syrup sponges done in the microwave growing up. What the fuck is a syrup sponge? This needs to be good. It sounds like a dish sponge that someone has soaked in maple syrup. Like, that's where my brain has gone. I'm imagining it's kind of like a sponge, sponge cake, cake that has, like, syrup in it. extra syrup at the bottom. So it gets all soaked and stodgy and stuff at the bottom. But And, like, self-sourcing. Like, self-sourcing sponge cake kind of thing. That's what I'm th imagining it probably is. Pizza Hut has ice cream that beats Domino's. It's expensive. Though. Yeah, but it's at fourteen ninety five for a little fucking Ben and Jerry's tub. That's ridiculous. For you and Jess live at numbers and letters. I uh, know. Capsicum is pog. You spelled poo incorrectly. <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, chicken Hawaiian. Like, add chicken to the Hawaiian, because I don't seem to have a chicken Hawaiian. But, like, we didn't have a chicken. that would cost extra, and... Look, maybe, maybe. I'll oh, add it to the maybe list. Bucks extra added to the thing. Huh? Oh. Oh. oh okay. And then, but what about the regular barbecue meat lovers? Barbecue is fine. Is fine. Do we want to spend three extra dollars for steak and, and a drizzle? We can drizzle it ourselves. Like. <laughs> I can just go downstairs and buy barbecue sauce for like two bucks. Original pan, traditional, thin and crispy, stuffed crust, gluten-free bases. Um, stuffed crust is an extra four bucks. Fuck that. No. But, okay, original pan, traditional, thin and crispy. So thin and crispy can die in a fire. Original pan or traditional? What is the difference for Pizza Hut? Like, why can't one of them just be called deep pan? Um, because it must be Original pan versus That's traditional. traditional. Yep. Um. New original pan. And these are traditional pizza. Key difference between hand tossed and pan pizza is the technique. Oh no, that's no, that's got nothing to do with Pizza Hut. Um, what are Pizza Hut's different crust types? It sounds like. Is this America though? Fuck if I know. Original pan. Signature premium option. You can 
also known as a deep dish. Same as forever. Yeah, so that's a deep dish. Hand toss. We don't have hand toss. This is America. It does make a difference. It actually does make a difference. Well, then put Australia in the freaking thing that you're Googling. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There's a it's... thing you read at the top. Yeah, but that's, um, it's still not. That's going to be America still. Hang on. Now look, this is the fucking actual All website. Right, go. So... <laughs> um. We have made it. To the it's exact to same the... spot that we were already at. Fuck. I reckon we just go with the... Uh... No, let's go to the actual website, and then... Damn. Maybe yeah. somebody in chat said this. Maybe. Uh, extra, extra, extra mushrooms. Love me some mushroom pizza. Smoky chicken. Personally, always go for smoky or spicy chicken if available. Do they have an Aussie? You're gonna love that egg on pizza. No Aussie, sorry. Hell yeah, barbecue meat lovers gang. Fuck yeah, I predict you got you. I predict you get what you got last time. Just making sense. I might have to grab a takeout pizza from End of the Road now next week. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Good damn it. Now I'm hungry. Look, welcome to stream. <laughs> Pretty much that. Hey, a nurse. Um, ordering pizza should not be so difficult. No, I, look, I fucking agree. Just Why? go to the website that's at the top. Back to the Google search. Now I'm dying. Thank you. Why is delivery extra? Hmm. Okay, the FAQs do not answer my fucking question. Nine ninety nine. That's a yep. Maybe they're the same as the American ones. They've just got some extra shit. All right, this is a block. I'm sick of it. Already. Yeah, this is no. This is literally just scraping shit from Google. It's just scraping all the summaries from Google. So we don't get thin and crispy. We don't pay the extra. Which one do you want? No, I want the one that's thicker. I want deep pan. <laughs> they don't obviously have a deep pan. Maybe all of their pizzas are deep pan. They're just done different. I don't know about these pizzas on stream. Can you claim it as a business expense? <laughs> Good question. Probably not. Very good question. Yeah, yeah. yeah, probably not. Um, does it change the picture? No. It could, to show because some of these look like they're thin and crispy. That and some of them don't. You know what I mean? Yeah. Traditional. Maybe we get one of each. Yeah. Then what else do you want? Barbecue cheeseburger? Uh. Ooh, yeah, okay. Um, we'll make that original pan. Oh, the, that's the oh, actually. It's an extra one. It's yep. because of the fucking drizzle. Yeah, the drizzle cost. Oh no, this one's got a drizzle in it. It's not actually, but it's, it's not veggie. A barbecue well, hang on. No, because this has got a barbecue drizzle and that's not. It's because it's um probably fucking chicken. I wonder if there's chicken supreme. Oh no, chicken supreme is fine. Oh, who the fuck knows how they decide what's extra? Have a battle. Um, margarita? Oh, it's, they've got pepperoni! We, do, you don't, we couldn't get pepperoni from Domino's, and you were sad. Do you want You don't want a pepperoni now? Now the important question. The third one. What's the third pizza? Do you want a pepperoni? No, or do you want a Hawaiian? Well, we got a Hawaiian last- Oh no, because- No, we didn't get a margarita last time. No, because Domino's didn't do a margarita. No, they do, but it's just not on that fucking deal. So what do we? What can we get that isn't fucking extra? 
Okay, those are all extra except the ultimate hot and spicy, which we're not getting. Let's get. No. Yes. No. Neither of us will eat it. I get it. So basically, it looks like our choices are barbecue cheeseburger, Hawaiian, or pepperoni. Kind of leaning towards the barbecue cheeseburger. Yeah. Because yeah. we do also, we've already got a veggie pizza, so. View pulse dur and cheerful. Congratulations to you on your bonus shit. Ooh, oh, look, you two ten. Book. I did get a bookie work. Ten bookie works. Meat would have thought by the time you guys chose a pizza. Nah. It's pretty it, crusty. Yeah. I I know how quickly meat defrosts in my house. And Slowly at this time of day. Correct. Um. So you're leaning towards the barbecue bacon you said, and barbecue yes. cheeseburger. Sorry. All right. Done. Um, okay. Got so... Aw, oh, they charge you extra to add the lava cake to the, the fucking deal. Got it. Just regular garlic bread, though, you know, this fucking cheesy garlic bread that's extra. Yes. Bread? We have some garlic bread. Would you have garlic bread? Do you want a drink? Um... Um, drink, or do you want to make some sort of shrimp? I can do both. Yeah? I'm I'm fine with One that. One of them is just extra. <laughs> oh, do they have? So what do they have? Coke, no sugar, vanilla. <gasps> what? They have Coke vanilla. They also have Fanta Lift and Sprite. Hard hitting lemon. What the fuck is the difference? I don't know, but let's get some. Okay. Yep. Oh, this is lemon. Yeah, that's fine. Um, and can I have a lot of cake? Or do you want cheesy spud bites? Ah, oh, cheddar and mozzarella cheese spud bites. And tomato dip. That sounds delicious. Honestly, mashed potato with cheese in them, in the middle. It's up to you. You want extra side or extra dessert? Can I add a dessert on additionally to our no. order? Okay, then we get dessert. <laughs> get me my food. Hey. Right, we're getting food. We are getting food. Um, why does it? Have... Whose card is that? Uh, that might be my old card, Maybe. actually. Um, Schnitzel. Is there anything else that we want while we're here? Schnitzel. Eighteen bucks, mother of fuck. I mean, I guess it's super fucking filling. It's literally High a full-size chicken schnitz with stuff with on topping. It. Yeah. All right, check out. Fuck um, your exclusive rewards. Yeah, I do, I do not care. Yeah. I know, I heard. Yes, we are John Smith. We are John Smith at john.smith at example.com. Um, at least it's not john.do. Oh, it's always Smith. Okay. Ew. Uh, no, Better. Maybe. Um, either can we do on credit? Yeah. Interesting. Okay, delivery to that address ASAP from that Pizza Hut. Get the poop. Oh, actually, should I put your name in so that, um. Yeah. Can you. Oh, fuck, what did I just roll over? <laughs> Bubble wrap. So you have to do the. Okay. Um. No, I'll put yours in. There's no way. That? No. Yeah. No. no. <laughs> I'm really good at this. It's auto saved everywhere, so I don't have to. Do you want to create an account for future orders? Fuck off. Do you want exclusive no. offers and deals? <laughs> um, do you want contactless? I don't really mind. I don't know. Okay. Right. 
Yep. Other instructions. Get me to beat stuff. Really? Kind of fucking shitty instruction area. Can't that. even leave like a smiley face there. <laughs> um, place order. Fucking twenty letter. <laughs> Instruction. Was it 20? It looked like 15. Either or. Trying to tell them which apartment to buzz, what level to go to, and then what to... Oh. That's the first time that's happened. Interesting. I guess it determined that you've never made this purchase before. I like. Actually, I don't think I've ever used this online. Okay. So I'm gonna sit here and bug the shit out of you until pizza arrives. Is that okay? Sure. Yeah, man. You don't want to like play a video game? My arms hurt. My back hurts. <laughs> Your Mine arms hurt, hurt too much to play video games. I'm so sorry. And I got another band-aid. <laughs> what the fuck did you do? Look. Band-aid. What the fuck did you do to earn another band-aid? So you know that stuff I was doing yesterday? No. Oh, well I was on having a container <laughs> Brain, by hand no yesterday. Oh yes, yes. I have an abrasion on the back of my finger that I don't didn't realise was the, was there. I bumped it on something and god damn is it excruciating. So it's there for protection, not for actually like holding a wound together. Is that both? <laughs> Fuck. Ah oh, dear. Now I've all been playing a two dollars. Yay nutty! I got mine on Monday! How awesome is it? Well done. But to hit send in so now that your pizza stream is a tech deductible meal! <laughs> Forever on the same wavelength. I love that. I love so, that. Yeah, what are you supposed to be doing in this Leveling. area? Oh. Why are you murdering everything? Well, it was murdering me. But no, I had to kill a bunch of the serpents and then I had to blow up some of their nests oh, so that they couldn't rude. be born. And then Why would we're gonna that? turn Ooh. this in. And then turn this in. Ding! 49! Get to collect the one on top of the tank. Stuff. Ooh, rare. Oh, you got shroud. <laughs> I now understand how annoying it is for all of you for me to like fucking narrate what I'm doing. Um, sometimes John Citizen, yes, sometimes it's John Citizen. Time for mug brownie, that sounds delicious. Eight in the morning for me, just had breakfast, now I'm in the mood for pizza. I mean- Kill the things. No. But it says kill Yeah, but things. in a second, at first it says to go up here and kill this specific thing. Kill that thing. I'm trying to make fruit bubble tea, does it matter if I watch grapefruit or guava how to, are they the same? Yes, yeah. they are the same. If you want the specific reactions and descriptions of what those flavors taste like to me, then watch the specific videos. Um, but they are the same recipe, yeah. It's just you swap out the syrup. Beat Saber. I don't oh, have yeah. VR. You know how we had that barbecue at work as well? Yeah. Oh, that's right. You had that to leave was early. guava juice. Ooh, guava juice is tasty. Yeah, it is. So, nobody else had any of the juice, so I got I like, an grateful. entire bottle of guava juice. For, it was... Like, ah! Fairy! Thank you so much for the donation! Sure, much appreciated. I mean, you're not wrong. But yeah, so I got like a Love liter juice. of guava juice for my entire ship that I just carried around. Fucking oh, nice. Her. That's awesome. Nobody else wanted to Free drink juice, best juice. Yeah, they wanted soft drink, yeah? It was 7am. All of them yeah, had a coffee. Oh, right. Okay, <laughs> coffee. Gotcha. Yeah, no, you're not a coffee drinker, though. You might want to stun him. I don't have... I probably do. It's fine. 
This shit's getting dangerous. I that can't red, kick that it. screen's been red for yonks. Fuck you, okay, look. Ma fucking mages. Rogues are squishy as hell. Um That's why they have utility. How is that different from what he does in his own room? <laughs> oh fuck. Playing games can be dangerous. I managed to cut my lip trying to put my headset on it. What? Noise. How, Kaz? What how does that connect? Well this food took made me hungry made a quick pasta, olive oil, chili, garlic, coriander, baby pickles. Most of that sounds delicious. Yay, my shaman never has to do service quarters again! Ah, oh, fantastic meeting! Wonderful news. Mug cakes are very popular in our household. They were really popular here as well, but I like them just a little bit underdone, so they're kind of gooey at the bottom. And every single time I made a mug cake, I'd get about three quarters of the way through and then start to feel like I was going to be sick. Um, like get cramps and stuff like that as well, like really badly. So, and I don't use egg in mine before anyone says it's because of raw egg. I do not use egg in mug cakes. Do not ever use an egg in a fucking mug cake. They're terrible. Um... Like, one, two eggs goes in an entire cake. If you're having, like, one-sixth of a cake, why would you put one whole egg in that? Don't do it. It's horrible. But, yeah. Well, um, it gets you swallowed. No. Uh, Favorite of the Drenal Zones. Is there one you enjoy leveling in the most? I really like Shadow Moon Valley. The, like, the Alliance starting area. I really enjoyed that. Every time I played through it, it's just absolutely gorgeous. Um... Spires isn't too bad. I found a marker. I'm glad you found it before you put your pants in the wash. It was in my Oh, shirt. um, how sore are you? Very. You sure? I believe I've made this known. Because <laughs> there's dry laundry in the dryer and wet laundry in the washing machine. Where's that beam? Nose boob? Where is that beam? Good question. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, fuck, you're a numpty. Oh, lord. But yeah, I've been unpacking hops all afternoon. So my hands have smelt like beer for a solid four hours. Good, wonderful. You don't like beer. How sore are you sore? Are you sure? Yep. That's exactly it. Is that what I just heard? Yes, it is. This is how most Fear of the conversations legend. about my injuries I also happen. have laundry to switch over. Thank you. Very welcome. I did. I washed the bed sheets today. You they are too. They are not the sheets from the washing. They are the sheets that we used to have on the bed that I washed last time I changed I'm the sheets. I'm more concerned about your lack of pillows. That's because I also washed the pillows. Oh, that explains the towel on the um, so, no, there's a reason the towel is on the floor, because I also washed your pillows. And when I washed your pillows, the washing machine beeped angrily at me. Um, every time it tried to go through to the spin cycle, it went, nee -doo, nee -doo, nee -doo, nee and I googled it to figure out what the fuck it meant. And it turns out it's because it was unbalanced, an unbalanced load. So if you do a spin cycle with an unbalanced load, your washing machine becomes a projectile. That's great. Why is my entire pillow unbalanced? It's both of them, firstly. Okay. And it's because yours aren't IKEA pillows that are made to be washed in the washing machine. Oh, that makes sense. So all of my feathers are on one side, aren't they? They're not feather pillows. No. All of um, my squishy bits are on one side. No, 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 no. It's just because they were they absorbed all the water. And became more than seven kilograms, which is what the limit is on the washing machine. Oh, so that's why they're drying in the dryer. So I, pull, I pulled them out of the washing machine into a small fun. bucket, one of them at a time, because they were very large and very fucking heavy. And then I went into the shower and squeezed them out as best I could. And then put them on the drying rack and put a towel under the drying rack. Yes. So... We have approximately 70 billion pillows in this house. Um, and all of them, uh, most of them, sorry, are in like... So good, um, I have two spare pillows. You do, yeah. Um, but there are, a lot of them are in like vacuum seal bags and stuff, like under the couch and in boxes and just like in storage. But we don't need that many fucking pillows. At the absolute most, we need eight. At the absolute most. Mm -hmm. Double bed in here, two and two, and then double bed in your room... Well, it's a I think they're both queens. 
I think. Um, and then like two and two. So that's a maximum of eight, right? We don't need more than eight pillows. So I want to pull all the pillows out from all the random little locations and decide on our best eight pillows. Throw away all the non-IKEA ones. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> and replace them with IKEA ones that can go in the washing machine and then promptly in the dryer like both of mine did. One at a time. They had to go into the dryer one at a time, though, because the dryer wouldn't start because I think it was like, what the fuck is this heavy bullshit? So um, we, we need some more. We need a trip to Ikea. We do have a trip to Ikea. But no, I think the, st the stools will probably be out of stock by now. God damn it. Um, well, there are only two left, and we want two. What so does it take to have two chairs? Um, but yeah, look, I think what we need to do is um, make ourselves a shopping list of stuff that we want. Pillows, chairs. Correct. Oh, and no, there's more. But as we, like, because we're not going to be able to go to Ikea for at least a couple months anyway. Um, but every time we have a free weekend, <laughs> we'll, we'll check on the Ikea site and see if they have stock. And if they do, and if they do then we'll fucking jump in the car and rock it down there at the speed limit. Um, Fuck that. And, and take whatever shopping list we've accrued. Ten under all the way. Because <laughs> I really like those pillows we got for the couch and I'd kind of like to get a couple more. You should drink your potion. I can't, I'm on a mount. <laughs> Same, and two loads of clothes. I did good. Well done, Yori. Well done. Unbalanced. Yeah, so unbalanced means that it's it's lopsided. So one of his pillows is quite a bit older than the other one, and so it absorbed a lot more water, so it became a lot heavier. So we had one, and because they're pillows in a front loader washing machine, one of them was a bit heavier, bent along this side of it, and then the other one was a bit lighter, bent along. So it couldn't tip it to redistribute the weight. It was stuck up against the sides because of how large they were and swollen with water. So it couldn't do a spin. If it tried doing a spin cycle, it would permanently break itself. And so it stopped. Um, and I'm happy about that because washing machines are fucking expensive. Yeah, it said UE on the front and was going beep boop, beep boop. Um, what was in there? Two pillows. Yes, I watched a spot book Did a few days ago. That was, oh no. What? No. Yeah, it's in the oven. It did change. Hell yeah. Okay. He was jiggling his leg. <laughs> Does that annoy anyone else? Um, moral of the story, Jas has wet pillows. Correct. <laughs> Correct. They needed a fucking wash, though. They needed a fucking wash. Kick his ass, bird man. I don't think I've ever gotten to this point in Spires. Because they've all, ass, they've all dinged man. 50 before hitting here. Wish we had Nike nearby. We don't. It's a it's a day trip. Like we go and we like we pretty much we get there and we have we can have breakfast. We have breakfast from like takeout on the way. Like you know, grab a Macca's breakfast, uh, and then we do our shopping. And halfway through the shopping, we have lunch in the the restaurant, uh, and then we finish it up and we go home. And we get home at about five. Like that's it's a full day. IKEA is a day. It's a day trip, which is why I don't want to go I go to IKEA for a pillow. You know, that's just fucking no. You go for you go to IKEA and you get a bunch of shit. Um. Um. Hello, John Fu. I hope you're doing well. Um. I went yesterday. Ah, oh, nice. What'd you pick up? Everything and a kitchen sink. Um, sorry, I know I was guessing the problem. Oh, gotcha. Closest IQ is Adelaide. We're going there in April. Ooh, it's yeah, make yourself a fucking shopping list. Make yourself a real good shopping list. Watch a machine suddenly saying, like, a machine gun is terrifying. Oh, yeah. The whole, the rest of the day after the error message, I was constantly just, anytime I heard anything unusual, I'd be like, like, <laughs> was it the whole yeah, time? Damn pillows. I want to visit my mum in Sydney. We always have an IKEA Costco day. Oh, I love, ooh, actually, oh, they won't let us into Tell Costco. Tell the bloke on the left. Oh, um, they won't let us get into Costco on your mum's card, will they? No. You have to have, like, the card holder by name there. Apparently. Reckon your mum would be up to meeting us there? Maybe. After an Ikea trip? Probably not. Probably not. Good afternoon, Draz. How are you going today? In the oven, in the in the oven. Where the fuck else would you make pizza? Fucking dishwasher? Why? Because everyone's making everything in a fucking dishwasher these days. That just makes it soggy. Right okay, here's like 15 minutes away, and that feels like a long journey. Maybe because you, maybe it's because of how long you spend there once you get there, Jack. Maybe that's why it's a long journey. Um, good sore arm, but okay. Oh, that I'm glad you're okay. I'm glad you're okay. I'm lazy. I get my IKEA yeah, delivered. I. I like, I mean, there are definitely some things that I can get delivered, but, um, 
I like to see it first and check like how big it feels. And then I, I know it has the measurements on the website and all that kind of stuff, but I prefer to see how the furniture is actually going to work in my home before I purchase it. Um, and for the, the smaller things and stuff, I like to be able to, you know, touch cushions and stuff. But I also really like going to Ikea. I fucking love the restaurant. And, and I love going to the little, the food place after, like the groceries afterwards. Um, last time I restrained myself like hardcore at the grocery section last time we went to Ikea. Jas was like, I'm going to wait here with our stuff. Um, and then he kind of watched me concerned as I went through the whole area. But I did really well. I only really picked up, I, I, I didn't even pick up a packet of candy. You got two tins of biscuits. Two tins of biscuits and two jars of jam. That was it. We still it. haven't finished the jam. Excuse me, would you like to check the pantry? You finished the jam. Oh, I have indeed finished the jam. No, it wasn't. I finished it like literally a month ago. Oh. I wasn't a fan Shows of how much he uses the pantry. You weren't a fan of it? No. Aw. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. It's very strong. It is quite a. It's quite concentrated, yeah. My back hurts. Well, the back on that is low enough that you might be able to stretch back over it. I have a better idea. You gonna lie down? I'm gonna lie down. Lazy shit. Yep. Lie down in the back of my stream. I'm right. You know I'm at work, right? Yes. <laughs> I've got uh, my. I've started I've got car my on with full back. Ah, oh, meeting. You guys hate this. That's the that's the worst, really. Oh, Absolute worst. IKEA on throne. Um, the only thing with putting it on throne is that their delivery fees are a little bit wonky, and so throne might go come to me and say, uh, "This wasn't enough. Um, do you want to refund or blah blah?" Like, do you know what I mean? You didn't like you didn't charge enough. Like you didn't put the correct price in your thingamajig, um, or the. Um, uh, they tend to run out of stock and restock things randomly all the time. So if they hit a particular moment when it's out of stock and then when I go to fix the issue, it's in stock again. But then by the time they go to place the order again, it's out of stock. Like it's just at least the Ikea's near us seem to fluctuate quite heavily with their stock levels. I'm not sure it would work super well. I think if I was going to do something like a um, plus a lot of it is expensive. Like, furniture and shit like that is, is hella expensive. I mean, it is furniture. Yeah, it's I know. It's kind of big and fucking heavy. I could definitely- I could put it on throne in the same way that I've put, like, my, my next phone and the Fitbit and stuff on there. Like, not as an intention for you guys to purchase it, but as an intent of this is what I want to get I'm when I get it. You. I'm not. Because it's fuck off expensive. Oh, speaking of watching what? Um, those are the ones from the place. The the rubber ones don't fit. Um, and I've said to them that they're like they offered a store credit and I said, Well what's the point in that? Because like none of the silicon bands fit and I specifically wanted a silicon band, but they haven't responded to that, so I'm guessing they've kinda of washed their hands of it. They've said, Oh, we've done what we were supposed to do. Um, but the Milanese one works fine. Uh, and I've got the one from JB in here because I've contacted them about the fact that both of the pins were bent. One, one of them's bent and one of them's actually looks like it's been cut with a pair of pliers. Oh. Um, and yes. yeah, let me show you. So, um, so one of bent. Oh, God. And then one of them looks like it's always been cut, right? Why? Yeah. Um, and then one of them was split, so when I actually, I did get it, like, they got on to the, the device perfectly easily, um, except for the bent one, <laughs> but, um, when it, when I went to put it on, it almost, it lifted up and away from, because there's a split in it, and it lifted up and away, so I've taken photos of it all and I've sent it to them to say, excuse me, this is completely screwed. How bad can you be if you fucking product? Yeah, um, and I'm still, and that was 50 bucks too, for that replacement strap. So I'm, 50 bucks? Yeah, 50 bucks and 5 bucks delivery. And you got two broken pins and yeah. a sh shitty and strap? And a split strap, yeah. Where's the full refund and then giving us the thing? I, I don't think they're going to just replace it. I don't think yes. they're going to refund. But, um, yeah, so I'm just waiting um, to hear back from JB now. Oh, yeah. What's Wait that? What? <laughs> well done. Congratulations. Congratulations. Oh, Lord. Where's the cave? Uh, it's under the ground. Oh, shit. Hang on. No, no. Come back here. 
Enter the cave. Run away. Oh, it's here. Okay. Found it. Um, I ended up with my bedside table. Went to Ikea with a friend for stuff for him, spotted it, went back with my parents to grab it as an early birthday present. I love that. That's awesome. Uh, smallest Ooh, squid frequently asked to go to Ikea box. for meatballs and I'm on Monday's daily. Yes. Look, they're putting it in a box. Uh, well, yeah, it's said that for several minutes now. How long does it take to put it in a box? Um, several minutes apparently. It's getting ready to be delivered, is what they're saying. Maybe they're waiting for a driver to get there. Quite possibly, yeah. Too many people for me to go in person. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, just doesn't get that we can't eat there every week. Right now I feel like you're experiencing with just a snippet of what Work from home with squids is oh this is this is every afternoon that I'm working. Jazz gets home from work earlier and then kind of like. Sometimes I just have to say, "Huh, look, I I can't. No, I can't. I'm in the middle of something. You need to leave. I will come talk to you when I'm free." <laughs> like, <laughs> but I do though, because like you want to share your day with me and stuff, and I'm appreciative of that, and I love that. But I'm at work. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm working, sweetheart. I'll be with you shortly, ma'am. Yeah. Yeah, I can imagine. Some of the shelves I wanted from Ikea weren't in stock. Staff members said they are expecting them in tomorrow. Like, I have the time to go into Ikea two days in a row. I know. I know. That's a good point. Ikea is never in a good location. Traveling two days in a row. It's because they're huge and they can't put them in small... Like, they can't... They, you know what I mean? It's just Deliver a... Deliver to my local Ikea and then I'll buy it from there. A hole? No. Yeah, one of them. Uh, so, and the other thing is that so, like their online warehouse is different from their actual in-person stores as well, because yeah, it said they were. Yeah, because the the stools that we wanted said only two left from the bike here that we would go to, and then it said not available for online delivery. So like, you know what I mean? And then sometimes it's available for online delivery, but not from your local place and stuff like that. So it's, uh, yeah. It's on its way. It is. It take too long to get here, you know. It said 11 minutes. Yeah. And it's still 11 seven minutes. minutes? Yeah, it's, you're already on its way and it will be with you in 11 minutes. Remember that they don't bike, they car, so they have to wait for traffic and stuff. 11 minutes? Yes. Oh. Uh, background jazz is squid in work video meeting equivalent. Now he'll start loudly kicking a wall and screaming at his sibling. Well, his sibling is not here. Um, I can and call her. If, if he kicks a wall, he can pay for the repairs. What if I lightly kick or he can, Or he can pay me back for the fucking bond. What if I lightly kick Only chat. I'm gonna turn emote only chat on. There we go. Emote chat. Um, hello, Claps. Welcome on in. Oh, I should probably play some games. Potentially. I've been spending the last two hours trying to sort out my PC. Oh, I wonder what's happened. Will you be able to let us know in a couple minutes when Emote Only Chat has finished? That's like five. Ten minutes. So now, yeah, hopefully. Ah, good. Hey, channel. Oh, the emotes. Show me your emotes. That's not an emote. That's just you making a sound. Hi. Did you have your phone on you? Oh. Hi. Hi. Hi me. Hi. Hi. Jazz wants hypes. There you go. Give me hypes. <laughs> well, Seeker has spammed a bunch of family mods. That works too. <laughs> yes. That's it. That's it, dupe. Yeah, it is dupe. Yeah, dupe. Uh, Why am I trying to get shit in the cave? What? In the cave? Oh, this cave, maybe? I need to kill Apex's constructs. I like This is good emote spam. This is good emote spam? It is. I agree. I have no idea what half of them are, but they look good. Because <laughs> they're small from where you are. Yes. Hmm. Ah, oh dear. <laughs> so 
How many emotes? Nine minutes. No more pens. Why did this one? Oh, dang it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I put this down. You clearly know. Okay, I'll put it back in my pocket. Clearly no. Oh, Jesus Christ. Emote only mode has finished. Thank you uh, so much for sharing. It's a quarter of the way in there. Nine minutes to go till we get pizza. You fucked it. How did I fuck it? It, it didn't fit. You didn't fit. No, I, I, I didn't. How did this look really fit? Fit. It's not a plural, it's a past tense. <laughs> <laughs> plural! <laughs> oh yeah. shit. What's the past tense of fit? Fit. That's stupid. Sheep. Same deal, Sheep except that's plural. Too. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna push that so you guys get the, the battle, but I think I'm gonna maybe die here. Don't die, drink your potion. I have already, it's got 12 seconds on cooldown left. Run away. I'm trying! These fucking chakrams are everywhere, and also there's like people in the corners. You have like six speed boosts. You're a speed boost. Uh, no. Sorry, I played death. That's like the antithesis. Antithesis. Push. <laughs> <laughs> Antithesis. I like that, that's great. Is better than antithesis. I don't know, antithesis is a pretty awesome word, just saying. So is it. No, it's not. You just oh, said God. it was cool. Like, yeah. We're now getting pizza also. Domino's, wonderful. I'm gonna die. Don't I'm die, Ronald. Oh, he sounds like my nine year old waiting for his dinner. He's mentally nine years old and he is waiting for dinner. Eight minutes. I will throw one of these. Oh, will you? Actually, no. Of stuff Fucking earth there is. I will tickle you instead. No, you won't. So I don't like it. And that's the whole point of tickling someone. Token chest! Pepperoni, Godfather, cheese for the squids, and cheesy garlic bread, and garlic scrolls. Ooh, yum. Congratulations to Der, Kobalik, Spam, and Vuch on all your bonus shit. Seven minutes. I know, I'll steal all of you. Giving me the death face emoji. Rest in pepperoni. That face, the ripperoni face. <laughs> the ripperoni face. <laughs> oh lord. Okie dokie. Gold chest time. Not like, not like gold as in money, as in gold as in like silver, gold, silver, and bronze. Oh gosh. But gold, silver, and bronze is money. Uh, isn't that copper? Is also money. Oh dear. I think you're actually giving me a headache today. That sounds like you. You just in here because the candle smells good. Oh yeah, there's a candle. Oh, I almost lit my foot on fire. That is bad. <laughs> oh fucking oath. You are <laughs> unbelievable. I mean, have you seen this sock? That's a fire hazard. Yeah, it's also got a clump of hair attached to it. This is a fire hazard. You're a fire hazard. Yes, I'm wearing flammable clothing. No, actually, I don't think any of your clothing is flammable. My socks are, that's clothing. Your pants might be, but the rest of you is like hella polyester. I think it'd just melt. This is a woolen sock. Oh, is it? Yes. Okay, so that's fungible. Your pants, maybe, but your shirts, they're all polyester. Like, hella polyester. They'll just melt and stick to you. That would suck. Correct. So don't set yourself on fire. A. Eh? Jazz is fungible. Jazz is always fungible. To reinstall Windows, PC, CPU is spinning like a Beyblade. Okay, your Let CPU. I'm, a, I'm hoping you mean the CPU fan, because if your CPU is spinning, you have bigger problems. <laughs> Did you take the CPU to the CPU fan? Never do have not do that. issues ever again. Do not do that. Do not follow Justice's advice, it is terrible. Um, yeah, reinstalling Windows is actually a lot easier than it used to be. It's a lot less painful to do than it used to be. Yeah, if, you, if you've got a. If you've got a. 
if you've got a decently sized USB stick, it's super, super easy. It just takes time. Yeah, five minutes. By the way, I didn't push your seat back down, so um, I can have see. fun with that. Jazz is flammable. Jazz is inflammable. Correct. Have a good USB. Oh, that's awesome then. Yeah, it should be it should be pretty easy then. Once you start up like the, the recovery and repair tool or whatever it's called, um, it basically says, would you like to prepare a USB stick? And you go, yes. And then it does a bunch of stuff. And then it says, would you like to reinstall Windows using your USB stick? And you go, yes. And then it does it. Like, it's so easy. Um, the, the whole backing up your files and like it lets you back up your files or keep your programs or like there's a whole lot of like really awesome options nowadays. Um, so yeah, it, it's a lot less painful than it used to be, I promise. Jazz stream needs to be a redeemable option for channel points. I do love that idea that mechanics would be difficult, as well as Jazz not being paid for it. I mean, we can have a stream that Jazz is involved in, but I'm assuming you want a stream that is just Jazz. Um, the, the biggest pro- oh, am I supposed- inside the cave. Good. The biggest issue with um, having a jazz only stream without fear is actually um, that I can be reported for not like protecting my stream or for sharing my stream key and stuff like that. Like it's, um, yeah, it's actually a problem. He's it can, somewhere else. It can actually be a problem. Yeah, I don't know what. Anyway. What the fuck, GPS? I think the GPS might be just broken. There's no closed streets out there or anything, is there? Couldn't be. No, I don't think so. I didn't see any on my way in. Mm. Just Jazz draining in for 10 minutes. Oh, we've had entire streams at Jazz has been sitting next to me. Um, most notably things, I mean the cooking stream, obviously, the both of us did together, but that was a while ago. Um, we did win um, Pokemon. Diamond, and brilliant we're gonna diamond. Do it again. We are um, on the twenty eighth of January. Uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus is releasing. Jas won't be with me from right at the beginning because he has to finish work and get home and stuff. But um, he will be here as soon as he gets home. He's going to be joining in stream. Yeah, friggin' shower first. What do you want? About? Well, yeah, okay. You got to like he gets home. He has a shower. He gets he puts more clothing on, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But yeah, he's going to join me for the rest of the stream once he gets home. So, um, yeah. Definitely a thing. Key. Wipe everything just in case. Totally fair. Um, 100k points for one minute of Jazz playing mage. <laughs> uh, not Jazz only. What about summoning Jazz? Hey Jazz, how's your Pokemon's team going? I haven't been able to play. This finger thing prevents me from pushing buttons. It only prevents you from pushing the, um... You know how useful the right trigger is in the Pokemon's game? No, actually, I don't. It's we'll used it for point. everything. Oh, okay. Interesting. Um... You sweet baby angel, you mean? Oh, sorry. I, I, like I every child in the history of forever. But this one's less useful. You need to wash your hands. Don't worry about it. I'm very worried, especially considering you put, keep putting them very close to my face. They only smell like... I don't want to smell your hands. Metal. On my keys. I think, yeah, I think the GPS is dead. Ah, yeah. uh, like all the kids dropping in on their parents' phone calls. Jas has been pushing buttons all stream. He's been pushing my fucking buttons all stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? You're dying. I am aware, that's why I popped my health, health cooldowns. I used my neck and I used my potion. I don't know, like, I don't know if the GPS is just broken for this. Watch those pause before being the pi before the pizza arrives. Yeah, look. He's not gonna. But at least he only handles the box.
are you winning? Usually, not always. Check your phone, Jas. Phone. Considering he's been sitting in the wrong street for 10 minutes, I reckon he'll probably call you at some point. Okay, we'll just hold on to it for when he eventually die. Well, they eventually do, yeah? Have fun. I don't know. Hello, Buster. How are you? Welcome on in. It's not usually this chaotic. Well, that's a lie. Sometimes it is. But, but we're, we're anticipating in pizza delivery, like, immediately, and Jas is being a fucking numpty. So, you know. Now I've lost the fucking cave again. Um, one side. Hey. We need to kill the little ones first. No thanks, I mean you. Very well, thank you for asking. Uh, hungry. <laughs> kind of pizza are you having? Uh, pizza Hut. Um, we usually go Domino's, so we're changing it up today, we're going with Pizza Hut. Um, we're getting a barbecue meat lovers, a margarita, like with, with chopped up tomato and stuff, and a, uh, I think we were getting a barbecue cheeseburger? Yeah, barbecue cheeseburger. With a garlic bread, uh, lift, so like lemon squash, and a Hershey's lava cake. Because I want a lava cake. <laughs> Is fear hungry? Probably yes. Correct. Shout Papa John's fan personally. I don't think we have Papa John's in Australia. Or maybe we just have like a couple of them here and there. I don't know. Uh, we don't, I don't think we have one near me. I'm in Brisbane. I'm in Queensland. Yeah. There are a couple of other places that are close to us that are like not big chains that are pretty good as well. But uh, we've been having some issues with Uber Eats lately. Just seriously fucking shit up really, really badly. Uh, and I don't really want to reward that kind of shit, so, um... We're just- we're not ordering from them for a while. Um, I didn't know first time being here. Um, didn't know I was Australian? Or didn't know- because, I mean, I'm- I'm assuming that most international people wouldn't know what kind of, um, uh, chain stores different countries have, but yeah. Watching and making a pavlo- ah, oh, pavlover is like my favourite type of cake. Just saying. I love pepper. Oh no! I had a poison. Shit. Shit. There we go. Yes. <laughs> All of the above. Oh, where's it going? Then GPS has done another swing around. I'm assuming Jazz is going to be getting a phone call pretty soon. Unless, ah, uh, it might be a double drop off. They might have dropped off somebody else's first. That makes sense. That makes more sense at least. Uh, oh, hearth to axe fault. Okay, I can do that. Let's just hearth then. Do you even need to get out of there? Mm. How are we going? I know I'm 49. Halfway through 49. I think the, the pizza ordering made quite a dent in my efficiency. <laughs> Oops. Hopefully we'll still get to three. Three new fifties today. I will see. Yeah. 
It's about time. Hello, Trad. Welcome back. The Talon King's own sages betrayed him. Tillak and his allies were cast into the pools. Their cursed blood seared his flesh and tore at his mind. As he withered, Tillak had but one concern. His daughter, Livik. Seeing her broken body, oh, Terok So what's going on today on here? So Fairly new WoW player. Saw this ad for stream on Battle.net, so I thought I'd come check it out! Oh, well, welcome on in. Um, I hope you're enjoying yourself but so far, at least. Uh, both in stream and in game. Uh, I'm leveling. I have... Uh, the maximum number of characters you can have on your WoW account is 50. And the level required to be able to have the heartbreaker drop during lovers in the air so it's a super 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 rare mount rarest mount in the game um and it only drops for two weeks a year and those two weeks are during february um so and you get one chance per character per day so i thought you know what let's see if i can get a full account of characters that are eligible to try to maximize my chances of getting this super rare mount. So it did. We called it my uh, Fears 50-50 challenge. 50-50s. So 50 level 50 characters. Uh, and I'm really close, actually. We're almost there. Um, we're at 30. 30 out of 50 currently. Uh, and I have 4 level 47 tunes, 5 level 48 tunes, and 11 level 49 tunes. So we're very, like, that's the 20 remaining. They're all exceptionally close to 50. So that's what we're doing. We're leveling my army of alts. Um, I'm currently leveling through Warlords of Draenor. And we're in Spires of Iraq, the zone. Last year's Christmas Pavlova failed as the power dropped out at 6am, halfway through cooking it. Oh no, this year's Pav failed. I left the temp up too high. I forgot to turn down. Got a bit overcooked. The little brown tasted great. And that's the point, right? As long as it tasted great. As long as it tastes great. Which mount again? Uh, the Heartbreaker. There's, there's a bunch of letters and numbers. I think it's like the X52 or 56 or something. I can't remember exactly what the numbers are, but the, the main word is Heartbreaker. Oh, 30, nice getting that. Indeed, super close. Super, super close now. Almost there. I'm not gonna know what to do with myself once they're all done. 50, my god, I thought you said 15. Nope, 50, 5 0. The strongest of his guards There's a spreadsheet. The sanity. And one right Just was my message. I've got started. Oh, that's okay. Um, so I'm leveling. Uh, I'm leveling a crap load of ults. 50 level 50 characters. I'm getting very close to being done. Uh, and I'm leveling in Warlords of Genre Expansion, and this is the Spires of Iraq Zone. In summary. Used to be the Love Rocket. Yep, it used to be called the Love Rocket. They've changed the name. It's now the Heartbreaker. When you say food has arrived at my hands, well, I'm leaving the memory, and I do have a uh, fucking, what's it called? I'm going to refer to that. Uh, chair stream, and I've done that one. So I'm going to take that chair stream and get myself some pizza. I'll be back shortly. And a drink. And a drink. One moment, please. In time, they would be known as Talon Priests. Together they would build Skettis and protect the unwanted children of Rukmar.
It's a... Pizza. The spoon is not for the pizza. <laughs> Before anyone freaks out, the spoon is not for the pizza. Spoon is for the lava kick. Right! Okay. Um. Nice with the rocket 50 50s. Yes, nice with the best of luck for the matchup. Thank you! I'm gonna be streaming all my attempts. So um, feel free to join us in the, the happiness and the despair and all of the shit. Hmm, <laughs> I'm from hardship boxes. Good luck with the drop. Thank you. Much appreciated. Pisha. Yeah, it's Pisha. Now, I don't remember which one had the witch. Okay, so it's original pan. Original pan is deep dish. Traditional is thin, much thinner. Um, like, like this. This is this is original pan, and this is traditional. Like, yeah. <laughs> Mm. Delicious. Mm. Happiness, sure. Well, look, even if it doesn't drop, if I manage to do every attempt on every tune, every day, that in and of itself is a goddamn fucking achievement. So, like, even if it doesn't drop, I'll still be proud of myself for that. <clears throat> if you want to eat pizza with a spoon, you do you. The time priest sealed Terak away in the shadows. And that brings us to today. With the relics and the talent priests in place, we are ready to call upon the Talon King. I'm gonna have so much sauce on my face. I checked my achievements earlier for Luna and Love is in the Air. I'm not actually about to go. Oh, nice! I'm pretty sure I have all of them. Um, yeah, I'm done for achievements. It's more cosmetics because it's been less than a year since I started giving a shit about um about uh, uh fucking transport and stuff. So. Mm. So that'll be super interesting to see just how many I, I need. <clears throat> There's also a chance I won't need to use Luna Festival to level any tunes, but I'll still need to run them all through the goddamn Elders anyway. <clears throat> that'll be quite funny. Imagine if you got the rocket within five tries. Oh, there is a running joke that I'm gonna get it first go. Um, and you know what? I'd be happy with that. Because I'm still gonna have an army of alts for farming. All the other mounts and all the transmog and all that kind and all the pets and all that all the toys, everything. I am the oh, speaking of toys, I, I got the um the sparkle the wings from one of the old Ardenwheel callings the other day. So that's exciting. Um but yeah, so like and it also means I don't have to do 750 runs in two weeks. Like, I would be happy to not have to do that. But we'll see. Before you get it first time next year. 
Could awesome. be just my luck. Failed you. Another baby tune at 25 so far, another at 20. Well done. I'm back up to getting there. That's awesome. Cadgar isn't here to protect you this time. What? Are you all right? That was a close call. Mm. We barely got you out in time. <laughs> yes. That orc, Karka. <laughs> Even at my full strength, he would prove a challenge. Shadows gather. <laughs> Tread carefully. Keep to the shadows. Um, do you recommend going as a DPS inside Castle Nathria slash Sanctum for the first time with the dungeon browser? Or should I make research first? Um, I would always suggest doing some research first. Um, even if it's just reading through the, the, like, adventure guide and stuff, it's shift to J by default, and then you can check your raids there and have a look at all your, um, abilities and stuff like that. Uh, <clears throat> LFR is very, very, very pared back. Um, you definitely get a lot of leeway in terms of, like, if you stand in something once, you'll probably be fine, but if you stand in it three times, it'll kill you kind of thing. Um, it's good for learning. Um, but, I mean, there's nothing wrong with having a read of the abilities and just seeing what goes on and then paying attention to the, the, the uh, stuff that pushes through in-game, like the voice lines that the bosses say before they do an ability. Um, or, you know, the alerts that the Blizzard UI gives you when something's about to happen, all that kind of stuff. Like, it's not... Uh, raiding is not difficult. Doing LFR is not difficult. The, the hardest part is dealing with the idiots in chat who think that they're mythic raiders and that you are blessed by their presence in LFR. Um, like... Not all mythic raiders are like that, and not all people who are like that are actually mythic raiders. They kind of claim to be usually, but they're not usually like they're not always. But there's there's always a couple in every raid group who will try to get everyone to vote kick that one person who messed up once, um, while ignoring the fact that they've messed up several times as well. Um, but you just yeah, do your best, avoid stuff, do as much damage as you can at the same time, and yeah, you'll be fine. It's LFR. It's not that kind of. Uh, you learn the most by seeing, doing the fights yourself, but reading up never hurt anyway. Not everyone does, Serge. Um, some people benefit greatly from reading up or watching videos before a fight. Um, not everyone does. Some people definitely learn best by doing. Um, but a lot of people that I've raided with uh, benefited a lot from watching videos and stuff beforehand because when you're in the fight, often you'll have a lot of stuff overlapping, a lot of stuff happening all at once. And so they panic because they're like, fuck that, uh, fu I just, uh, shut. Um, especially the first few runs. After a little while, yeah, of course, anyone kind of picks it up as they learn and stuff, but being able to see each of them in a video in isolation and then dealing with them all at once when they're in there themselves um, gave them uh, a bit of a head start. But so everyone so. learns differently. Um, so the only only you will know how you handle raids best. Go as a DPS. If you make a mistake, just type, this tank in chat works every time. Don't, don't be toxic. <laughs> like, you know, I, and I know that's a joke, but newer players might not. So just, yeah, like, be careful what you say. Um, that's not okay. Baby Mm-hmm. Traditional cross sucks. Original pan is where it's at. <laughs> no bet. <clears throat> Look, it's not terrible. It's definitely not thin and crispy, but it's no deep pan either. Looks like I'm lagged. Oh, uh, no. Um, so... 
There is a there is an individual user cooldown. 15 seconds before they through. Ah, interesting. Uh, look, it might be on your end, it might be on my end, who knows? Um, there's the potential for it to be both. Like I'm not having any um doesn't look like I'm any, having any connection issues. But um oh actually I do have a couple, not many, just a couple of dropped frames. Oh, it doesn't look like it was recent. It might be the bot having troubles. Um, the bot can have a dodgy connection as well, unfortunately. The thing is, my gear is at roughly 220 at the moment, and to get better gear, I would need to grind Corthia, which I don't want, or go raiding, but I would need to go heroic mythic raiding to get better gear, I guess, so I would get to get guild. I just never need to know the raids much more, so it's kind of hard to get better gear fast at this point. At that point, you're not going to get better gear fast. You're just not going to. You are now at the point, as you've correctly identified, that it's raid time. Or Mythic Plus, like higher level Mythic Plus time. Um, or higher level PvP time. Um, there is a cap to how high you can go without participating in hardcore endgame type play. So mythic raiding, heroic raiding, endgame, like like high level PvP or high level mythic plus. There is a limit to how far you can go without doing those high level activities which often require a set team like a guild. Um, it is okay to not progress past that point. It's fine. You don't have to. There is no pressure. When the next patch arrives, your gear will go up again. Or you'll be able, you have growth to be able to go up again by doing like more casual, guildless sort of content. Um, but yeah, that's 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 where you're at. You, you're at a point now where it's either do I continue solo play and just sit here contently until 9-2 hits, or do I push and do harder content that, it, that requires like a guild and dealing with guild politics and and all that kind of, you know, commitments to, to farming different materials and to being there at a, at a time on a day and all that kind of fun stuff that goes along with it. Um, but yeah, it's entirely your call. Um, I don't. I just stopped. I think I've got like 240 gear on fear. I did do a few heroic runs with a guild that I'm kind of friends with. Um, but I'm lucky in that they just kind of let me go and come and go as they please kind of thing. Um, as long as obviously there's space and I'm not just kind of using them or whatever, which I don't. Um, mm -mm. Cheerful, fairy, and meaty. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Well done. Probs mine. I've reloaded now. Fantastic. Mr. Five asked Mrs. Helix to reload the carrot container in the fridge. I love that. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. You'll do LFR as a DPS. Read the dungeon journal as you get to each boss so you aren't going completely blind. That is, that is a really good, yeah, definitely good advice. Best bet is to find a friendly guild to cheat you. Yeah, for sure. Okay, good to know. I think I'll have a look in Nathria Sanctum. With the browser to have seen it once, even my gear will not upgrade and do the Tazabesh Mythic Dungeon, and I'm done with Shadowlands, I guess. Well, until next content patch, which is in 9.2, which is, like, not long away, I don't think. I don't know. Best way to gear is Mythic Plus or PvP, yeah. Raid drops take a long time. Um, there's quite few drops for how many people are in the group. Um, and because there are more people, you're more likely to get drops that no one can use and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, it's... It does take a while. Mythic Plus, you can just kind of, and, and it's a lockout. You can only do it once a week. Uh, whereas Mythic Plus, you can go and go and go and go and go and go and go. Hmm. Never going to be done, neither am I. Neither am I. Maybe done with an expansion or, or done with a patch or something like that. But um, I highly doubt I'm ever going to be done collecting everything there is to collect in WoW. Uh, good morning, start up famous lady. How's you? I have pizza. I'm wonderful. I hope you're doing well, Brutal. And this one's very close to 50, but she just will not <laughs> tip over the line. Just, oh, this one feels like I'm taking forever. I think it's because I'm a rogue. <clears throat> Pizza! Okay, no, no, thank you. No pizza, damn! That's alright. Next time! You spent half an hour deciding what's to do in pizza. I know, I know, I know. 
that definitely held me back. Definitely held it back. So I'm gonna blame Jess. Phoenix, thank you so much for the resub. Much appreciated. I hope you're having a lovely day. Hello, hello. High smithing dungeon level was M2 when I remember it right. It was too difficult and I had no chances to tank. Um, so I uh, maybe this is a miscommunicate like or, or a, a translation error or something like that, but mythics don't have a maximum cap. What I'm assuming you meant was mythic two was what you tried, which is the lowest mythic available. Like there is no mythic plus one. It's it you've got like mythic dungeons, and then you have mythic plus two, mythic plus three, plus four, plus five, etc. etc. all the way up until like there there is actually no limit. It's just as far as players can currently get with their um the gear and skill level and stuff. Um, but yeah, if Mythic 2 was too rough, um, I'm not sure that Heroic Raiding would be your cup of tea. To be, just to be completely honest with you. Um. Hmm, blame the mod. Pizza delays. Yeah, we blame the pizza delays. That's exactly it. How are you doing? I have pizza. It's delicious. I'm doing well. <laughs> Made a great day. Fantastic. I'm so glad to hear that. Wonderful news. This is a rare shit. Okay, no. We're gonna skip out on this. No, I'm not. Okay, I pressed the wrong button. Good. Oh, I've designed a new kitten with your name. Bandit! Still don't know the gender. We should be able to see the kitten in a couple of days. Fantastic. Fantastic. You would say tanking a mythic to start off. I wouldn't. Uh, if you were tanking a mythic to start off with, I wouldn't say that. Um. Uh... Having no chance in a Mythic 2 as a tank, like, no chance is pretty strong, like, if, if they didn't even, like, de so my interpretation of no chance was we, we wiped three or four times on the first boss and then everyone left. That's my definition of, like, that's where I would say, yeah, we had no chance of even getting close to that. Um, but I might be misinterpreting that. Ah, call it Goaz. Kitty is a doorbell. A cute aquatic pet. Alright. Let's find... Oh, I'm in combat, right? There we go. I reckon this one's pretty cute, except... Look at Big Bert! Excuse me. Said favourite. Move. There we go. Ah, uh, the lady isn't even going to charge us this kitten since it was a complete accidental litter. She's not getting there, be getting shots done. And, uh, date we take the kitten home. You bet your butt I'm booking for those shots. Absolutely. Absolutely. Ah, uh, depends on two of the pug in mists with that start. I could see multiple wipes of the new tank. Yeah, fair. I'm not sure if they're a new tank or not, though. Um, that's correct. Wiped a few times and everybody left. I have to say, gear back then, early 2020, was much worse than I have now after reaching Corthia gear. Yeah, but also, um, like, with the release of Corthia, all of the difficulties of Mythic Pluses went up as well. Like, it stuff scales. Oh, for God's sake. That's how, that's how the game tends to work, is that shit scales. Um, as we get better, stuff gets more difficult around us, just to prevent everything from being a cakewalk. Um, are you, do you consider yourself as a, as a tank, like a tank main, or do you DPS and then you offered to tank for that one kind of thing? Hacker is the army of 50s? Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. We're almost there. Almost there. Oh, well done, Jack. Congratulations. I consider myself as a tank main, yes. Yeah, in that case, Jack, um, given that it was like a not even first boss dying and as a, a tank main. Right. If it was a pug and like they just kind of ditched after the second wipe, then sure, maybe. But yeah, I'm not sure. That's, um, yeah, I've left a level 20. 20 to go, but they're all 47 plus. <clears throat> go, go! On your way! 
Hit the road. I don't like this far into spires. This tune's getting a lot further into spires than um shit. It's already dead. Ah. Oh. Ghostly spirits. Okay, gotcha. Ah, oh, she knows. <clears throat> 50s, 60s. Everyone starts somewhere. There's a huge knowledge base. Maybe look into a guide on a specialization. Might be missing something big like monk tanking without using a bruise, etc. Yeah. Yeah, it could be that. It could also be just a lack of. Um, like game experience as in like the the you know where we all started when the dungeons first released and no one knew anything because we were all really like it was brand new content um, at this point most people have the knowledge of the content though so now at this point it's um yeah Now at this point it's class knowledge and stuff like that. Yeah, the the tricky thing with guilds and shit is that a lot of them it's it's the whole like the um you know requiring x amount of experience for an entry level job like how are you supposed to get the experience if you can't get the job to get the experience? It's the same thing with reading. It's the exact same thing with reading. Um, very few guilds out there will be willing to take on a complete a completely fresh player. Um, who's not done any reading before and stuff. Uh, so the best that you can do is learn your class inside out, learn like how to fucking maximize everything you've got, and then log yourself in LFR. Um, if you can get, although tanking logs are a little bit iffy, but um, if you can log yourself and then show them that you're performing really well in that environment, they might like they might give you a chance. Or if you're looking at so you, you wouldn't be able to jump straight. You may, but um, from my personal experience, you wouldn't be able to jump straight into a heroic or mythic guild. You'd absolutely have to go into a normal guild first. And at this point in the patch, um, none of them are really around. Um, because everyone who's kind of done as much as they can do has stopped raiding for the patch. Um, so you'll need to wait for 9.2. Um, and then when 9.2 hits with the new zone and all that kind of stuff, you'll have a new raid to try out in LFR, new gear to get from the new zone, and a brand new raid, and everyone's on the same level in terms of knowledge of the raid. Um, and then you can dive in and join a normal slash heroic guild and uh, kind of prove your worth there, and then step up through that. Uh, and that's if you want to do that, though. That's the thing. Like, if you if you're content playing solo and then occasionally doing a pug when you whenever you know you feel like it, um, then you're perfectly suited to casual content, which is that's what I do. And there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. <clears throat> ah, nearly always room for improvement. Oh, there's absolutely always room for improvement. Always. Demands of the wind. Nope, because I have like six bang tunes. I can't be bothered to level those DKs. Um, monks can tank quite heavily without using bruise now. They gutted the specs critical thinking requirements with Shadowlands. I can't remember creating this tier probably be pretty difficult. There's always next tier. Exactly, yeah. Our guild used to do naked deadlines runs where we have to use the gear we found on the way in. I love that. Uh, so a mere 50 plus max characters. Impressive. Um, sorry, I'm at 1760s right now. But yeah, so it's, um, yeah, it can be rough getting into the stuff at this point of the game as a new player, but, um, it's definitely possible. you just got to put a little bit more effort in, um, but you don't have to either. Like, it's not a necessity. There are plenty of other things to do in the game other outside of increase item level number. <clears throat> This might be it. Waste my time. The future of Azeroth needs Level 50. Oh, 
it's just me. There we go. 3150s. Mm. Yeah, like increase haste number. Oh, fuck. That's great. That's awesome. 95.65% complete. There we go. Three days ahead now. <clears throat> oh, I need a ding. Yeah, but we're, gonna, we're not gonna have any use for it soon. <laughs> Pog indeed. Out there. When do you expect the new hour patch? Um, sometime, yeah, sometime between a few weeks away and March. That's about it. <laughs> Last two weeks I've had some time. If they drop it during Lovers in the Air, like, I can't imagine that would go down well with a whole big chunk of the uh, player base. <clears throat> um, good afternoon, see your stream most nights on what I assume is battle.net, um, because it's a URL, it's blocked it, so we just see three asterisks, but I assume it's battle.net. Uh, every time I play WoW, it's great content though. Thank you! I appreciate that, I hope you're having fun. Alright, that's us who put the day first, it is. Uh, stop doing dungeon phase the abuse was given out, even by players that had no idea themselves, just abusing anyone and everyone. And a great casual guild, even the admins can go missing for a couple months and no one complains, it's just chilled, yeah. That's that's my preferred way to play, personally. But everyone's different, and that's okay. Um, feels like it always lands during mythic progression for me. Huh? I feel like what lands? Did I miss a message? Oh, as in like your mythic progression. Fair enough. Uh, month a year, yep. So everyone else just day month here. But they'll drop it on the 1st of March. This might be the first year and quite a few won't have to be raiding. They can drop it in March. They've announced dates for mid and arena, so probably not, not weeks for 9-2. Uh, for MDI and arena. She well done. I'm just in 48. Well done! Lovers in the air. Oh, lovers in the air drops through Mythic Regression. Gotcha, gotcha. Hey, yo, what's that thing on your headset mic? This is a microphone cover from Logitech. It's adorable, isn't it? Right, um, I need to... Change tunes. And get cracking. Because <clears throat> it took half a stream to level one. My favorite description of what I am is retired raid butterfly. I could do progression at least through heroic, um, but it's usually not fun enough unless it's to play with friends. Agreed. People are thinking, it was set in stone march recently posted spoke about time being limited so we don't really know interesting mm, to be honest i saw the new map and it's cool uh but i'm a little bit afraid of the same grinding mechanics i mean anima stigia Corthia knowledge it's all the same thing and it's annoying i'm afraid the new zone has a new currency again welcome to world of warcraft every new zone that they have released has had a new currency since the beginning of time that is wow it's literally not going to change. If you don't like that, then unfortunately I hate to break it to you, but you don't like a core mechanic of World of Warcraft. It's, it's the way it is. Um, like, if I was on fear, I would show you my currency tab and just how many currencies that they've had over the years. It's the same thing. Every single expansion, every single time there's a new zone, there's just, there's more currency. Uh, new rep grinds, new currencies to farm for new rewards. It's just, that's the way that the game works. Bloody pizza break. I know, right, Fox? Bloody pizza break. <clears throat> it's delicious, though. Wait, 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 wait. Am I... Good. Damn it. Thank God I fucking checked that. I'm in the wrong expansion. I'm not in chromie time. Eh. There we go. Pretty any, pretty much any subscription-based game with new content development uses gameplay loops that include going after similar the same rewards over and over to get incremental benefits. Yep, pretty much. 
That is truth. Kind of the nature of the beast because it would be way too much dev resource to drop that as a core system. Yeah. Um, they have a finite number of people uh, who can work a finite number of hours a day. And so they have to spend that manpower as appropriately as they can and try to maximize their time. So if they can build upon things that already exist in the code, it means less work, which means they can make things like they, they can spend that extra time on making new dungeons and shit. Like, do you know what I mean? Like it's inventing new mechanics and stuff like that. <clears throat> but yeah, WoW has worked like that for a very long time. I mean, it's totally fine if you don't like that. There's there's nothing wrong with that at all. Everyone has their own personal preferences for what they play. Um, but it is, it is a core part of World of Warcraft. Mm -hmm. Just people that play the game like the loops. If they keep changing it, it risk alienating a lot of the players too. Mm -hmm. After five days of grinding, got the reins of the J Prime on your horn. Well done, Scream. Congratulations. Down the coast, I'm missing my usual while playing while listening to stream. Def have a Pavlovian response to listening. Usually either playing or cleaning. I love it. I love it. Mercy Day 2. Fantastic, Yuri. Well done. Oh, that's very true as well. Enough people like it or think it works to justify sticking to the stuff they've seen engagement with. Yep, yeah, for sure. A dark wind blowing. <clears throat> Oh, who are we leveling now? This is Elvian. Um, she is a horde, uh, nightborn death knight. <clears throat> and she is 47, but she's lower percentage complete of 47 than Quitter was, so I'm not confident we're gonna get three done, but we'll see how we go. <clears throat> In any case, you don't have to grind all the rep currency stuff for the current patch, most that content will be in the game for literally decades. Yeah, exactly. Um, how you 50 50 balance class wise? Do you have way more mages and other classes? Do you strive for balance? There's balance. There are four of everything with an extra mage and an extra druid. It's as balanced as it can be with 50. I mean, I like the currency farming to a certain point. I'm not a grinder and I still invest a lot of time into some things, but after some weeks I begin to ask myself why should I do this quest now for another 500 Stitcher Anima? It stopped being fun. And that's the point you stop doing it. Like, literally. You don't have to. Like, why should you? You don't have to. Literally. You don't have to. You can spend that game time doing something different. If you don't want to, don't. It's as simple as that with World of Warcraft. Um... If you don't think that you need, like, if, if you're grinding out for a particular reward that costs X number of Stygia or X number of Anima, sure, then do that, grind that up, go get it. But if there's genuinely nothing for you to aim for, then don't. It's just that simple. When you said she's 47, I thought you meant age for a second. Well, I mean, I have thought sometimes about um, character levels in terms of age as well. 
makes much more sense when you call it a baby tune. <laughs> That's a three times more demon hunter than anything else at this point. Fair enough. Uh, stop doing the quest if it's not fun. Yeah, it's it's yeah, it's just that simple. You do it, kick his ass. I'm going to. I plan to. Just maybe not all in one night. Yep, you do the gameplay loop as long as the value you get is worth the time. Yep, absolutely. Uh, I have to train myself to stop doing parts of the game that I don't enjoy and try to mix it up as well as take breaks and try other games. Of course, for sure. All healthy parts of a video game a hobby. Uh, if there's a shorter period for you, totally fine. Usually completely drop dailies as soon as I have whatever I want from the grind. Yeah. Once you're exalted, what's the point? You know, unless there's a reward that you're grinding for, like you're trying to get a currency to buy something, then great. But if you're not, then don't. Uh, so just get because the last few days are feeling... You all think I hate WoW or so. No, I never said that. Just explaining things, like, you're, 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 you're explaining your situation, and we're presenting a solution. There's, there's no, there's no judgement, there's no nothing here. It's literally just as simple as, if you don't like it, don't do it. Genuinely. There are so many, so many different parts to this game. That if you want to spend the same amount of time playing, but you want to drop an entire category of stuff, then there is another category of stuff for you to pick up that will take up just as much time. I guarantee you. It's, it's, that, the game is so fucking huge that there are, like, there's unlimited, well, almost unlimited things to do. It's just a matter of doing the ones that you like. <clears throat> Um, if you want to get anima Sigis, spamming the more world quests and small anima quests is probably the, possibly the most boring way to do that. I'd never play the game if that was all I did. Rotating, rotating between Renal grinding and battle pets. Brilliant. I nearly fell off my chair laughing at the idea of a one-year-old being pushed out the door with a sword to fight. Well, right, though? It's great. It's wonderful. My 35, eight are hunters. Next is druids at four and the others are one to three. That's hilarious. Yeah, no, mine are exceptionally balanced. They're as balanced as they possibly can be. How do I get the extra set of characters like Nightborn, etc.? Uh, and what are some tips? Okay, what are some tips is entirely too broad. I can't help you with that. Um, but the Nightborn and stuff like that, there are achievements under your reputation tab that have like check marks, like things you have to do in order to be able to unlock them. Uh, and then once you've done all that and got the achievement, you go to the, embass uh, the embassy in either Orgrimmar or Stormwind, depending on your faction. And there'll be like a quest giver there that will start a, a medi short to medium quest line, depending on the race. Uh, and then you do that to help them and essentially recruit them to your faction. And then once you've completed that quest chain, you can go back to the character select screen and make a new character of that race. Um, but all the requirements for all the different races are totally different. So you need to check your, um, your, reputa your reputation achievements for those. Uh, and what I was kind of done with raiding, just went ham on pet battles. Love it. Amazing. Like, ugh, PvP. Yeah, exactly. We're gonna have to do it eventually, Meaty. If we want all the st if we want all the things, we're gonna have to do PvP. It's okay. It'll be somewhat better if we do it together, maybe. And I have two thousand eight hundred and two hundred eighty-five thousand anima in tokens in my bank. I haven't done any world. I haven't done world quests outside of the world bosses. That is ridiculous. Um, you have to have a high level character, perhaps a 60, at least a 50. Go across to visit the embassy where each allied race has a banner with the requirements listed. Um, I thought the Legion ones were still 45, but I could be wrong. They might all just be 50 now because of the squish. Um, but yeah. Uh, you no longer need rep, if I remember correctly. Uh, yeah, the rep requirement is ditched, but the other requirements still exist. Like, completing specific quest chains and stuff like that is still there. It's just you don't need the rep. People thought rep removal meant you meant it removed all of the requirements. It did not. There are still requirements to complete. You just don't have to grind them up to Exalted. <clears throat> I move as fast as I on my keyboard trying to type really softly not to wake. Aww. That's super cute. Mm, mostly requirements are the story involved with that specific faction, which may be a zone for an expansion. Yeah. Yeah. What do you want? Time is money, friend. Uh, this way. <clears throat> I'm sure 50 is a minimum for recruitment, but it's been a minute. Yeah, it's a bit like I I recruited all mine back when it like e when each of them were current. Like it was a high priority for me to do. So I don't remember if I don't I haven't done anything after this wish. 
Only people here wouldn't see Wrath you based on Comp Stomp and you basically do battle with the AI. Yeah, Comp Stomp and um uh Ashran. Classic Ashran for me. What up? Are my big ones. Hi Mikey. Uh, still technically required for Nightborn, the rest of zero got my own Nightborn needs a 50. There you go. Did I even get into an Ashram battle last time it was off? I got into two. Um, <clears throat> one I was in finished after about 10 minutes because there weren't enough players. And then the next one I got into finished after about three or four minutes because there weren't enough players. And then I was in queue for the rest of the stream. So my quest of 50 locked. That makes sense. <clears throat> Interesting that they're 50 locked and not 45 locked, because 45 was technically the max level for Legion. Mm, maybe right game for Sir Mom. Technically you only get the rep incidentally while I do the quest chain. Yeah. Yeah, they, they removed the rep gating from the Sir Mom quests back in Legion. <clears throat> so there's, yeah. Even if those quests are required, the the um gating is still not there. Hey Aden, doing well, thanks, how are you? Mm, you level specialist made everything pre shadowland scale from under fifty. Interesting. I know they did with when you're in chromie time, but not when you're outside of chromie time, which is why I was a bit confused. Like BFA stuff still needs a little more effort to kill than Legion stuff does out in the open world. <clears throat> Should have 50 with Squish. It was an end zone, it was just 50. So Chromie Time stuff might only scale to 45. That's what I was thinking, but oh well. Look. I'm sure that if um uh fuck, if Scream wants to go and do stuff, then they will figure it out. <clears throat> Um, doing good, glad to hear it. You do not want to do Surumai outside of Chromie at the level, trust me, fair. Totally fair, I, I trust you. <clears throat> Squish has made a broken AF. That doesn't surprise me. One shot by mobs one level higher. Oh god, yeah, that's not pleasant at all. Sorry to hear that. some perfect visions a month ago. So fast to kill everything at the 60. I know, right? It's amazing. Uh, Death, Bali, View, Meaty, Koala, Dur, Cade, and Neke. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Hey, some of the scaling works in our favor. Yeah, I think it's always going to be that way. Hey, some of it works, some of it doesn't, all that kind of shit. <clears throat> mm hmm. Fates and Dungeons spam ending up at 67 right now on average. Ah, not bad at all. Hmm. Time. 
time is mine. been binge watching hoarders lately not sure why but i've fallen down the rabbit hole funny you should say that shiver because i've been binge watching organizational shows and like makeover like house makeover shows like interior design and shit so like um those kind of seem to be opposites of one another <clears throat> i'm leveling now is do all the bonus quests in all the leveling zones and finish up with dungeons or torgas ended up at 65 plus Four times in a row since 915. Cool. I'm guessing you mean 65 plus in terms of renown, not level. Because for a second there, my brain was very confused. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, you can't get past 60. What are you talking about? It's fine. It's fine. I don't need more sleep. What are you talking about? Was very sad when my tune was at 119 and ticked over to 60. Oh no! Like it rounded it up to 60? That's interesting. It's time to be leveling that close to top, yeah. Oh, right, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. It's like, that's not how counting works. How it will feel if they re-squish before 10.0, all the 50s drop to like 45. I dinged at 60. 60 dropping to 50 wouldn't bother me as much because I got bumped. No, gotcha. Not gonna be re squished for a while. So there was a lot like when it first happened and they readjusted all of the expansions and stuff, there was a, a thought that maybe what they would end up doing is every time they had a new expansion, they'd squish us back down to 50 make the cap 60 again, and shunt whatever the current expansion was down to the 1 to 50 bracket. So you can talk to Groby and choose that instead. Uh, and just keep that same system expansion after expansion. I do feel like that would feel like too frequent player loss, uh, player power loss though. Um, so um, maybe, maybe they'll just make it instead of 1 to 50, uh, sorry, 10 to 50, you can use Kirby time from 10 to 60. And then 
squish Shadowlands from 10 to 60, kind of, you know what I mean? And then make the new level cap 70. I think that's probably more likely. Um, but I do think that they will make heavy use of Chromie Time. Like, every time we get a new expansion, um, squish the old one down to, to Chromie Time. It just makes more sense, you know? Especially if that's somebody's favourite expansion, they can play through it again and again and again. Or if it was their least favourite expansion ever, they never have to touch it again if they don't want to, you know? Rather than having to do those last ten levels through this random expansion and then go into... <clears throat> Maybe if they squish the shadow end from under 50, might not squish sub 50s. Yeah, also that. They also might not squish. Um, although just squishing anything anywhere between 51 and 60 all back down to 50 does feel a little bit odd because it equalizes all those tunes that did not have equal effort in them. That doesn't feel right. <clears throat> Yeah, I'd be more likely to say there's just not going to be a squish for a while. Rather an adjusting of how Chromie Time works. The squish every fourth expansion get us up to 100 again then tap us back down i think because that's every eight years i feel like that's well, roughly not exactly obviously but um i feel like that's probably more appropriate <clears throat> i remember people talking about oh what's gonna happen when we get to 100 they'll have to reformat the whole ui and blah blah blah. they didn't like <laughs> they just made the font smaller it was fine um I don't, to be honest, I didn't mind being 120. Not sure why they squished when they never keep the power creep under control. Um, I think it was just because it, it, it felt unmanageable to a brand new player who starts leveling and gets one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, to, and then it, but then it starts slowing down how quickly you can get each level. And it starts to be like, holy fucking Jesus, how long is it going to get me to one? How long is it going to take me to get 120 when I'm counting at this? Like that just, it feels like such a large amount of content. Whereas getting to 60 doesn't feel so bad, especially at the pace that they've got it. <clears throat> yeah, it's a one, it was 100% a new player thing. 100%. Like the whole everything that they did with that having chromie time and playing through whatever expansion you wanted all the way through to get the whole story ish rather than having to like do 10 seconds of this expansion and then 10 seconds of that expansion and then 10 seconds of, like and and exiles reach and all that everything was designed redesigned from a new player standpoint not from our perspective <clears throat> i feel like it would put your mage to mage equal to your 50-50s, which feels wrong. Squishing only 50-60. Yeah, agreed. Agreed. Uh, they actually do a pretty good job of keeping the power creep under control. Do they? They didn't in 8-3. <laughs> they didn't in 8-3. That shit was fucking ballistic. But. Because that was a most our most recent example. It screwed everyone's memories. Mm. Yeah, cool power, not the borrowed power. But people talk about borrowed power when they talk about uh, power creep as well, though. That's the problem. Like, the, the way that we increase in power throughout an expansion quite often kind of goes like this. Just because it's not our base power doesn't mean we don't still feel it. Yeah, what do you want? <clears throat>
Differences between DK and Rogue. DK drops in on everything. Hmm. 48. <clears throat> That's the point. Allows the feel of real progression without impacting the core gearing numbers too much. Okay, fair. Oh. That was 48, right? 95.77. Not quite another day's progress yet. Exactly right, Jazz. Problem is, if there's not cool gear in progression, stuff starts happening like previous X Pack gear being this, yeah, and that's a problem. <clears throat> like with time walking gear being best in slot, it shouldn't be. Time walking gear should be a good way to help alts catch up, but it shouldn't be a best in slot piece for a for a current tune. Like it just that that feels wrong to me. Hey Fear, is it the Stream Raiders captain that has to do the battle plans, or is that something that just happens? No, a captain has to do it. Give me a second. There you go, you have plans. I don't often do it as a default because I don't care where people put stuff, so I just use there's a battle plan called Vibe, um, which is basically like just put wherever you like put whatever you want here. Um, so I just cover the whole map with it. Um, but if you need them for a quest, just let me know, and I'm happy to place them. <clears throat> Uh, laughs at Legion time walking. That's that was the whole thing that started that conversation between us, Jess, is that it's just that silly. That's probably why they deactivated things like trinkets from even functioning. Because it's just it's batshit. Gotta either make numbers bigger over time, power creep with additional insurance of borrowed power, or make previous gear weaker. Feels crap, nightmare balance for all content. Yeah. Yep. I mean, it is interesting, the fact that we've had that many gear squishes now that, like, dungeons and raids from the same expansion are dropping the same eye level of gear and stuff. It's kind of funny to see. Not that it matters, but it's still kind of funny. Esters. Power progression in a single X pack is still a bit out of whack, though. Uh, is it? <clears throat> I mean, it increases exponentially, sure. And it, I mean, BFA was a really bad example, though, because those fucking powers are broken. I'm pretty sure it hasn't always been like that, like that bad. <clears throat> are you winning? Always, Ress. Always winning. How are you today? <clears throat> Hope you're well. Thank you for your well wishes. I have pizza.
Pizza equals life. Mmm. It's all designed now so that you can jump into current tier content <clears throat> with not too much effort. Whereas back in the day, it was nearly impossible to get into a current raid without gearing up either through older dungeons or raids. Yeah, true. Very true. But that's not necessarily about the gear being hella fucking stronger, like increasing exponentially rather than steadily. That's just the fact that they, like, they bump up dungeon level loot. Uh, and they they give you additional ways to get loot with a with a higher item level from the newer content zones, like Corthia, for example, having the the tokens and shit. Um, that's like that's the way that they catch you up, so you can jump into LFR Sanctum rather than having to go through Castle Nath and gear up to be able to get into Sanctum. I think that's the difference there with the gearing. Not so much that that's not really got so much to do with the exponential rise in power. <clears throat> From my perspective, and I'm I'm far less informed on this shit than you are. So if if I'm obviously if I'm wrong, let me know. But that's from my perspective. That's where that comes in. Like the eye level seems to increase steadily. The the eye level's on a linear progression, but the power is exponential. <clears throat> Which is a little bit strange. <laughs> one eye level is roughly equivalent to 1% DPS. Okay. So it's not the gear that's giving us this ridiculous increase in thingamajig, it's... Um, the, for example, the, the powers, the corruptions on, um, on gear from 8.3, or, um, like, the legendaries, new legendaries that we get to craft, and, and all that kind of stuff, or, or empower, potentially, or whatever it happens to be, that's where the, the exponential jump in power is coming from, rather than the actual gear gear that drops from raids and dungeons and stuff. <clears throat> it is the gear? Okay. It's always the gear. Yeah, but I mean, there's a difference. To me, I feel like there's a difference between it's the gear and it's the stuff attached to the gear. Like, corruptions were not gear. Corruptions were bullshit. That was, like, that was entirely... It was almost as if... It was almost as if you could have taken all of your fucking stats and stuff away and just had the, the corruptions written on your character's skin while they were naked and they would have been able to kill everything with a glance. Like, it was just ridiculous. That was just too much, but yeah. yeah. Corruptions were on gear, I get that. But that's not... It's still not a gear issue, it's a system issue. It's di it's To me, that's different. Um... One level, one eye level for one percent DPS increase was something Ian said in an interview, and I don't know if that's enti uh, if that was actually accurate. Um, it's not as an eye level multiplicative. Next tier is twenty six eye levels higher, which is roughly thirty percent more power just from eye level alone. Right. So if you've got a hundred power, and you go up one eye level, you'll have one hundred and one. But then if you're a thousand, if you've got a thousand power and you got one eye level, then you have 1,010, not 1,001. Is that, so it's, it's multiplicative every, so you go 1% up and then 1% up and then 1% and one, but it's 1% of whatever you were one eye level ago, not 1% flat. That makes more sense. Yep. So, and that, in that case, what Ian said is probably fucking accurate, given that, you know, he designed the fucking system and all. Um, <laughs> like, you know, um, 
Uh, Sophia, how do you calculate the percentage for level 60 experience for leveling your spreadsheets? Uh, if that's a secret tab, it might maybe be. Um, I got how much experience it cost to go from 50 to 51 to 52 to 53, etc. In the exact same way I did it for the 150. Exact same way. Um, so without the tier set bonuses, that 30% would be cancelled out due to losing shards. Uh, which means over four tiers you increase about 300%. Right, and that explains the exponential increase. Rather than the linear... Because if it was, you go up, like, if it was, you go to a thousand and one, then it would be linear. But because it's the thousand and ten, it's not linear. That makes sense. Ah, uh, well, quest legs a good corruption. Which was a better... Which was better, a 100 eye level higher. I had world quest legs with good corruption, which was better, a 100 eye level higher. Right, okay. Yeah, that kind of should happen just because of how overpowered the corruptions were. Um, yeah, I remember having, I very distinct, distinctly remember having a conversation with Jas about this, saying they need to just fucking fix it. I'm like, they're not going to. They're like six months out from the expansion. Why the fuck would they bother? Just let people have their goddamn shits and giggles and let them explode things for fun with their overpowered as fuck shit. And then we'll have a new expansion and none of it will fucking matter. Like, why would they change it? Why would they fix it? There is zero point. He got very angry with me. Now, even then, with a the 30% jump, we still get items from last tier being this, even with additional borrowed power. Yeah, and that's... Often that's because they just made, like, a trinket too entire, like, entirely too good. It's always fucking trinkets. And it's because, like, trinkets must be so goddamn hard to balance. So goddamn hard. Uh, yeah, I have, like, 50 characters, Res. I play 50 characters. They're, like, I'm not gonna list 50 URLs in an armory link. Like... <laughs> Uh, I, in fact, I actually went and got a Twitch panel um, to to add my characters to because I thought that'd be kind of useful. And then it turns out you can only have a maximum of five characters on this art, and I'm like, no. I'm and so I deleted it because who the fuck? I've got fifty characters. Why do I only list five? No, no. Uh, and until there's a better cheat death trinket than Sun King's tanks, will use a trinket from raid one. Yeah. Yep. And the only way to make something better, often, is to make the same thing, but have it do 12% instead of 10%, or, you know, and that's just boring. People get shitty with that, so... Yeah. Look, sometimes they stumble upon really amazing ideas with trinkets, but then they shoot themselves in the foot because they, they can't... They can't make anything better. Like, nothing is as interesting, but still, like, yeah, without being broken. A bit of tank trinkets now. Ooh, Jas is behind on the knowledge. No such thing as a good tank trinket. Either busted as shit or loot useless. There is no middle ground. So I would like my trinkets to do 20% of my damage. Yeah, that's just ridiculous, eh?
this curse has not broken me yet. <sighs> I'm full of pizza. <clears throat> ah, hello, X. Oh, look, there it is. Ah, uh, we don't get damage from our kids, so we have to find it in the silly trinkets. Them nice. Yeah, they're so it's kind of it's really tricky to show on this camera. Um, in fact, it's really tricky to show on any camera. Uh, but it's like <laughs> it's like a, a metallic lavender, like a really pale metallic lavender shade. But then around the edges, like when when it's on the like when the light hits it on that angle, it's like this this kind of greeny this purpley greeny shift. And then there are like little silver sparkles all through it as well. It's really, really pretty. I like it a lot. Yet yeah, the bursty DPS wonder why the hell we can't keep aggro when they drop everything. You can keep aggro from me sometimes. Usually. Hello, X. How are you going? So fancy. And then more stabby they are. I filed them down again. I even, you know how I broke my thumbnail and I had to be like straight across? I, I fixed it. Is a, is a little baby tiny itty bitty little stabby. It's the cutest little thing. Um, yeah. <clears throat> it kind of hurt trying to get the angle right because like some of my, some of the squishy bit on the end of my thumb is exposed, like around the edges because of how far I filed it back to try to get the stabby shape. But hey, it'll grow in, it'll be fine. It'll draw blood for sure! Nah, it dulls, it blunts the edges when I put nail polish on them. Um, but that's okay. Probably for the best. The number of times I've injured myself on my own nails is too darn high. Right, uh, hydrates. Hydrates might help, like, squish down the pizza. That'd be nice. <clears throat> Okay. I find I accidentally cut myself more when my nails don't have polish on them than when they do. Oh yeah, for sure, because they're thinner as well. When you add nail polish, you're adding layers of paint, so it makes them thicker. So uh, yeah, it's absolutely this. I'm I'm the same, especially when they're because I've got pointy babies. Like I've filed them to points to sharpie little like stabbies, mini baby stabbies. Um, so if I don't have polish on them, I absolutely will stab myself, and it will hurt. Firstly, uh, and yeah, I've drawn blood multiple times, but um, definitely a hell of a lot less when they've got when they're painted when they're polished. Sure, DK's run shard critics most of the time. Also, what's people will take damage to do damage trinkets? Just give me vengeance back on my good. <clears throat> Very rude. How dare you blade flurry me. Let's just... Oh, that felt better. <clears throat> um... Hey, how come you're on the launcher? That's so cool. It is, isn't it, Kerbo? I'm I'm blown away. I've been on the launcher for nearly a year now, actually, on and off. Um, but uh, yeah, about a year ago now, uh, Blizzard ANZ reached out to me, and uh, I'd been I'd been following them for a while. I've been tagging them in my go live tweets. They'd hosted me a couple times, um, and and retweeted me and stuff like that, and then. They, uh, yeah, reached out to me on Twitter, followed me back on Twitter, DM'd me and asked me if I'd like to be on the launcher. And I said, uh, yes, please. <laughs> and, uh, so we negotiated and we figured out a thing and, and, uh, and hey presto. And it's been just absolutely phenomenal. 
the number of awesome people that I've managed to meet because they found me through the launcher, the opportunities it's given me um, with with other brands like uh, the like linked to WoW and linked to Blizzard and stuff like that have just been incredible. Um, and yeah, 2021 was a, a huge year for me in terms of growth and and opportunities and stuff like that. So yeah, it's it's been it's been a wild ride. Uh, and I'm so glad you joined us from the launcher. Thank you so much for clicking on through, and I hope you enjoy your stay with us and have a wonderful time. <clears throat> yes, bring back vengeance. So prop paladins can be top DPS again on raid bosses. Good fun. Oh dear. How's the hair post first home wash, etc.? Yeah, no, really, really good. It felt super weird. Like my hair stopped, and I was like, wait, where's the rest of it? Something. Yep. Um, but it combed like the because I comb my hair in the shower when it's full of conditioner. Um, and that worked really, really well. Like it, it, it was really easy to come out. It didn't get stuck and retangled at the ends. One of the big things I had was like, I'd do the ends and then I'd start working my way up, going a little further up each time I combed and then coming all the way through the end. And by the time I'd get like halfway up my head, when I combed through, it'd already be tangled again, even though it was full of fucking conditioner shit. And I didn't do that. It didn't do that at all. Skin? No skin for fear. Skin for raid, uh, skin for chat. Did anyone get skins? Tell me. Would love to know. Uh, Death, Draz, Spam, Koala, Vue, De, Boy, uh, Fairy, and Barley. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. I really hope at least somebody got a skin. Uh, but yeah, it's sitting quite well. It's, um... It's a little bit interesting. It definitely, like, um, it's, it's not as, like, polished a look as when I had the, uh, when it was, like, blow-dried and stuff. Understandably. Understandably. Um, so it doesn't have that perfectly, like, you know, the, the, the curls sitting just right and all that kind of stuff because it's been washed. Um, but it's not too bad. Let me start up this battle and, um, let me see what I can show you. Can I place a Templar? No. Here we go. Um, I know I'm going to have headset hair, so you just give, you have, be patient. Give me a second. Um, horrible headset hair. But it did the, um, like, the waves and stuff that are in there are just, like, they're working quite well. And then I've got, like, this bit here where it's sort of shaped. You can see here where it fits around my ear perfectly because it's where the you want another drink oh you still got some bye. i still got some bye um but yeah so those those curves either side is where i tuck up behind my ear which is hilarious but um yeah no it's it's sitting a little shaggier not as not as big flowing curls and more like little waves but um yeah i'm pretty happy with it i think if i was gonna change anything um it'd be having the fringe just a little bit shorter Next time, because it is really long, it's like down here. Usually I'd have it sitting like roughly kind of here when I first get it cut, but that's okay. Like I'm I'm perfectly fine with where it is currently. Um, they can already do that. Thank you, Shiva, for the launcher command. Thank you so much, Curb, for the congrats. Much appreciated. If you have prop paladins that out DPS and current content, DPS in the group or other AFK will be on trash. Meh, prop pal, can easily pull eight to nine K on most fights right now. Good prop pally can turf an average DPS quite easily. Shit, I can hold 7k as a blood DK. Prop pally had better be able to perform. Musketeer skin! Yay, bud! Can't blow dry your hair all the time. If I remember correctly, that's also bad for you. Well, bad for the hair. Yeah, absolutely. Damn, is that hair next level fancy? It was, wasn't it? It was beautiful. Um, she did that with a curling iron. So it was like 80%, 80 to 85% dry, and then she did the curling iron to make the actual curls. I do have a curling iron, but shit, that stuff takes forever. So like, no. Oh, Curb! Curb, thank you so much for your prime sub. Welcome to the Fianati. Thank you so much. Um, much appreciated. Uh, probably should only be like 1k behind an enhancement shaman single target. Battle plans again. Yep, absolutely can do. Boop. There you go. Enjoy. <clears throat> Hi, Jess. Fuck. Bye, Jess. Yeah. <laughs> it was a quick visit. Quick visit. No skin. Seeing as Lurker took 16 casts to pop. 
He gave me no transmog. I think my RNG is sucky tonight. Oh no! Oh no, gonna get that Dyson curling iron blow dryer. Do they have a curling iron now too? I knew they had a blow dryer, but I didn't know they had a curling iron. I have an air wrapped. Oh, that's right. I remember that now. What is your opinion about the 10 point O leaks? This is the first I'm hearing of them, so I have none. I don't want to know. Thank you very much. I have a hair remover too. Wait. Are you making a joke about like one of their incredibly powerful vacuums, or do they actually have like an epilator? Just dinged level 59 in my monk. Well done, Qualia, you're so close. <laughs> it's called a vacuum, so it was a joke. Brilliant. Yeah, do not put anything about the leaks in chat or you will be timed out. Second round, it's a ban. <clears throat> this is a no spoiler zone. Pick off the dandruff and dead ends! <clears throat> Maybe we should add some keyword in the blacklist? No. I don't need to. Anyone who comes in here and without saying anything else drops some kind of spoiler is someone who is looking to try to speedrun getting banned. Like, that's, that's literally what people do is they go around trying to troll people by dropping horrible things in, like, like, things like spoilers in chat to try to get people angry and shit. So no, there's no point in adding blacklist and stuff. Not only that, but adding words to a blacklist would res would require me to research what words to add to the blacklist, which would result in me spoiling myself, which is exactly the opposite of what I want. No, it's not happening. <clears throat> It's like the equivalent of jumping into a, a, a you know, a primary school classroom and saying, hey guys, who else felt really sad when they found out Santa wasn't real? Like, you know, assholes do that. That's, yeah. <clears throat> 11,346 kills to get a battle pet. Well done, Fox, well done. Some hydrates still to do. I should keep doing more of those. <clears throat> Not everyone wants to know all the things and want to experience the thing first. Exactly. Not just that, but leaks. You know, not all leaks have been proven to be true as well. So, yeah. Just, yeah. Let's not talk about them. No, I haven't done all the ones you gave me before, X. God damn it. <clears throat> God damn it. It's already on cooldown, Jazz. <laughs> Excuse me, I grip you. You're not allowed to grip me. That's rude. Fuck all of you. <clears throat> I 
I wonder if I can blacklist individual users from being able to use individual command, like redemptions and stuff. I'm gonna have to walk into the fight. Yeah, but he pulled me away from the other one I was trying to kill. Mm, I've seen the leaks look very interesting, but they're leaks, so like, how many fake ones have we seen? Yeah. Yep. A dark wind is blowing. <clears throat> Two forty fives and two forty six is the best match. Well done, Yuri! Oh my god, I'm so excited for you. Do it, kill him for it. Blame mod, we're blaming Jazz. All right, I can do that. We'll blame Jazz. Fucking seventeen motherfucking hydrates. I hate you. I hate you. Oh, Jazz. <laughs> Enters into Google how to ban your own mod from Twitch. Thirty level fifties. Let's go, yas. Thirty one now. I got a thirty first. How you going, Murray? Drink for the drink gods. Fucking. I'm gonna come in. I'm gonna come in there and tip this over your head. Hmm. Shit! I just ticked off a chair stream accidentally. <clears throat> your posture sucks. So does yours. I know exactly how you're sitting. Your posture sucks. Check it. Be nice to get some real news from Blizz. Feels like it's been ages. I've signed an NDA. You're thirsty? Always, apparently. Fuck. No, I'm <laughs> Look. If you do, can you record as a boomerang and post it up? <laughs> yes. Yes, absolutely. Maybe a new redeemed Jazz Hydrate. So you up straight heck on you. We got news this morning via Blue Post about the PTR. There you go. Uh, I'm pretty good, thank you. Wake up late this morning, running like a headless chicken, get the child sorted for school. Oh no! Oh no, well I hope that you can chill out a little bit now. Oh dear. Do you find Zygo saves you a lot of time in thinking? Fuck yes. Yes, I've been using it for approximately 13 years. Uh, I've been playing the game for 15. <coughs> Excuse me. I've been playing the game for 15, I've been using it for 13, and oh yes. Yes. It, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like it saves a shitload of time. Uh, like, it it saves a whole lot of time in that it's a highly efficient sort of route and, and all that kind of stuff, but um, there are also the little tiny itty bitty bits that it shaves off with the auto turn-ins and accepts and um, automatically choosing the best quest reward and all this kind of, like, just those little things that, yeah, okay, it only saves you like a couple seconds at a time, maximum, sure. But it adds up over the whole time that you spend leveling and stuff. It definitely adds up. Um, but it's, a lot of it is I don't have to think at all. I can concentrate on chat. I can make sure I'm interacting with my community and just follow the arrow of destiny in the top middle of my screen. So yeah, I love Zygor. I love it. I used it before it became pay monthly. Totally fair. Yeah, it, look... Changing to a subscription model, I understand it from a business perspective and them like being like they deserve to be paid for their time, keeping it updated and all that kind of stuff. I get like totally 100 percent. However, for individuals, it can be difficult to justify. I claim it on tax because it's my job. So, <laughs> you know, but not everyone has that benefit. So, yeah. If it's something that you can justify affording. Um, I would recommend it because it's phenomenal. Um, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't be using it if I didn't enjoy it, but I respect that not everyone can afford to do that. <clears throat> I'm testing out Cycle this month. I'm enjoying the instance guides for places I haven't been in ages. Yeah, and the achievement guides that I have to find useful info in my own playing time. Yeah. Yeah. Even the, the super simple stuff, like um, the fact that it has navigation tools to figure out how to get somewhere. Like if I'm in my garrison, how the fuck do I get to Uldum? Like what's the fastest way to get to Uldum? What's the fastest way to get to ICC? What's like, how do I, what is the quickest way to get to wh where I'm going? Even if I don't need the guide for the instance, just get me there and I'll do the rest. I'm, yeah, look, I'm lazy. In the UK, it's the same cost as a WoW sub. Seriously? Holy shit. Because like a WoW sub in Australia... Fuck, how much is a WoW sub in Australian dollars? Is it like $17.99? Or $18.99 or something? I, I have a six monthly sub, so I don't know what the monthly cost is. 
<clears throat> Don't you just die? Twenty nineteen ninety nine a month. Okay. Yeah, I have. I've not paid a monthly sub in a very long time. Um. Okay, so yeah, 1995 Australian per month. And then Bagor. Zygor Elite is 9.99 a month. That's US. USD to AUD, which is 13.74 Australian dollars. Currently, of course, so that's six dollars and twenty-one cents cheaper. So it's not a, it's not the same price as a sub, um, but it's uh, it's not cheap, and that's why I say like if you can't justify it, then that's totally fair. I can, <laughs> I absolutely can. I use it so much; it improves my gameplay experience so much. Especially like I mean, I'm leveling fifty fucking fifties, you know, like. <laughs> Even if I was only using the leveling guides, that is a huge amount of effort that it's saving me. Um, but I don't. I use most of the other guides as well. Like, if I'm farming something, it has farming routes for pretty much every resource in game. It has all the dungeon guides, all the achievement guides. Um, just all of this stuff, like profession leveling guides. I recently went through and did Shadowlands Master of All, and I did that using Zygor. Um, like, it just, it has so fucking much. The world quest guides are super handy as well. The ones they, they kind of automatically update for wherever you are. When you click on it in on the world map it updates your Zygor and it tells you, you know, go this way and then do these things in this order and blah blah blah. blah. So yeah, it's it's quite, I find it quite handy. I think it's worth it. Um, but to each their own. Like not everyone can afford it. Not everyone can, even if they can afford it, they can't justify it. They prefer to spend their cash on something different and that's totally reasonable. Totally reasonable. Um, nearly did three months ago. I signed a one month again. I'm started, of course, of course. It's been about fourteen months. Yeah, for Zygor, but it's great. I didn't know it had all that. I thought it was just leveling guides. Fuck no. Nah, <laughs> nah. Let me give me. Let me get out of combat, and I'll show you. It's enormous. It's huge. So you have your leveling through every expansion. You have all your dungeon guides right through every expansion, dungeons and raids. So that'll tell you how to get where you're going, like which route to take. And then once you get to a boss, it actually gives you, like if I go in here, enter Kara, click here to proceed. Um, this all here is in like instructions on what to do, like what his abilities do and all that kind of shit. So you've got those options there too. Um, you've got dailies if you wanted to go back, for example, and do Lich King fucking um, the Argent tournament stuff to get the mounts. It's all in there An optimized route uh, for all the different options because different dailies can come up each day. So it'll be like, you will only be able to accept one of these three dailies, that kind of thing. And it will automatically just show you the correct guide in the correct order for the quests that were actually available that day. Um, you've got event guides. We've done these 101 times on stream, but going through and doing all the bonfires, going through and doing all of the um, the candy buckets for Hallow's End, that kind of stuff. We're going to be doing all the elders in Lunar Festival with their with their Lunar Festival guides. Um, they have reputation guides for all of the things. Um, I'm not going to click gold because that opens a different window. Um, but you got profession guides on how to level them. Like that. Okay, that was a really bad example, but like jewel crafting. So um, for all the different dailies and stuff you can do to get the tokens to buy the recipes from old expansions, but then like leveling it through all the different Watsy Doovers, battle pets, hun hunter pets, mounts, the uh, like quests for the, like all the different tamers for battle pets and stuff. Titles, achievements, obviously you can flag things as favorites. The gold one. It loads up a bit. Give it a second. Here we go. 
So you've got farming, gathering, crafting, and auctions. Um, and then once you go into one, it'll have like stuff that you can, so this, this is what's worth at the moment. Um, it depends on what actual stuff you've got, but it, it scans your, like you get your auction house data and it figures out like, what can you do from this? How can you do this? Blah, blah, blah. Obviously you need to read into that a little bit more. Um, but then you've also got like, so those farming things you can find, uh, usually I do like, what was I doing? Like lay straight or So you hit go. I know it's level 50 or higher. That's fine. I'm just trying to demonstrate. Um, and if I go to Shadowlands, it gives me a route to farm Lace Stridor. No additional add-ons required, no importing shit from anywhere, no searching for shit on Wowhead, nothing, it's just, it's there. Yeah, it's, um, I really like Cycle. I use it a lot and not just for leveling. Obviously, at the moment, I am using it a lot for leveling, but that's because I'm doing a lot of leveling. <laughs> yeah, it's it's really good. <clears throat> that's what they said. <laughs> the free trials available up to level 10. Yeah, they do. Zygor does have, like, a free version that has far, far fewer guides. Um, like, you've got leveling guides for Exile's Reach and for the specific, like, the different race, racial starting zones and stuff like that. Um, just so you can kind of get a taste for it and see what, whether or not you like it. Um, it's, it's definitely worth giving a go. Like what, what have you got to lose? You can always just uninstall it and you haven't paid anything and it's fine. Uh, but yeah, definitely recommend having a try if you're curious. I'm only playing it on that sub. Yes. It's very tempting to get. It's not bad. It's not bad. Psycho sales exclamation Zygor in chat. I'm not, I don't get any money from it. Um, I do have a referral link, uh, but basically for every person who signs up using my link, I get a discount on my own sub. That's like, yeah, so I'm it, I'm not I'm not making any additional cash from it. However, it does free up a couple of dollars a month to spend on other things like dentistry <laughs> um, or, you know, bills and shit like that. So yeah, I, I don't make any money from referrals, but it does provide me with a discount. Um, so yeah, full disclosure, of course, as always, I would never, ever, ever try to hide any of that shit from you guys. It's just not worth it. I, I've worked my ass off over nearly six years to develop a, a community who trusts me and, and, you know, asks my genuine opinion about shit and stuff like that. And I would, I would never do anything to damage the trust that you guys have in me because it's just not worth it. It's not worth it. It's a good clip because I'm a mature what? Oh. What did I say that- uh, I didn't even know what I said. Fuck. I'm gonna have to check that later, aren't I? Ooh, I can update my title because I've got 31 out of 50 50s now. Just realized. <clears throat> what are we without this guy? Oh, I will, I, yeah, I'm, I will watch clip later. <laughs> it's fine. <sighs> Thank you very much. Much appreciated. No doubt I will be, like, I, I, yeah. You guys know I troll through my clips looking for socials content. I'll find it eventually, I am certain. This curse has not broken me yet. Dearie me. Who's excited for a marathon of leveling? 12 hour leveling stream. Who's excited? Let's try so I can get a sandpipe. Redemptions, yeah! Yeah. I mean, worth, right? Yeah, yes, Shiba. Are you gonna spend the time leveling as well? 
or you can actually do things that make you a contributing member of a household or society. Unlike me. <laughs> 10 out of 10 worth. Good. I'm glad. What are you going to level? Everything that I have left. Excuse me. If you type 50-50s into chat, so exclamation F-I-F-T-Y-5-0-S, you will get my spreadsheet because I love spreadsheets because I'm that kind of nerd and I love that and it's fine and who cares what other people think. It's fine. Shut up. So <laughs> I have my leveling spreadsheet. Uh, so it tells me how far I am along in terms of my goal of 50-50s, all that kind of stuff. And it has all my tunes and all their current levels so I know like where I'm at. Um, so whatever I have left to level when it comes to that the, the marathon leveling stream, I am, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that at the end of the 12 hours I will have my 50-50s. But I don't know. I could still be a ways off. I'm not sure. Only one way to find out, and that is to try. Um, I should be maybe a little excited. Just a touch, then. Just a touch. We'll spend the 12 hours lurking, trolling, and spamming hydrates. Good. Good. You can keep me hydrated while I level, 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 level. Hey, Chris. Just download the guide and see where you like it. Oh, fantastic, Chris. I'm so glad that you can see why I enjoy it. I hope you enjoy it. I hope that it, it is useful to you. And, and that you love it. And also welcome on in. I hope you're having a lovely day. Likely level, but I think I'll be slotting your emotes into some of the time if I can't finish before then. Ah, yes, perfect. Awesome. You're suggesting that all day leveling is not contributing to household slash society. I mean, ask Jazz. <laughs> although, although I have to actually say, um, a couple a couple days back when I actually had some energy, I managed to do everything on my to-do list for the day and I had a couple of hours left before stream and I messaged him at work and I'm like I don't know what to do with myself like should I should I clean should I do some stitching should I should I level should I what well, I don't know what to do and he's gone I think you should level and so I did and I have a feeling he may regret that now <laughs> Emotes, yes, yeah, we have some emotes on the way, guys. Emotes on the way. Paid for and in production. There's marathon leveling stream again. <laughs> Thank you for asking, Yuri. It's on the 22nd. 22nd of January. January. Very random, but leveling just run all over the place. So nice to have some guidance. Oh, I know the feeling, Chris. I know the feeling. I like, ooh, a quest. Ooh, a quest. Ooh, a quest. Ooh, a rare. Ooh, a treasure chest. Ooh, a quest. Yeah, I'm, mm, I feel that. In my bones. <laughs> now I follow the arrow of destiny. And it tells me where to go. Yes, Saturday the 22nd. I'm going to go to many quests I've never done before. Um, yeah, it'll definitely, it'll also help you do things like Lawmaster. If that is something that's on your to-do list uh, and you haven't, like, and it's just, it's it's been on the to-do list, but it's just seemed like too big a task, Zygor will help you knock it over. Set yourself up for the zone. Follow the arrow, it will skip over any, like, it'll do it in the most optimum route, but it will skip over any quests you've already completed in your travels, and it'll get you to just do the rest of them. It's it really, really good. You know, one emote, hopefully. She was working on the emotes, she did the fan life. So they got put on hold for a bit soon, though. Yes, getting back into the swing of art again. Fantastic! Oh, I'm glad you're finding your way again, Shiva. Four zones to go for Lawmaster. I'm so close. I'm so proud of you, Yori. So proud of you. That's amazing. Play Paladin, TBC, Divine Guidance, question mark, yeah! <laughs> yep, oh, I love it. Okie dokie, more hydrates. I think I'm running out of water. Um, but fuck Northrend, just saying. Yeah, fear loves paladins. I did a BuzzFeed quiz many moons ago. And the BuzzFeed quiz told me that I should be a paladin. I made a mage. I'm not a paladin. I'm a mage, not a paladin. So it's now a meme 
that apparently I'm a paladin. I'm not a paladin. I'm a fucking mage. Can't you leave me there? Look here. Fialadin. Fuck off. Got no chairs well for Mr. Kevin's, even though I need more than 50%. Oh, meaty. Gonna give up and go to bed. RNG resets overnight. Correct. Yes. Totally. Totally. I have been super tempted to just go through on all my tunes and clear classic. Do all the raids, all the dungeons in vanilla, and just get them all ticked off and then go to the next expansion. But then I feel like all the percentage data in that spreadsheet goes to waste. <clears throat> all I'm saying is paladins can do fire damage. Look. Is fear pally? No. Actually, more like, oh my god, no, fuck off. <laughs> uh... <laughs> oh, hi, fuck you. Yep, it's, it's appropriate. Yep. Hey, Jas, do you want lava cake or am I good to demolish this whole thing? me cake. I can't give you cake through the screen. If you want more than a spoonful, bring a plate. Well, I should record it, profit. I'm not putting it through the screen, Jazz. Oh, screens are expensive to replace. Eight half will be enough to my next death. <laughs> Okay, uh, the rest of the hydrates are being <laughs> refunded. I have a reject all button. It's nice and fun and I like it. Oh, I have a stretch. Ugh. Stream Raiders! Yes, time for a chair stream to refill. I'm not refilling, that's enough water. I feel like I'm gonna explode. <coughs> I inhaled the what's it? I have some sugar. I keep checking Amazon every hour. I'm just waiting for my wall mount to ship out. I want to set up my fourth monitor. We can have them like all the way around like this. If you'll be peeing the bed at this rate. No! No, it, my body wakes me up at like two in the morning and being like, hey, we need to go to the bathroom. And I'm like, fuck you. It's great. <laughs> need water to wash that down. Where'd you end up for dinner? Pizza. Pizza. Please don't die on stream. Little too far away now. Congratulations, Neke, Spam, Viewt, Draz, Dur, Faden, Koala, Kade, and Yori on all your bonus shit. Before I need the answer, you inspired me of what one meat lovers is paradise delicious. Yeah, we got a um, barbecue meat lovers, a barbecue cheeseburger, and margarita, and garlic bread, and a bottle of Lyft, and uh, a lava cake, chocolate lava cake, which is what I'm eating now. And I'm gonna eat all of it because Jas clearly doesn't want any, considering he hasn't come to collect it yet. Wait for it. Um, let's put a lift. Ah, uh, lemon squash. Like solo. Just a different brand. <clears throat> oh, 
lava cake is uh, chocolate cake where the middle is still like almost like uncooked cake batter. And so when you cut into it, it kind of oozes out like lava. You can have you can have lava cakes that are not chocolate, um, but this particular one is a chocolate lava cake. <clears throat> but it's cooled down, so it's not as oozy as it should be. As it gets cool, it kind of sets. Um, yeah. Is that brownie that isn't entirely baked? Kind of. Kind of. Um, I think like if if this if your brownie were cooked like that, it would be a bad brownie. It's a little crumbly to be a brownie. Um, I prefer my brownies to be really fudgy and like dense. And this does get kind of like brownie towards the lava middle, but the outside is definitely more cake like. But um, but it is kind of like kind of chocolate mud cake kind of texture. Um, but not as not as dense as brownie. I'm a dessert connoisseur sometimes, <laughs> so... <laughs> but it's still fucking delicious. Still fucking delicious. Get on the spoon, please. In the middle of a match, you can eat one half. I think he means you can eat all of it. I think so too, X. I think so too. It's so good, only what it was called. So I ate more than my share. It's such a guy the best of my social standing. Mm. Yeah, lava cake. I mean, that's one word for it. I think there are other words for it as well. Um, but yeah, it's fucking good shit. Mm -hmm. Mining roots as well. They're amazing, aren't they, Chris? Uh, mining roots, herbing, gathering roots. Um, it will even give you skinning roots. To like kill stuff and skin it along the way. Hmm. Hey Jas, you okay? I haven't claimed the cake yet. Fia is eating it all on stream. I wonder if he remembers how big it was. So if I ate more than half, if he'd just think it was half still, because he doesn't remember how big it was exactly. <laughs> it's round, not exactly hard to tell. Mm, I think you are forgetting that the cake, in fact, was oval shaped. You can leave him one half of a spoonful. True, I could. I think that's appropriate. I'll drop my work, be back later. Is my PC working? Not a problem at all, Chris. Thank you so much for the work. I hope everything's all right at work. We'll see you soon. I should probably level. There's an auction function too if you don't want something as complicated as TSM. Oh, oh it does too. That's right. It does too. Um, I do use TSM. Um, I don't think I'd know how to fucking auction anything without TSM, honestly. It would just take entirely too long. Um, but... If you don't have the time to set TSM up, then yeah. I mean, TSM is really, really easy to set up. It just takes time. Um, and there are tons of, like, YouTube tutorials and stuff like that out there with downloadable strings for um, custom prices and groups and all this kind of stuff. But um, it does take a bit of effort to actually set up yourself. Um, it's Personally, I think it's definitely worth it. Um, but I understand that not everyone has the time to, to set up the basics. And TSM is one of those things where it's it, it can definitely be more or less complicated as well. Like, I know there are people who set up different pricing tiers for their transmog and all this kind of stuff with different groupings, and I don't. I have a group that is called transmog. If I run a, um, a TSM scan and post auctions, and there are still, I and once I've posted them, finished posting, there are still items in my bag that are transmog. I open up TSM, I go to the transmog group, and I add all. That's it. <laughs> I just add them. No, no tiering, no none of that bullshit. I just, this is transmog. Good. Um, so, 
yeah, you can absolutely make it more difficult, make it more complicated, and it will likely make you more gold if you do so. But I can't be fucked. So a YouTube video of how to cut different shapes of cake into pieces that would make the remaining part look like everything was there. That's wonderful, and I like that very much. I wonder if it would work well given that the middle of this cake is goo. Ah, <laughs> oh, TSM is literally saving my life, I can imagine. So do I have noticed and played that? Of course! It, um, how does it go, Meaty? Have you gone well with it? Or is it, like, not enough for you? Scott, have you read about Supposed to Dragon Isles leak? Cool! We are not doing spoilers. Thank you. This has always been a no spoilers stream. Do tears actually really good? I don't do tears of transmog, I do tears of listing. Ah, brilliant. Brilliant. No, um, Jas, no. There's a reason I did what I did. Hilarious wonder. There's, there's a reason I did what I did. Just, yeah. And I even specifically said earlier what my what my policy was. Um, I'm guessing you were in the middle of a league match or something when I did it, but um, yeah, no. Are you winning? Always, Apathy. Always. <clears throat> There's three times at min buyout, twice at 0.9% or 09 then buy it, which if it's lower than twice at 0.75, if it doesn't sell, it gets it in my BOE bank. Ah, interesting. Okay. And what happens when it's in your BOE bank? Do you pull it out later and try to sell again, or do you eventually sell it? Like, what, what happens? You know what? It's actually not rule two, it's rule one. Yeah, you know what? You're right. Um. However, that being said, unfortunately, it only pings people with the rules, like, the first time they come in. And this is a person who's been following, um, for over a year. So they've likely forgotten that. Um, but, so yeah, that's, but that's not okay. How can I, yeah, first time viewers to agree to your rules before chatting. So if someone hasn't been here in literally, and I mean, I know a lot of people don't read it before they kind of click it and whatever, but it's still like, yeah, I'm super unimpressed by that. Um, BOE Bank is literally chin has all my unsold BOEs, that's it. But what do you do with them? Do you just... Do they just sit there? I'm so confused. Am I going to be able to put this whole thing in? I think so. <clears throat> that's just a copy-paste of the rules. Um... Many more 50 say Just the one so far. Separatism profile. Okay. Okay, tell me about the time distribution. Oh, so do I. So do I. But I know a lot of people don't. They just assume, oh, it's the same as everywhere else. It's fine. I know, ignorance of the rules does not constitute defense. Agreed. Agreed.
I honestly feel like if you haven't been in a place for X amount of time, it should refresh you on the rules. Like, I honestly feel like it should tell you. Again. Because they've not been here since mid-November, so that's two months. But prior to that, they would have only ever seen the rules in September of 2020. And so it's just like... I feel like that would be so much more appropriate. But I mean, I guess that they feel like... Oh, if you've agreed, then you're going to be here constantly and you'll just, you know, you'll remember. But that's not always the case. Hey, FMA, how you doing? There's less than 150 gold vendors. If it's more, it waits until there's none listed in the post market. Okay, cool. Interesting. A dark wind is blowing. Uh, hey, you've, you haven't chatted in the stream in a while. Here's a reminder of the rules. Yeah, exactly. I think that would be, like, super awesome. You remember when Colander? There are some things that stick in long-term memory, like the fact that I don't like fucking spoilers. I'm really angry. Once a month or something? Yeah, I think that'd be good. <clears throat> uh, just to add context, for anyone who is disappointed by reading the leak, it was debunked. Still don't post damn leaks, even if they're fake. Yep. We do not do spoilers. We do not do leaks. If it's on the PTR, then sure, obviously that's confirmed by fucking Blizzard. But storyline spoilers, even if they're live on the PTR, are still not fucking acceptable. They are still not acceptable. There is an entire fucking channel in Discord called Story Spoilers. You are free and welcome to discuss the storyline of anything that would constitute a spoiler. Yes, that includes the latest Spider-Man. You can discuss anything related to storyline-related story spoilers in that channel in Discord. I have it muted. I never click it. There's a reason. It is still moderated. There are mods in there. Don't fuck with us. There is a second channel called Spoilers. That's just spoilers. Not, not story spoilers. Spoilers. And that is a place where you are free to discuss anything from the PTR that is mechanics related. Mechanics related. There are some people, I know there are not many, but there are some people, and I know that they are in this community, excuse me, who do not like any kind of anything about an upcoming... That's not half. That's fine, you'll live. Um, about any kind of um, mechanics or, or how things are going to work or, or anything. They, they don't want to know about covenants. They don't want to know about conduits. They don't want to know about legendaries. They want nothing to do with any of that. They want to discover it for themselves because that's part of the magic of the game to them, is discovering it as Blizzard introduces it via the in-game systems. And that's why I have that channel for you to discuss that there so that those people can not pay attention to that if they so desire, right? Do not... Post spoilers anywhere else. That includes in Twitch chat. Right before 9 0 hit, we had a person who was in voice comms who started talking about what they did on the PTR in terms of spoiler. And we had like seven of the members of the raid group yell over them to stop talking and they kept going because whatever um we we muted them we and they said i'm so sorry i'm high don't care so we we muted them we like as in like there's a role in discord that mutes people that prevents people from joining voice comms from typing in they can still see everything they can't type anywhere they cannot participate in any conversation um, for two weeks and they left the discord before the two, two weeks were up because they didn't want to be part of the community anymore. And I don't give a shit. I, I do not give a shit. Because if you ruin my enjoyment of something like that, you are an asshole, and I reserve the right to remove you from my fucking community. <laughs> like, 
I'm here because I enjoy this game and I want to enjoy it the way I want to enjoy it. If you have a problem with that, you can get fucked. Literally. Or figuratively, your choice. But yeah, it's, um, yeah. I just dinged 59, didn't I? Go 49, 59, good lord. If only, 49. There we go, 95.9% completed. We are four days ahead. Four days ahead. <clears throat> um. Uh, they could have asked a question in a non-spoiler way, thus giving you time to remind them. Yeah, like, have you seen the 10.0 leaks? Like, the other person who was a fight night came in and said, what is your opinion on the 10.0 leaks? And my opinion, I said, my opinion is that this is the first I've heard of them. So I have no opinion. Please don't tell me about them. Like, that, you, that and that's, that's perfect. We it's like going into a game and going, have you got to the bit where the person dies? Fuck! No! Piss off! Like, the, the appropriate way to ask that question is, where are you up to? What chapter are you on? What level are you up to? That is the- like, fuck! <sighs> Fucking hell. Anyway. <sighs> I fucking hate spoilers. Can you tell? Long ago. It's like general for any place and general respect too. Like, don't go into a stream and start talking about spoilers, leaks. That's shitty. Yeah, look. There are there are a lot of people out here who genuinely believe that everyone plays the game the same way that they do, and they we don't. We don't. Not everyone immediately jumps onto every little spoiler that anyone posts. Like, it's just it's not a thing. Like, not everyone plays that way, and. Everyone needs to start respecting the ways that other people play. Use some decency and common sense and shit. I've been in a chat with spoilers of any kind as an instant ban is so frowned upon. Yeah, for sure. And there's a good fucking reason for it. Is because there are a group of people out there who purposefully approach groups of people to tell them spoilers because they enjoy seeing other people suffer and they, they want people to get angry and, and react and blah blah blah. And it's like, fuck off. Those people are literal assholes. Like... He moved with grace and power matched only by the wind. Memory isn't too good, so I tend to check rules a minimum two monthly, because rules can change anytime. They can. They absolutely can. Um, I would tend to tell people if the rules were changing, like if there was going to be a major rule change of some kind. Um, but checking them regularly is absolutely good practice, for sure. Yes, it isn't. Really going to bed this time. No worries, Meaty. Rest well. We'll see you next time. The sweep of his wings. He cut down even the um, strongest of the blood man. He dumped on Jess. So many They're just helping you to adhere to your New Year's resolution fitness goals. <laughs> Neither Jess nor I made any New Year's resolutions. But he was no match for Tarak. Oh, dear. That his message was We're clear. done. The Talon King left the blood man. Pick up the pieces of them. Uh, after building. being here a while, even if it was something that's well known in PTR, I'd always ask you first in case you haven't had a chance to look for yourself. It's just knowing you a little bit and having respect for you. Yeah, absolutely. Agreed. Agreed. And I I mean I'd do the same with literally anybody else. Like no matter what it was, it'd be, hey, have you have you seen you this thing? Or where are you up to in this book that you're reading? Or do you know what I mean? Like it's yeah, for sure. Not that I remember anything about anything, but that's fine. Hey up you. <laughs> um, where are we? Vel You know this for so long. I have, yeah, because it's important. Clearly, you don't like the content, so that's fine. You can fuck off too. <laughs> don't understand people. Like, this is not an airport. You do not have to announce your departure. Just leave. Ah, uh, playing Life is Strange. Last of Us games like that on stream is hell for. <sighs> 
Yeah, no, it's horrendous. It's horrendous. Uh, I don't mind spoilers. I wouldn't spoil it for someone else. That is disrespectful. Exactly. Absolutely. Hey, I'm married. How you going? Situation reminds me uh, reminds of sin social situations. You don't ask people, so are you coming to this party that you might not be invited to? You ask, so what are you doing on Saturday? Yep. Does this mean you never set foot in trade chat or any public channel in game? Because eventually there'll be people talking about upcoming things. Lol. Yeah, I leave them. If there is something coming up, or if I've heard there are leaks, I leave trade chat. I don't use trade chat. I don't use general chat. I don't use local defense. Why would I be in them? I don't use them for literally anything. Thank you so much for making fun with the, the lol, like the laughing at me. Thank you so much for making fun of my policy on the spoilers. I really appreciate it. I make like a banana and leave. Hey, Pipe Princess, how you going? Welcome back. I've been spamming Genshin recently. My roommate almost spoiled something for me because he's used to playing with people who are a lot further along in the game than I am. Oof, yeah. Ouch. Almost as good, like, it sounds like you caught it or they caught it right before it kind of, you know. That's good at least. This curse has not broken me. Hey, best, really love. I wanted to stop in and say hello. Ah, oh, brilliant. Thank you so much for stopping by. It's really good to see you. Rest well, yeah? I hope you have a wonderful sleep. And a brilliant day tomorrow. Never watch movie trailers either. Like to go in blind opinion, untainted. Goes for most experiences I partake in. Interesting. Interesting. I do watch movie trailers. I do watch trailers. Um, a lot of the time it gets me, like it helps get me hyped for for like the experience I'm about to have or whatever but like I mean I haven't been to the cinema in years now literally because of the fucking pandemic um so like I don't really tend to see many trailers um but if for example if like the screen grab on a Netflix show or something like if the screen grab kind of go oh what's that I'll watch the trailer of that to kind of get a sense of like what is this about because they're little like one sentence thing often doesn't really give enough information for me, um, so I might watch, like, I mean, usually within the first five to ten seconds of a trailer, you know what, what you're getting into, though, so, like, by that point, I'm, I know if I'm gonna watch it or if I'm not, and then I kind of go from there, but, yeah. Uh, wanting to partake in spoilers doesn't make you any bigger or better of a gamer, fun fact. Putting down someone for not wanting to listen to spoilers is pretty bad, mate. Uh, it's not necessarily about that, it's laughing at me for not partaking in the general chat channels where everything's mostly just racist shit and guilds advertising non-stop, which I don't want to join, so there's, like, no benefit to me being in those channels. Uh, speaking of Netflix, have you seen the new season of Witcher? No, I haven't seen any of Witcher. Um, convinced there's a Jast imposter in my dying guild. Character is Jast. You admit it can't be him, right? Um, I think someone has mentioned seeing Jast Druid. I don't think it's him. I don't think it's him. Uh, we went to see Spider-Man, a guy came out of the screen and before us yelling what happened. He got sorted out pretty quickly. Like, I don't understand what, like, do they genuinely have no other source of joy in their lives? That makes me really sad. Hey, Rafipi, welcome back. Any public chat in WoW is a toxic hellhole. They serve zero purpose unless you're looking to buy boosts. Yeah. Yeah, all of the ones on my servers are just, like, constant spam of like such and such guild is putting together a raid team even at this point in the game. Um, it's you know where we're put we're filling out our raid team for 9.2 and blah 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 and all this kind of, and I'm like I don't I don't none of that interests me. Or it's it's racist banter or sexist banter or, or homophobic banter or transphobic banter and I'm like I don't want any of this. When I see it I report it and then I remember oh I haven't left these channels on these tunes so I do. <laughs> like there's just, there's zero point. Zero point. Uh, public chat in most games is ick, to be honest. I don't play a whole lot of games that have public chats except, wow, hey. Jared brought her mud cake. Today is a good, aw, yay Yuri. And yay Jared. 
I mean, they removed all chat from LOL because it couldn't be redeemed. No, they didn't. I thought they have, like, in-game chat so you can communicate with your teammates and stuff. I've seen Jas using it, like, within days. Uh, good night. Thank you. Have an amazing stream. Will do, princess. Rest well. We'll see you next time. Ah, uh, one letter away from mug cake, Yuri. I think I know what I'm having for dessert. Yas. They didn't remove it. Yeah, I didn't think so. Yeah, there's still chat in lol. It was a meme. It might have been someone with wishful thinking, but no, there's definitely still chat because it's it's the kind of game where you need team communication to be able to do things effectively, as like as you get higher up the rankings, kind of thing. Um, it'd be kind of silly for them to actually remove it. It's difficult. It's a really difficult job cleaning up that kind of shit, but um, yeah, it's unfortunately a pretty integral part of the game. A dark wind. Hmm. But they removed opposite team chat or something. Let's just check. Oh, my. Well, I thought it was okay. I do assist. Can you chat with the enemy or just team? It was the all chat, not team chat. Both. Stand corrected. They go. Yeah, it might have just been like a, a rumor that did the rounds or something. That happens a bit. As we all know. And I mean, it's totally believable, you know. Lol chat's so toxic, they just removed the whole thing. It's believable. <laughs> League did actually remove it, then rolled it back. Oh, okay. There you go. Maybe there was a short period where Jas wasn't playing. Shower is just get things done at times. Yeah. General consensus was why removing your team is more toxic than your enemies. Not wrong. Yeah, not wrong. Give you back straight. You can. Right? Games is walking back its decision to get rid of slash all chat and League of Legends instead, trialing the removal on a region by region basis. Yeah. Honestly, from from watching some games over Jas's shoulder, um, the team chat is so much worse than the all chat. So much worse. I mean, occasionally you'll have people, like, taunting the other team and, and, you know, calling them shit or whatever. But the vast majority of the time it's your own team saying, Why are you doing this wrong? And rah rah and all that kind of shit. Ah, if I ever play League, the first thing I do is slash mute all. That's my thought when you receive vitriol in those games. It's from the team, not the enemy, yeah. More often than not, it's the team thanking- the enemy team thanking you for feeding and shit. <laughs> I know bits and pieces about lol. Level 60. Ah, fantastic Koala. All 12 classes to 60. Congratulations. Well done. Well done. Right, okay. I need to be a fell orc for a little bit. So there we go. Let's hope that's our Whatever we without the sky, shadows gather. Oh, look, this is the part I was up to when Jess was here. <clears throat> when the serpent chests, they got interrupted by the pizza room. Yes. Yes. Chicken now with new and steamed veggie. Yum. That sounds delicious. That sounds really, really good. Okay, some kind of kicking my butt. Yeah, I was uh, I was supposed to have lunch with a friend tomorrow who got their job on Tuesday. Um, saying, you know, oh, it'll be fine, you know, by the, by the weekend, I should be okay if I have it that early in the week. Uh, and it took a full 24 hours to kick him, and now, yeah, we're not having much for <laughs> Um, but that's okay, like, I'm not, there's no issue with that whatsoever, I need him to take care of myself. Um, just like the rest of you, but yeah, it's, um, 
for apparently the rooster is, um, it's an interesting experience. So I've installed this, so i got to give it a try. Did you pick Ward to level in, or does the add-on do that? Because it seemed to have to pick expansion for Kirby Manu- Yeah, the, the add-on can't play the game for you. It The add-on does not play the game for you. That would be botting. You still need a- if you want to activate Chromie mode, Chromie time, you have to go and talk to Chromie. Like, it can't walk you over to Chromie and talk to her and set the- like, it, it's not a bot. It's just a guide. Yeah. That doesn't say which Chromie to pick. That's because you have to make the choice, and then you choose the appropriate guide for the Chromie that you've picked. <laughs> like, that's entirely player choice, so you just have to pick one. Or not, and do BFA instead. Um, do you get mine on the 25th? Currently have antibodies in me. I don't know if I actually need it for the moment. Um, there's also the question of if they'll actually let you have it or not, because if you're, like so recently recovered maybe they won't let you um possibly give him a call call the place that you've got booked in for and say hey i've just i've had my first negative test as of date am i still safe to get my booster on the 25th or should i reschedule now i'm sure like if if you call now they'll be very appreciative because they can give that appointment to someone who does actually need it if you don't yet um oh, am i dying i am congratulations to bali yori and koala on your bonus shits uh, brilliant. Decisions back up tonight. Hey, Countess. Just do BFA. Also don't know what I'm talking about, so ignore me. Hey, look. You made a decision. That's that's pretty important. I died. Go. New map. Oh, we can get all of them. Look, if we go up along here and then go boop and then down to here. Yes. Ancient incantations. Battle plans again? Yep, absolutely. Once I place my own unit. <laughs> uh, this one. No, no, no. There you go. Dead. Oh. That's the other thing. Talking to a doctor from the hospital as per my daily checkup during COVID and they said Omicron is supposed to show up positive in my body for at least three months. So apparently I'm still carrying it, just not contagious. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, it's like, think about HSV, like the herpes simplex virus. Once you have that, it never leaves. You carry that in your body for the rest of eternity. It's just not contagious unless you get the external bits and bobs, you know? Like, it makes sense. Other viruses do the same thing. Kind of cool, huh? Our bodies can, like, keep them under control enough that they, um, that you can't infect other people. Um, who does agree? What is the way to go? Yep, that's why I'm doing it. Well, that and Garrison's. Omicron's definitely a different beast. I love his pox. Shingle pox is another one that's fun like that with its shingles thing. Yeah, absolutely. Thank God for antibodies. Agreed. Agreed. This curse has not broken me yet. Uh, shingles is nasty from what I've heard, yeah. I haven't experienced it myself. I don't think I've met anyone who was undergoing it at the time. 
Um, I don't think any of my family members have had it or anything, but yeah, no, it's, um, from what I've heard. Ah, uh, we have a friend who got shingles due to stress, then her daughter actually caught chicken pox from her. I don't know if that's actually a thing. I mean, if it's caused by the same virus, I see- I don't- I don't see any reason why not. Why should I get gene therapy and also become a cyborg? But then you'll be susceptible to a different kind of virus, sex. Uh, do you know if you can pass down the changes a virus can make to your DNA? Yes. If. If the virus makes the changes to your egg or sperm cells. If it makes your changes to any other cells, no. If it makes the changes to your egg cells or your as as a uh, XY chromosome carrier, your sperm cells, or I think the the cells that generate the sperm is, I, I think if I th yeah, so it has to it has to change your sex cells firstly. It has to change cells that actually go into making a baby, making a new human. And it has to change those cells in a way that keeps them viable. Because you can change the DNA in an egg cell, but will that egg cell, will those changes prevent it from growing and making a baby? Quite potentially. So yeah, it can only carry on if it is changed in your sex cells. In your, they call them gametes, I think? I can't remember, it's been too fucking long since like high school biology. Um, but yeah, only because like, if it changes your skin cells, well, you, do, you don't scrape off some skin and make a baby out of it. So it doesn't work like it doesn't work that way. It has to be in the sex cells. <clears throat> it's gametes. Brilliant. I remember the thing. I still have a level 50 hunter and mage ready to be level to 60, but I think I need a small break from Shadowlands leveling. Oh, totally fine. Yeah, look, hey, it, yes. <laughs> I get it. Trust me. I understand. You shouldn't scrape off your skin and make your baby. No, it's it's a physical impossibility. You cannot make a living, breathing br baby out of skin cells off your arm that you have scraped off with a paddle pop stick. Like, <laughs> that's not how that works. No DNA changes to reproductive cells are basically impossible to be viable from viral causes. Well, that's, that's the thing. So um, a virus can absolutely change the DNA with those cells, but in order to pass them on, those cells have to stay viable. So yeah, that's your... Uh, it can, it can absolutely, but both of those, you have to actually have the changes happen to the right cells and the cells still have to be viable. And in the vast majority of cases, the cells are no longer viable. Um, so yeah, it's possible, but I don't think we've seen it yet. <clears throat> like, I mean, there are, there are viruses out there that render people infertile. Why? Because it gets to the fucking sex cells and changes the DNA, and then none of them are, then none of them can make babies anymore. Like that's, <laughs> you know. So yeah, it's uh, they can absolutely make changes, but whether or not they can be carried on because the the cell is viable, yeah. You can't. Does anyone know if you can make an immunization from the antibodies from someone that has had COVID and then mended from it? I'm not smart enough to know. Um, I don't think they need to. I think that that may have been where they made that may have been where they got part of the immune uh, part of the vaccine from originally. But I don't think that they can grow more from your blood if that's what you're asking. Um, like it is, it is so much fucking cheaper to just formulate it synthetically in the lab. Um, but they probably used samples from people who had recovered to make the to make the original vaccines. That or they used prior knowledge of other similar things and then just kind of winged it from there. That's research is essentially winging it and hoping it sticks. Um, but more scientific than that, more educated guesses than throwing darts at a board. Um, <clears throat> Um, mumps. Yep, I had mumps. I was not allowed, I had to isolate. I was not allowed to leave the house until I had recovered from mumps because if I, that it, that one, I don't think it actually causes sterilization. Um, but if I transmitted that to anyone who was currently pregnant, it resulted in instanta like instantaneous abortion. They would lose the baby. It would kill the baby. Like, like no two ways about it. Baby is gone now. Um, because of the mumps. 
Uh, so yeah, I had to not leave, not go anywhere, because even even a chance of encountering someone who was possibly pregnant could have resulted in all sorts of horribleness. Um, can I have that virus? I don't want kids. Um, getting the snip is a hell of a lot safer for you and everyone involved than catching a deadly virus that results in DNA changes so severe that it renders you um, infertile. <laughs> just, just, just get the snip. Uh, I get this exactly cheaper than a vasectomy. I would highly doubt that, because all the other medical, all the the medical bills that you'd end up having from all the other shit, all the other side effects, um, plus the lack of you know losing work because you're unwell and all that kind of shit. Like, mm -mm, I think it might actually just be cheaper to get the vasectomy. <clears throat> Isn't the HPV one of those? I want to say um, that one cause has the potential to cause cervical cancer. Um, I don't think that necessarily leads to sterility, but it's certainly, you don't want cervical cancer. Um, hey, server. Like 300 back from Medicare. Wait, what? What did I miss? Oh, 300 back from Medicare on the snip. Okay, cool. And hopefully next month. Time for some Macca's KFC. Oh, no. Oh, no. Significantly easier to make a vaccine from virus samples than antibody samples. Yeah. Yeah. Let's make the KFC. Uh, we don't really know each other, but if you have questions, hit me up. Cheers, Will do. That's very kind of you. Very kind of you. Sniffy, sniffy, baby. Uh, hello, Krazzy. How's the family tracking tonight? Oh, it's been wonderful. So many random topics of conversation. It's been brilliant. Home and ready to go. Fantastic, Chris. Welcome back. Cheaper to move to Scotland than do whatever. <laughs> ah, it's gonna happen. I want to say HPV lead to sterility in men. I seem it was made a point in public fora because young men were indifferent about getting it. Okay, interesting. There you go. I wasn't aware of that one. I mean, I guess like our whole stuff out here in Australia was all just, you know, get the ladies axed because we don't want to have cervical cancer. But I didn't realize that there was a, yeah, I mean, you know, virus is a virus. It's not going to only affect people with double X chromosomes, but um, yeah, that's interesting. Interesting. Scotland had to pick up a self-test at work for that annoying thing going around. Oh, you know, just that little thing. No biggie, you know. Yeah, totally fair. Oh, I'm glad you managed to get a kit though. That's great, Chris. I didn't play it on US servers and EU then being in Wallace Land. Wallace Land. I love it. <laughs> Scotland. Supposedly the snip isn't even permanent these days. I have a friend that got it years ago and he met a girl that went children and sounds like get the tubes unsnipped. You can, yeah. It's um, so it is, it is permanent in that it can't undo itself. Keep, like, you need to be very, very specific with the language here because it not being permanent can freak people out and go, wait, what the fuck? You mean it can just undo and, um, no, no. Um, it's, so from what I understand, there is a chance of failure, but they do a very simple test for that. A set amount of time after your procedure they get you to provide a sample and test it for sperm. And if there's some in there, then they have to do it again. And if there's none in there, then it was successful. I do. I believe that it healing itself and your fertility coming back spontaneously is either not a thing or exceptionally rare. However, they can be reversed. Vasectomies can be reversed. Um, not again, not always successfully though. So just like there is a small chance of failure for the original procedure, there is a small chance of failure for the reversal as well. But that's kind of, you know, the deal with literally any medical procedure. You're fucking with shit that isn't meant to be fucked with technically. Anytime you go digging around in these bodies of ours, there's a, there's a chance of failure. Um, um, just yes at the moment, the thing, that thing that kept me inside for a week. Only a week? That's good then. 
there have been a lot of lockdowns that are a hell of a lot longer than that, which is, you know. Um, permanent does not equal irreversible. Yeah, cool. Thank you for that. Yeah, that's, it's definitely, it's a really, really important distinction to make. Oh, was that actually a, no, that was a, that was a double up item. Uh, special work was down like four people. Oh, yowch. Who just wondered when you were in Scotland, obviously. Play with you from time to time, indeed. Indeed. Three months. So three months after you provide a sample that is tested for presence of things. Uh, you can operation undo this name. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sleep schedule basically means I'm asleep when anybody in EU is reading anyway. But anyway, weekend is incredible. They also specify you need to clear the pipes out a set number of times before giving the sample. Yeah, I can imagine. Because there could be some residual cells in in the uh, in the general area. I know we can, but I do. Give you in your honor. Ah, rules here are six days from the day of first symptom, then no fever for twenty four hours at the end. You're good to go. Ah, brilliant, fantastic. Yeah, I don't remember what the exact rules are here. Um, there was there was a time pretty early on where I was like really watching every little thing and I was like a fucking encyclopedia of COVID information and I, I knew all the things and all the stuff and all that and it got to a point where it was affecting me supremely negatively like I was obsessed uh, I would actually go so far as to say I was obsessed um like I, I'd be if I was there if I had not checked the news for half an hour I was scouring for any kind of update and new numbers or something like I was and I was reading on all the different countries and everything that was going on every I was it was not good for my mental health whatsoever and then one day I kind of snapped and just ignored everything and I didn't read anything for like I think it was like a month and a half maybe two months I don't even remember how long it was I just didn't read anything um and now I'm kind of I feel like I'm at a more healthy sort of point like when I get uh, I know that my managers at work um pay really close attention to specific things um, because I work at a, uh, at a public entertainment venue. My day job is at a public entertainment venue, so we need to make sure that we're on top of the rules so that we're not breaking the law and having to, you know, it's not good. Um, so any time that they would, but we have like a group, uh, like an, a company WhatsApp group now, um, that was established when the lockdowns kind of first happened at the start of 2020. And, um... So now whenever they ping saying there's been a change, I'll jump on and I'll do some research and see what affects me, what affects my loved ones, and just sort of see what the deal is, and then I'll walk away um, once I have my specific knowledge. Um, just because I found that that's been the most balanced um, method of information obtaining um, for that's, that's for my mental health, because I just... Yeah, I can have a tendency sometimes of becoming hyper-focused on things that stress me out and uh, it doesn't go well. I end up staying up till 4.35 a.m. Um, scouring pages looking for any new information I can find. Of course, I can't find any because everyone's working off the same goddamn information. So every single fucking article just says the same thing reworded. Um, but my brain doesn't always know that. So <laughs> doesn't it always seem to understand. Um, finished my time on Saturday, I'm drinker three, yay! Clear the pipes. They asked if there had been at least 30 since the day, and I was like, yeah, it's been three months. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. I relate to that, I became obsessed, also snapped and stopped paying attention, now I know nothing. Yeah, I know, I know little bits and pieces. I know little bits and pieces. I know that uh, masks have to be worn, so in Australia, masks have to be worn, no. In Brisbane, more specific, uh, in Brisbane, masks have to be worn anywhere the vaccinated and unvaccinated mix. So think places like pharmacies, supermarkets, um, post offices, places where people need to be able to go because it's like you need to be able to get your groceries, you need to be able to get your medications, um, you need to be able to do that stuff. Um, so you can't ban unvaccinated people from going there because even if they're unvaccinated, they still need their fucking groceries. Um, so that's that thing. And then um, places that are not essential, but that are like businesses and stuff like that. So think restaurants, pubs, clubs, that kind of stuff. You need to show we've got a we've got a check in Queensland app um, that you can connect to your Medicare 
um, account, I guess. Medicare is Australia's uh, universal healthcare. Um, so uh, they keep vaccination records as part of Medicare. So all of the vaccinations you received as a kid, all that kind of stuff um, is kept on like a vaccination record. Um, so that, you know, they know what you've had um, and the COVID shots are no exception. They're, they're on the, the vaccination register. So when you connect your, um, the, when, when you connect your Medicare card to, or your Medicare number to the app, when you go to check in, it has your name and then it says like last checked in X amount of time ago at this place. And then there's a big check-in button, but right next to your name, there's a green check mark. That's it. You don't need to show what, what date you had it. You don't need to show um, like your, your which one you had, none of that. It's just you you show them, you, you do your check-in and then you show them the app and it shows that you've checked in at their place two seconds ago and your name with the check mark. And that's it. You go straight in. Um, and in those places, you can take your mask off. Uh, the employees also need to be vaccinated in those places. Um, but inside which cave? Have I missed the... No, um, the the employees seem to be vaccinated in those places of work still. Uh, so they're masked. They they seem to be masked still. Um, but I believe that they need to be vaccinated to be able to, because I know that all of our staff where I work, all of us have to be vaccinated. We had to provide proof of vaccination to the, the big boss to keep on file. Um, and we have to check vaccination records of anyone who attends. <clears throat> Pretty sure that's for the whole of Queensland. Yeah, it is. I was just because I said Australia and I'm like, no, wait, this is state laws. I need to remember this is not Australia. This is just Queensland. But Queensland is a state of Australia. Um, so, yeah. Victoria, it's all indoors and main events. There you go. Um, major events, not main. Yeah. Blows my mind is in Denmark. Um, when sitting down at restaurants, etc., you can take masks off. Yeah, um, that's the same thing in Queensland. If you're sitting down in a restaurant, you can take off your mask. Because how the fuck else are you going to eat? What happens to your employment if you refuse a vaccination? Uh, it depends on the place that you're working. Some places can have you work from home and do all that kind of stuff. Um, if you, if you must be on premises to work and you refuse vaccination, then you can't work. And that's as much for your safety as it is for anyone else who attends. Like, this is the thing, like, vaccination protects you because it lessens the symptoms and all that kind of stuff. Um, there's also the whole, you know, it makes you less infectious or whatever. I'm not 100% sure if that was confirmed or not, but it definitely seems to lessen your own bits and bobs. There are definitely people who are unable to be vaccinated due to medical conditions and stuff like that. They've got exemptions and that's totally fine. Um, but I very I very distinctly remember our old, ch uh, our old uh, CHO, Chief Health Officer, um, when she was talking about um, going across the border, because there are a lot of people who live across, uh, live right against the border of Queensland with New South Wales. And um, New South Wales was not having a fun time. This is well before Omicron. This is like literally months and months and months and months and months and months, and months ago now. Um, and we were they were talking about uh, how there was border control and you needed a pass to be able to cross the border. The problem is if you live right on the border, there's a very good chance that your kids go to school across the border or you work across the border or your closest supermarket by a long shot is across the border. And so people who lived in those communities were granted exemptions to the border control thing. They were given like a little, like kind of like a border passport thing that they could just show this is where I live and they go cross and come back completely freely. There was no, no restriction to them crossing. Um, and the, then they kind of said, you know, you need to be double vaxxed in order to be able to cross that border. If you need to go work across the border, you have to be double vaxxed. Otherwise you, you can't go across and you won't be able to come back. Uh, and the question was put by one of the reporters, what if someone cannot have the vaccination? And the chief health officer said, if they can't have the vaccination, they shouldn't be leaving their homes to cross the border. It is not safe for them to leave their homes. If these people need help with groceries or with medical stuff, like bringing medicine to them and all that kind of stuff, they can call this government number and we have staff who can help them with that stuff and we will bring them the supplies that they need. But if they cannot be vaccinated, they have bigger issues here than not being able to cross the border. They need to be staying in their homes because they are not, it is not safe for them to leave. 
And I remember thinking, well, fuck, that's a blunt answer. <laughs> um, obviously, it's not at that point anymore. Um, it, it's just, I mean, it's kind of up to individual discretion whether or not you're going to leave the house because if you're if you're if you're so at risk that you can't have the vax. When there are how many fucking cases in Brisbane City at the moment? Last I checked, there were 25,000. I have refused to check again since, and that was several days ago. I don't want to know what the numbers are now. 25,000 cases in one city and surrounding suburbs. Yep. Like, fuck. I'm just so glad that I was managed, that I was able to get the vaccine uh, the vaccines when I was like <laughs> uh, I have an autoimmune condition for those of you who are relatively new here I have an autoimmune condition uh, and there were questions about whether or not I'd be able to have the vaccines at all um, luckily I could I had both of them my uh, medical status has changed since I had them um, it, I'm fine. I'm okay. But there are some things in my medical history that I'm not going to talk about um, that have changed. And so the question is up in the air again, can I have the booster? And I don't know. Um, so I need some professional advice from my specialists who have my medical history and all that kind of shit around whether or not it is safe for me to have a booster. But thank fuck. Thank fuck I got those doses when I could. Because, like, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> mm. God's country. What? Uh, Granite, I'll give you the restaurant. Uh, I guess the trains, buses, etc. as well. Oh, so if you're sitting down on a train or a bus, you can take your mask off as well. That's interesting. I wonder if they're kind of, you know, if you're if you're not walking around, then you're not going to be like spreading it around the place. You're like kind of dropping it where you are, sort of thing. I guess maybe they feel like that's less dangerous. That's really interesting. I mean, we have to wear we have to wear masks on public transport and stuff like that. But um, I don't believe we're able to take it off when we're sitting down. I mean, tons of people do. <laughs> like I've watched people just sit down and just take it off, and then you know it's like, oh, no one like the, the driver can't see me, so it's fine or whatever, which is not the case, obviously. But um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. You know, we're all having a bad time, not just South Well, yeah. Well, this is really the first time that Queensland's had to deal with anything throughout this whole experience. Because, like, when everyone down South, like, when, when Melbourne had those, like, lockdown after lockdown after lockdown, we were fine. And then when Sydney had those kind of little influxes here and there because of the, um, like, the, 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 what's it called? The cruise liner and stuff like that, we were still fine. Like, Queensland... I think the most we ever had was like in the teens of cases, maybe like late teens, early twenties. That was it. Like we just, we were fine. We were fine. And then, and then we weren't <laughs> like, and then we weren't. I just, I just, mm, this whole Omicron bullshit is just, um, <sighs> uh, it's a whole thing. Jeanette Young was the greatest. She was. She was wonderful. And she just did not take shit from anyone. It was wonderful. State borders. How explicit are they? Are they with guarded officers, etc., like a country border? Um, they were. Well, not officer. Uh, defined officers. But yeah, we had police, for sure. Um, they had the police force guarding the borders and stuff, and they would check everyone's border passes. Because, um, so you had to, like, especially Melbourne had a system where you had to apply online for a, for a pass. Um, and then once you were approved, that's when you would set out to do the travel thing. Um, I'm not sure if New South Wales had anything similar, um, but uh, I, I never really checked traveling through New South Wales because in my family are in Melbourne. I don't really have any need to travel to New South Wales. Hey! 50. 32. Out of 50. 32 out of... 50, 50s. Amazing. But yeah, they absolutely, yeah, they would they would stop your car at the border and check. Um, they would not let you board the plane if you didn't have the right stuff. Um, or if you were found to have been lying or whatever, they would put you on a plane back, that kind of shit. Like it's a, yeah, proper thing. 
we had one person, like one of the biggest outbreaks we had in Queensland was because a person um, came from Melbourne uh, and travelled through Sydney and did a whole bunch of stuff and then lied on their incoming, like they they'd had to fill out paperwork on their way into Queensland to say where they'd been, what they'd, like all that kind of stuff to say, you know, have I been in any hotspots, where did I go, blah, 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 all that kind of shit. And they lied. They lied on them. Um, and then went to work two days later cleaning a school uh, and went and had lunch with people and had this and that and the other and, um, hey, presto, cust uh, we go to a fucking cluster. Um, and everyone was fucking furious with them. Rightfully so. Um, but they were... Um, I'm pretty sure they were charged with... Because it's a felony. Um, I'm pretty sure they were charged. I don't and I don't know how much they ended up. I know they had to at least pay a fine. Um, there were people talking about how the felony that they were actually charged with had the potential to carry jail time, jail time as well. I'm not sure if they ended up going down that avenue, but um, yeah, like they they caused a cluster in Queensland that killed people. We had no COVID in Queensland until they brought it in by lying on their paperwork and then not going through. Not if they if they had come in and quarantined and that was that and they tested positive in quarantine but they were still quarantined well it would have been fine but they didn't they lied so that they could get out quicker go go to work and all that kind of shit and as a result they killed people no two ways about it as a result they killed people 96.04 delightful um, but yeah, so look, there were there have, there have been a couple of interesting things, but um, they do absolutely check things at the border. Um, I mean, I'm sure there have been thousands of cases of people lying and being fine because they were they didn't end up being positive, and so no one ever like it never became a problem. Um, but yeah, um, as someone that lives in a Vic New South Wales border, it was a clusterfuck. Yeah, the. Excuse me, the Queensland New South Wales water, as far as I'm aware, I mean, at the beginning it was a bit of a clusterfuck because everyone was like, shit, this is new, what are we doing? Um, but they got it sorted out fairly quickly um, and it was still, obviously it was still going to be an inconvenience. It was never going to be smooth and pretty and beautiful and, and like butter. It was never going to be, but I don't think it caused too much hassle at the New South Wales Queensland border. I'm pretty sure Queensland just put their foot down and said, nah, this is the rules. So I thought when they said asthma sufferers could be exempt from masks, wouldn't there be some of the people who would want to most wear them and avoid COVID? Yes, that's what I thought as well. Um, but yeah, it's honestly, I'm gonna let the medical professionals make those kind of decisions. Like the, the, here's the thing, right? So the medical professionals, when they're making these, when, they, when they're advising on these mandates and stuff, it's kind of like, this is what you are allowed to do. We as humans then have to go, okay, but I don't want to leave the house anyway. So I'm just going to stay home. We don't, I don't have to isolate, but I'm gonna. You know, like, so it's, I think it's up to like, I mean, there may be a case where a person who is asthmatic cannot leave the house because of whatever reason. But then there are some cases where someone who is asthmatic has to leave the house because they cannot get a telehealth appointment or they cannot have their medication delivered or like them there might be cases where they must leave the home and they've tried wearing a mask because they want to protect themselves because they are fucking petrified but they've just found that they they honest to god they can't the humidity created by the mask just exacerbates everything and it takes them three days to be able to breathe normally again even with their medication after they've spent 20 minutes wearing a mask and it's just not worth for their their long-term like quality of life to wear it so as long like if there is a medical exemption by all means you do you boo make informed decisions for yourself uh, again as someone that has had COVID I do not want to know what it would have been like unvaccinated fuck no Absolutely not. Got three doses right now just because I used to be very big. Lucky that has changed. I'm still on the list somehow. Oh, they go. Queensland, God's country. Come on now. Uh, is Queensland God's country? I don't think so. I've met more religious people in Victoria and New South Wales than I have in Queensland. Personally. But I don't know. Maybe that's an old stereotype or something. 
Um, did you hear that the Australian Institute have come out saying that jurisdictions who have had harder lockdowns have a stronger economy now and throughout the whole pandemic in comparison to those states that let it rip? Really? I didn't hear that. Countess, Heiko, Faden, Bro, Draz, Battle, and Durr. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Oh, Krazy, that just... That makes my smug little heart happy. Ah, uh, hell no, we're not supposed to take them off while public transporting. I didn't think so. People do, but that's because they're fuckheads. Um... <laughs> Oh, crazy. That's, um, I think that's the best news I've got all day. That's fantastic. Hey, Metal, how you doing? Uh, according to our travel rules, Denmark still requires masking for all public transport. There you go. Brilliant. Woo, that one only took 2.5 hours because the extra oh, half hour was spent ordering fucking pizza. Chris, with the sub. Thank you so much for your sub. Much appreciated. So generous of you. Welcome to the Fianati. Um, okay. I'm still in Talador. Am I in the right battle for Azeroth? No, I need to go change my expansion. Uh, Melbourne has been interesting to say the least. Oh, I can only imagine. I mean, all of my family are in Melbourne. Like, all my family are in Melbourne. So I have been getting, like, little updates and things like that. Like, um, I, I remember, I think it was Father's Day... I think it was Father's Day. We had like a um, uh, a group, uh, like a Zoom call across like the entirety of my extended Catholic family. Yep. So um, I'm not Catholic, but um, some of them are, and and like like the grandparents were Catholic. So yes, it's large. Um, we have it's a family, um, <laughs> and uh, we were all on a Zoom call. And they're all talking about, oh yeah, you know, we've got this in our in our suburb and that's happening in this suburb and blah 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 and just talking about what they've been doing and what new hobbies they'd picked up and all this kind of stuff. And then one of them goes, Hey Fia, not obviously, hey Fia, what like what is it like in Brisbane? And I'm like, um well, the cinemas are open. Does that tell you enough? <laughs> like you can literally like it's fine. We have to wear masks in places, in some places, but, um, like, for the most part, everything's just kind of fine. We have, like, two cases. And they're all just like, shit. Fuck. At this point, they were in, like, round two or three of the lockdown or something. Yeah, it was just this huge big thing. There's so many cases, and I'm like, yeah, we are, a we are in single digits. All of them are in a hospital bed. We're good. <laughs> and they just, they couldn't, they were like, shit, that's unbelievable. And I'm like, yeah, well, you know. Um, get rid of in forever, let me check so I'm not full of poop. Border control has been rolled back now as of, as at 1am this morning, yeah. There's just no point anymore, hey. Everyone's fucked. Uh, two guys from Melbourne snuck over to WA to attend AFL Grand Final, got caught, both got three months jail. Look, um... Yeah, don't fuck with this shit. You will actually, like... If you, if you do the wrong thing and it turns out that, you, you know what I mean? Like, it's just not worth taking the risk. How would you feel if someone did the same thing that you were going to do and snuck interstate to attend some big sporting event or, or, you know, lied on their border thing so that they could get back to work faster or something like that and they ended up killing someone you loved? Like your your grandparent ended up being part of the cluster, or one of your best friends, or or like do you know what I mean? Like a colleague or something like that ends up dying because of that cluster that that person caused. How would you feel about them? Do you really want to be that person that someone feels like that about? I would never want to be responsible for the death of somebody. Never in a million years. So like, <laughs> fuck, you know, fuck. But, you know, people don't. People are idiots. Um, seems to go with them to change the 15th of December. Stand corrected. Think like that. It's stupid. Take mask off half the public spaces. WR Beacon of Light. They've done a great job. Um, oh, a scroll. Shit. Was that from... God damn it. Um, got an ad. Yep, you will get them occasionally. Um, I've got them set up to turn off pre-rolls so that people don't, uh, when they click on the stream for the very first time, they don't get scared off by an ad right at the very beginning. 
they're more likely to stick around through a mid-roll than they are through a pre-roll. Uh, new guidelines dictate masks on public transport at all times. Hallelujah! I'm asthmatic, can leave the house. I also wear a mask. It's different for different cases of asthma. Exactly. Yep. I imagine that there are, like, different levels of severity and all that kind of shit, too. Like, there are people who are asthmatic who can't walk without a puffer. And then there are people who can do shit, they just can't, you know, like, run a marathon. Do you know what I mean? Like, it, you know, it, it's super, super different. Individual bodies and all that shit. Uh, a week or is important? They can be. Um... It depends on the person, on the playstyle, uh, and how much information you can kind of pick up on naturally. Some people function far better with like a big audio boom to, to notify them of something. Uh, others operate far, far better when they have a visual reminder of something to do. Um, and some don't. And so like the, the best bit about weak auras is that they are highly customizable. Oh shit, wrong button. Um, the best thing about weak horrors is that they are highly customizable so that you can find, if you find something that triggers on something that you need to be reminded about, you can adjust them to fit your preferred or your needed, depending on how your brain works, your needed, um, notification style. Um, sometimes the, the blizzard notifications are enough. Like, a lot of the time they seem to be more than enough for me. Um, but sometimes they're not. Sometimes they need something that's a little bit louder or a little bit more visual rather than just a, an alarm sound or something like that. Uh, and then there are some guilds out there who use very coordinated, very almost choreographed um, uh, things for, for raids. You know, this group goes there and that group goes there. And if you have this go here and blah, blah, blah. So writing up weak auras for that, um, you know, something that says on the screen, go to triangle when you end up with a debuff um, can be incredibly exceptional if they want that level of coordination. Or you've got an individual raider who just cannot remember which marker they're going to, they're supposed to go to, um, which is fine. Like everyone has different levels of memory. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't call them necessary, but they are certainly important for some. Absolutely. Ah, uh, it's great. Hey, who would have thought looking after people's health would be so beneficial to society? Who to thunk it? As I continually say, as I continually say, there will be no economy if everyone is dead. <laughs> Almost like people create economy or something. Thank you. Exactly. Exactly. Ah, uh, that old pizza ordering ordeal. I did. I did. It was. It was a journey, and I'm so thankful you all came along on that journey with me. I'm not impressed with the border control rollback. It's also not surprised because they haven't actually been doing it into Queensland recently anyway. Oh, really? Okay, I wasn't aware of that. Um, But yeah, I mean, look, it's... It is a bit shit, but at this point, like... It's everywhere. It's everywhere. Letting in three more people is, is not going to make a difference, unfortunately. Um, yeah. Um, what about a world number one tennis player? Yeah, look, I... That whole thing is exceptionally controversial. There there are people who are against him because he's an anti-vaxxer. There are people that are for him because he's an anti-vaxxer. Uh, my approach to that whole situation is incredibly... Um... I don't know if pragmatic is the word, but it's the word that my brain keeps giving to me, but I'm not sure if it's the right one. So what I'll, I'll explain... If he has a medical exemption, that's the end of the story. It doesn't matter if the medical exemption that he has managed to get is a sham because he's an anti-vaxxer. He does not have to stand up and say, this is what I have my medical exemption for. He does not. If he has a medical exemption, and when I was reading through the stuff, it turns out like, so he has to, he got it from, from a doctor in the US and then he had to submit that paperwork to the Australian tennis Federation, peoply people, um, and they they verified it with like two separate people or something like that. They they had it. They had a um, like one of their officials verified the information, and they also had a doctor or, or medical professional on on staff who would also look at the exemption and verify that it was factual and correct, right, or, or met Australian standards or whatever it happened to be. If he has a medical exemption and it is verified by all of those people. That is the end of the story. He does not need to be vaccinated. If the Australian law is that he has to be vaxxed anyway and people with an exemption are still not allowed in, that's a different story. But I don't think that that's what the rule is. 
regardless of his personal opinions on vaccination, he does not need to provide proof to the general public of why he does not have a vaccination. That's bullshit. If I couldn't get vaxxed, it is absolutely none of any of your fucking business why I should, why I couldn't. If he has cancer, he doesn't have to tell anybody about that. It, it can, like, if, if he has some kind of uh, autoimmune condition, he doesn't have to tell anyone that. Not only does he not have to tell anyone his own personal fucking information that is hella fucking private, it may affect his career. If sponsors decide, oh, actually, if he's got that kind of sicknessy thing going on, maybe we shouldn't actually rush sign this contract with him. What if he gets sick six months from now and can't fulfill the contract? Uh, let's just be safe. Let's not offer him the contract. That's pretty fucked. But it can happen. It's not an employment contract. Therefore, they can discriminate like that. It could destroy his career if he has some kind of condition there that prevents him from getting vaxxed regardless of whether that's okay or not. It is none of our business what his mental, what, what his medical status is. If he has the exemption, that's all that should matter. But that's only with the limited knowledge I have of like the process and all that kind of shit that I've just gotten from a couple of news articles. But yeah, that's, that's my opinion. Um, I disagree vehemently with anti-vaxxers. Disagree vehemently. Get your fucking vaccinations if you are able to. But if he has an exemption and it's valid, then that's the end of the story. Um, uh, I don't have any grandparents left. Oh, dupe. Still get ads. Is that meant to happen or do I just have a buggy twitch? You have a buggy twitch. Please submit a ticket to them. Um, unfortunately, there's nothing I can do from my end about it. But if you notify them, they might be able to figure out a solution by getting all that data from all that from all those people who are having that issue. It is it is a known issue. They just can't figure out what the fuck's going on. I'm gonna dorm. My girlfriend in the kitchen had a co-worker girlfriend that lied about. So because a person four links away from me was an ass, I had to isolate for two weeks, and like six people in the kitchen got sick. Exactly. Like fuck that shit. Assholes. Assholes. Um sick um he doesn't have one didn't he lie on his visas in several other countries so their whole like he was it was found that he provided su sufficient information to the at uh, to the um australian tennis federation if he lied on his incoming documents that was a separate question that had to be dealt with with the by the immigration minister but his um his treatment at the border was like them not letting him in because all his documentation that he'd submitted through was was fine if it was lies, that was a separate issue. And again, don't lie on federal documents. Same thing as the stupid people who have go been going cross borders and lying about shit, not on. What I very specifically said was, if he has a medical exemption, then that's the end of the story. If he doesn't, then he's lied on federal paperwork and needs to deal with the consequences of that. But yeah, that's um, a... I know from Sydney recently, not one person in the whole airport checking passes or tests. Same for family member who drives over the border and back for work. No one checking. Oh, God. <sighs> Far out. Uh, he's lying in three countries, including his own, who are now investigating him um, after slamming our government. He's a spoiled brat. He's gone his own way for so long, he doesn't know any better. It's between you and your doctor, in my opinion. I agree, Chris. 100%. It's between you and your doctor. You and your medical professional, because it's not all, you know depending on, on the kind of issue you're going with. Although I think they, most of them are doctors. Some of them you don't actually have a doctorate for that particular um, stuff and things. But um, yeah, it's a, it's a whole thing. Um, came down to the fact that he had COVID that he caught from an event that went to another event knowing he had it, then lied on his forms about attending another country that is on Australia's non-entry. Yeah, if he lied on his shit, then yeah, no, that's fucked. And he deserves to be deported, but what from what i was reading at the time again it has been several days since i've read anything covid related if anybody if anybody tries to come into the country and is not vaccinated but has proof of a medical exemption that is verified by an australian professional then they should be fine do not and as an addendum, well, not even as an addendum, as a separate statement that is completely unrelated. 
Do not lie on federal documents. <laughs> I don't believe, I don't understand why that needs to be said, but apparently it does. Shut up, Morgraine. I've had enough of your bullshit. 9616. 9616. We are five days ahead. Entering the spirit world. Uh, it's complicated. Yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> not that complicated. He's lied in three countries. Australia's just the first country that didn't bend over backwards uh, the second they knew who he was. Uh, favorite junk TV was a reality show about Australian airports. Oz doesn't fuck about when it comes to their borders, who you are, and what you bring in. No, they do not. Like, we're an island nation. Like, our ecosystem is has been untouched for a very long time in terms of like introducing new species and stuff. So if you introduce a species from somewhere else, if you introduce anything natural from anywhere else, it could be carrying fucking anything that could literally tear apart our ecosystem and destroy everything that we've built the country on. We do not fuck about. Because we don't have, like, you, you know, you look at the US with borders with Canada and Mexico and stuff like that. You have so many creatures and critters and plants and pollen and stuff like that that can just cross the border because we can't, like you know, ask to see their passport and turn them away. Like, that's not how that works with nature. But in Australia, we have this natural border known as the ocean. So none of that stuff has been here before and any of it could completely decimate what we have. So yeah, we do not fuck about. We do not fuck about. Even in going from Tasmania to, to anywhere else in Australia, there are like entire bins you have to put any fruit uh, or vegetables and stuff like that you have in them because there could be something on there from the mainland that could destroy Tasmania. Like, <laughs> it's it's not, like, mm, yes. It's a whole thing. Possible consequences, a three-year ban from Australia. It could take a while to get that uh, next Oz Open title. Yeah, well, you know, fuck around and find out. As the kids say... Uh, if he was allowed in, it makes a mockery of our hard borders. Got a feel for the people who have been in born in countries they're trying to escape from, not allowed to lawyer up because they're out before getting the chance. Yeah, it's... Yeah, there are there are a lot of fucked up situations around the place. And I mean, like, this whole pandemic-y shit with closed borders and, and inabilities to, move, to leave houses and stuff like that has just been making life so much more painful for so many populations. Like, it's just horrendous. Uh, I can't handle celebrities that try to use their fame. That's pretty much what he was doing. Uh, try and being the Netherlands where people are traveling to Belgium to go shopping as ours are closed. Also, hey, Exo, how you doing? All right, I'm not on the DK anymore. I have to pay attention, sort of. Sort of. Um... Your new headset. Wondering, is your headset the G seven thirty three? It is, and if so, is it good and worth it? Yeah, yeah. It's um. So I haven't had before I got this baby. I hadn't had a headset in about five years. Um, my head is rather. I'm small. I'm five three. Uh, I'm a short. I'm a small, and um, I am kind of my. The rest of my body is in proportion, so my my head is quite is is smaller because my body is smaller, and so a lot of headsets um like the the cups would just hang like the whole thing had hang too low on my head the cups would press against the like the soft tissue underneath my jaw here um and it would end up giving me a headache really really quickly um the cups would also sit funny on the tops of my ears because they wouldn't be able to sit up over the top of them properly because they'd hang down again and so the like the top cartilage of my ear would just get burning pain like after not even half an hour or so because they just did not fit um, the G733s are supremely comfortable. They're, they're really adjustable as well. Like, um, so the cups have a little bit of slide there as well, but you might be able to see in here, they've got this bar here and there's two slots on the elastic band. So you can put it up on, like, you can put it in both of those. It's on both sides. So you can put up both of them to make that a bit higher. Uh, or you can adjust one side to put it in the middle, or you can adjust both sides to make it quite a bit smaller. Um, so it's, it's quite adjustable. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, it's quite adjustable in that sense. It's also super light, uh, which is awesome. The battery life is fantastic. Um, 
It is wireless, as you can probably see. Um, this is the shade Lilac. It also comes in blue, black, and white. Um, and the you can get the um, the baby elastic bands. You can get you can get separate ones. This is the one that comes with the Lilac Boogie one. Down. Uh, but you can get separate elastics to to like customize for your own sort of you know taste. Um, also, if you have a bit of a larger head and you find that after a little while the elastic is starting to loosen a bit um, and you're wanting something to like tighten back up again, something a bit um, more firm, then you can purchase a replacement rather than having to buy a whole new fucking headset. Um, <laughs> lovely. Uh, yeah, so it's, um, it is a bit more expensive. Um, the, oh, the also disconnects as well if you're not a fan of using the thingamajig and it, it bends quite substantially too so that's really nice um uh, what else can i think of that is lovely about it yeah i also have a g for uh, 435 which is this baby this is the white and uh, off white and lilac also comes in black and yellow and blue and raspberry um Again, wireless. This one also does Bluetooth as well. It doesn't have the RGB uh, on the front. It also, this is the microphone, so it doesn't have like a proper microphone microphone. Um, and there was something else as well. I don't know what the other thing was that I was going to mention as a difference, but this one is designed with uh, kids and people with smaller heads in mind specifically. This one has like a ton of adjustable space on it. Like it's it's super, super, super adjustable. I think that's to compensate for the fact that it doesn't have the adjustable strap at the top. It's just on the cups. Um, this is like wearing air. It is ridiculously light. This one is uh, just over half the weight of this one. Um, and plus it has the, as I mentioned, the Bluetooth, so you can connect it to your phone. Um, you can connect it to your Switch. Um, there is Bluetooth on the Switch. It's a little bit, I haven't like proper played around with it yet, but it's it's a thing that can be done. Um, yeah. There are some differences in the like audio quality and stuff like that. Um, I can't tell the difference, but um, like I'm sure people who are like audiophiles and stuff like that are going to be able to tell you what the differences are. I just can't. So um, yeah, that's kind of thank you so much for all of you spamming all the things while I'm trying to actually help somebody make a product purchase. I really appreciate that. Uh, <laughs> Um, but yeah, so that's kind of, yes, I would recommend these two for two, di like, very different situations, different, um, like, styles of, like, wh what you would be using them for and, and all that kind of stuff, uh, and different preferences, but, um, they're, they're both absolutely phenomenal. I've, I've really enjoyed using both of them in different circumstances, different situations. Uh, I started stream off with this one and then a person redeemed the mic cover, so I, I switched over. But um, that's why it's unplugged. But yes. Um, and that one's like cheaper by I think like a hundred bucks or something. So yeah, it does depend no, on what you're looking for precisely. But uh, both are, I believe, are fairly good options. I uh, heard that you are even careful with soil from other countries on clothes and so on. Yep, absolutely. Because microorganisms live in soil. Um, so yeah, you introduce that and it grows and it destroys our flora, um, you know, plants and shit. And if, if the plants get destroyed, then the, um, the animals who feed on those plants can't find food and then they get destroyed and then, yeah. Ecosystem collapse, yay! Uh, um, get in my sober. No, 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 it's fine, Krazy. It's totally fine. Um, th there is new information that I'm learning here. Um, the, the, my opinion that I provided was contingent on the knowledge that I had. Um, and, you know, if he has lied on federal documents, fucking smack him. Like, <laughs> this is my opinion. Do not fucking lie on federal fucking documents. Uh, I was definitely learned from things like cane toads. We did. We did. We made some boo-boos and we learned from them. Can't even buy garden seeds. 
Australia-wide, some are not to TAS, not to NT, not to WA, so much sure. Oh, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Small buying the headset now. Astro 18 quarters broken for the second time. Oh, no, time for wireless. Yeah, look, I... Oh, making the switch to wireless, even like with my, uh, cause I've got an iPhone and I had the, the headphones that come with it and I have AirPods that I use with my iPhone. Um, uh, sometimes the things that I'm doing don't allow for like a full headset. Uh, so I use the smaller ones cause they're, you know, more, uh, situation, situation specific, I guess. Um, but yeah, I bought, and I bought them before these came out as well. So, <laughs> um, but Wireless has just been a complete game changer. Not being tethered to something is just so good. Oh, was that more like Jurassic? It was. It was. Don't have to install IQ to use it. That's always a big plus. Uh, it seemed to be lightweight headset. Yeah, they're they're both quite lightweight, but that the the G forty five four thirty fives are ridiculously light like the only place so with this one I can kind of feel the pressure of the elastic band across there and I can definitely feel the cups sitting around my ears but with those ones with the G435s I, I the only place I can feel them on my head is just here where they sit on my on my face skin in front of my ears everything else is just the only the only kind of knowledge that I have that I'm wearing them is that sound seems to be a bit dulled and I can't hear myself speaking properly because obviously I'm wearing a fucking headset with cups around my ears, so. <laughs> it's a nice shirt, by the way. I know, right, Krazzy? It's, look, it's not bad, eh? It's not bad at all. I can't wait to see this year's design. Chat always being so helpful, EXO. Oh, I know, right? Mm, I'm so confused with all the sounds. There are, there are, there's a library. <laughs> There's a library of sounds. If you mouse over, if you're on PC and you mouse over the stream, there's um, little three boxes that'll pop out. One of them is like a purple one with CC, which is closed captions, so you can turn them on or off. Um, there's also a box that has like a pink swirly light bulb, and that's to control the lights behind me. And then there's another one that's like a speech bubble with headphones on. And that one, you can, so all those sound, of, all those sound commands are on a cooldown. They're all on a 60 minute cooldown, sorry I burped. Um, but if you want to play them off cooldown, you can do so with bits, but that also on a second level, um, kind of serves as a library of all of them because the names of each of them are their commands in chat. So that's kind of a list of them too. So that's cool. Helpful. <laughs> My razor crack and X. Nice. Back to start a brewing this year, Lenny and I haven't even had a chance to discuss the podcast starting yet. That's okay. Look, hey, shit happens, right? Life happens. Was merely a setback, a stepping stone to a much larger plan. Change this footage. I did. Oh, you all. Run away, little girl! Run away! <laughs> More outcasts. <laughs> no, no, I get to hear the sound of triggered. Oh dear. It's so strange. You seem to be like the only person who's actually having issues with the ads for subs. That's so strange. So strange. Oh, I should still play me scream trailer. Aww. Honestly, I really wish I had a bit of control over what ads played on my own channel. Um. That'd be really nice. I'm gonna max that's not gonna be reminded of work. Uh. 
He's been the only person in the raid who get DC'd. Being able to connect to the game. Oof. Yeah, I don't know what's like... Look, you're the only person who's told me, I think, that they've been getting ads as a sub. But I could be wrong. I do have Colander Brain. Let's remove scripts for ads. Um, but I haven't had Maccas since September last year. Well done. Well done, Abathy. Yeah, if you've got any, like, extensions on your browser that disable stuff, it might, in instead of disabling the ad, it might be disabling the script that detects whether or not you're a sub. So if you have any ad blockers, ad blocker ultimate, turn it off. Just here, whitelist just this page, like, just the channel. Yep. Just see if that works. Remember some Maccas? Which make it so you had to pick at least one category so you had more say in the matter regarding ads. Like... I, like, I guess they don't... Because, I mean... If we just say, oh, we don't want any of these ads on our channel kind of thing, then that would obviously be a problem for them because revenue and stuff. But, I don't know, just having... Like, you know, pick a minimum of X number of these categories, kind of. Like, I feel like that would be okay. But then what if they don't have any people buying ads from those categories? Will they force us to pick other Do you know what I mean? Like, I guess, I guess it'd get a little bit tricky for them to actually manage. But still, you know... If I had the ability, like, okay, this ad has been playing on my channel for a full week now. And I stream a lot... So people are going to see it a lot. Let's just disable that ad from now on. Everyone's seen it for like a whole week. They can see different ads now. That's probably how I'd use it personally. But I guess it's just kind of tricky for them to implement. Like in years, more of a BK KFC person. That was a drink, but the hydrator's off. It's, it's fucking soft drink. It's lift. <laughs> it's a different... Congratulations to Spam, Exo, and Neke on your bonus shit. If anything, this soda is probably dehydrating me, let's be real. Can you see what ads do play at all or nah? Nah. Unfortunately not. When my Twitch as it takes over the channel, if streamers talk about, let's say, a question I ask, then I miss it. Yep, yeah, I agree. I try... I try really hard to pay attention to when the ads are going and then like if if someone who has not got a sub badge asks a question wait until the time is finished before I answer it but I'm also really bad at that um I am trying to get better but I am also bad um so yeah it, it is I I much prefer there's there's a thing that they're trialing at the moment where the player just kind of shrinks a bit and an ad comes up from the bottom and then sits around for a bit and then it kind of goes away and the, the and so you don't miss any of the content. Um, but it's a very, I think it's a very, very limited test run at the moment and I don't think I've actually had any of those ads because I'm pretty sure they've only offered that option to ad purchases in the US as a trial. So because I'm Australian, um, there may not be any ads that have been purchased with Australia as a demographic that work that way. But I don't know. I don't know. I, I'd much prefer that style, though, personally, because um, we just don't miss anything that way. Uh, BK is so bad here in New Zealand. It's Hungry Jacks in Australia, and it's really good. There's some water in the soda. There's also other shit, though. They have them from McDonald's as an egg muffin that was three years ago. I would have guessed not, but I'm just a Lulu affiliate. No, that's... The other thing is, though, Krazy, because, of, um, because ads are served on a geographic basis... If we've got people here from the US, the UK, and Australia, and we get an ad, the UK person sees ad A, the United States person sees ad B, and the Australian person doesn't see an ad at all anyway, because they've already seen too many ads and they don't have any other ones to serve, because Australia has no fucking ads. Um, on Twitch anyway. So do you know what I mean? Like, so it's, um, like, it'd be really difficult to show me what people, especially when I'm sitting here with 85 viewers, how the fuck am I supposed to tell what 85 fucking people are seeing? They could all literally be seeing a completely different ad. Every single one of them. Which is, like, unbelievably amazing, but also, fuck, man. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Mr. on the need mana sound trick because the ad. Oh, no. Used to be good, really gone downhill. Aw, that sucks. Maybe I've killed my ad blocker. Refresh the page, of course! Enjoy, have fun. 
Damn, I could fuck up some Maccas right now. Yeah, it's cool. Hey, Krazy. Like, it's really, really interesting how it all works. Because, like, if I'm an advertiser, right? If I'm, let's say I have, let's say it's Bubble Tea Club. Um, Bubble Tea Club delivers to Australia, New Zealand, the United States, and Canada. Why the fuck would I want to show an advert, uh, like, an advert to someone in the Netherlands? Or in the UK? Or in Saudi Arabia? I don't ship to them. They're not my market in any way. They cannot purchase from me. Why do I want to spend money on their impression? I don't. So I specify only these four countries. Um, so yeah, so when, when an ad is played, um, you will get an ad from whatever, the, the bank of ads that they have to show to people from your country. Um, but occasionally they don't have many buyers. Especially, it seems like Australia doesn't have many ads on Twitch because Australia doesn't value Twitch as a fucking platform um, and doesn't value video gamers as people uh, who have disposable income. <laughs> have you seen our PCs? So, <laughs> so we don't have many ads that are available on Twitch because they haven't bought them from Amazon. We haven't, we haven't bought stuff from, yeah. So every so often when I play a 90 second ad, they'll literally get nothing. No ads. Other times they'll get one ad that's like 10 seconds and then that's it. Other times they'll get three 30 second ads. But you, there's also a way, um, like there is a sweet spot from a marketing perspective. If you see an ad once, it may not be enough for it to like lodge itself into your subconscious. Um, if you see an ad like seven or eight times, maybe that's enough that, that like when you kind of go, ooh, actually I did see that ad recently for that burger place. Maybe I want to go there. That sounds delicious. Um, but then when you see it like 20, 25 times, you're like, yeah, I want burgers, but fuck that place. They're annoying as shit. So there's this sweet spot of like, like stuck in your brain, but not so stuck it's irritating. So quite uh, what, what you may have in like an, in an advertising, like when you're purchasing ads as a cause is I don't want anyone to see this ad, any, indi excuse me, any individual person to see this ad more than X number of times. Um... And so if you've already se if if there are ads showing for Australia, but you've already seen them 10 times each, it's not going to show you anything. Even though someone else from Australia may see it because they don't watch as much Twitch as you do or something, you know? Like it's yeah, the whole thing is so fucking complicated. <laughs> but it's great. I want a burger. I would like a burger. Burger sound good. So I'm wondering if it appears in your post stream starts in February. No, no. All I get is um re revenue. Re re revenue. Yes. Uh, or Norway. Yeah, right, exactly. So we only get one on the same ad each time as a duchy. Yep. If no one if no one is advertising to your country, then yeah, you won't get anything. Australia has barely valued video games forever. Correct. Yep. All right, I'm going back to work in a couple weeks and we're going on a new computer. Yay! Amazing. Yay, we're doing another battle. Are we? Oh shit, I didn't realize what the time was. <gasps> oh my God. You know what? It's Friday. It's fine. Jesus Christ. I'm just having so much fucking fun with you lot that I totally forgot what the time was. Jesus Christ. We might have to start this one early, we'll see. Jazz knows that he, if he's unhappy and wants me to shut up, because um, I'm not quiet. <laughs> he knows that if he wants me to shut up and turn off the stream that he can message me. Uh, I think it was 2009, we finally got an 18 plus rating for games, a small political party used democracy for the win. Yep. Yep. It was pretty damn recent, not going big. I'm getting myself a good machine for the first time ever, so pumped and ready to get back to my job to start saving. Yes! Amazing. I'm gonna... Yeah. Uh, like all the ads in the middle of YouTube clips. Fuck those guys. Honestly, depending on how many ads there are and like where they're placed, if they're placed at a natural pause point between like two sections of a, of a, of a video, then I'm okay with them because I too am a content creator and this shit is expensive, yo. Doing this is 
fucking expensive to run and I still have the I have all the normal like it's not like all the money I make from Twitch can be funneled back into my content creation. I need that shit to pay bills. I need to pay for food. I need to like all that kind of shit. One day is all going to have to come out of my fucking Twitch revenue. <laughs> so like I I do not at all uh, hate on people for sticking YouTube ads in the middle of their videos and stuff as long as they are placed appropriately. People who just kind of scatter them randomly and be done with it, no. There should not be an ad mid-word. Unless, I, I look, I do think that the placement thing must be a little bit tricky because I've absolutely had people um, that I, like videos I've watched where they've placed an ad and it's right where it probably should be. Like, it's right at the end of a chapter. Like, they're talking about something, and then they finish, and then there's, like, a card that's, like, next chapter, and then it goes into more talking. And so they put it right before the card, but it cuts their previous word in half. So it's like there's half a second where, like, it, it kind of gets halfway through the word. Add. Erd. Chapter card, so it must be kind of finicky to place it exactly where you want it, and that kind of like I can't I can't hate on them for that. That's a that's a resource issue, not a dickhead issue. But yeah, people who have like a seven minute video and put like twelve ads in, yeah, fuck those guys. Um, so I have an ad blocker. YouTube ads are the worst. Uh, it's so freaking annoying. I'm the one to start, I'll cop him, but the middle, no. Um, the sounds, what is sleep? I've been staying up late this week because I'm in sick, can't sleep in the heat. Going to bed whenever, just waking up whenever, yeah, for sure. Just pay for YouTube premium. Never placed a natural pause point in CrossFit videos, though. Yeah, exercise videos are not, like... Unless you have a 30 second rest period and you just don't put the rest period into the video and just make it an ad. <laughs> That'd be kind of like, I'd, I'd be down for that. That's like fucking clever ass shit right there. But um, yeah, look. Um, just must be nice. I'm trying to get like you, my boy. Not really little, really little broke as over here. Yeah, it's uh, Ads are a really contentious issue, but, like, content creators get uh, deserve to be paid for their efforts, and running something like YouTube or Twitch is not free. They they need to pay to keep the servers up. Like, it's... <laughs> yeah. It's, um... it's You gotta pay for it somehow, and people who are not willing or unable to pay for things like YouTube Premium, you pay by watching ads. It's, it's as simple as that. Uh, I find TV ads worse, to be honest. Yeah. Yep. I mean, again, it's the whole, like, especially on free-to-air, um, you know, those ads, the revenue from the ads pays for the production to make the TV shows or to pay for the licensing to air the TV shows, depending on whether or not they're the producers or not and all that kind of shit. But, um, yeah, like, half an hour of TV with 17 minutes of ads. I reckon YouTube is pretty fucking better than that. Like, regardless of what you're watching. YouTube's a whole lot better than that, and Twitch is better again, usually. In terms of ads, but... That's just, you know, I, I know that my opinion is... skewed. I, I live on this side of the fence, you know? Um, I'm a content creator on a platform that uses ads to, to fund itself and to make the creator's revenue, so I, like, I understand that I am therefore biased, but at least it's for logical reasons, not just because, hey look, I got some money! Like, you know, it's... <laughs> I'm, I'm not about that life, it's, I understand that there is an unfortunate and evil necessity in this day and age. I just stretch breaks and long gaming vids and send to add then, yep, pretty much. I'm gonna take a pause here to stretch my legs, you should do the same, and I'm gonna drop an ad right here, so, uh, maybe do the thing. Mm, I don't make ads at all, I grew up watching network TV. Network TV. Is that, like, Foxtel and stuff in Australia? Um, I don't know, so Australia has free-to-air TV, which you just plug your TV in and into the building's, um, satellite, and it gets TV 
stations and you watch them, they're free to air. Uh, and then you have uh, like pay TV, which is things like Foxtel. Um, pretty much only Foxtel, I think nowadays. Um, and like my dad had Foxtel, but we were only with him for one weekend every two weeks. Uh, my mum couldn't afford to have Foxtel because we were a fucking single mother paying family. Like, <laughs> you know. Um, so yeah, we couldn't we couldn't afford for that. Uh, yeah. Don't mind ads on YouTube, etc. But Foxtel, why the fuck do people still buy Foxtel when there's more ads than free to air TV gives? Yes. Back when Dad used to have Foxtel when I was growing up, there were there were still ads on Foxtel. However. There were all ads for like other Foxtel channels or what was going to be on later that night. It was like trailers and, and um, all that kind of shit for like what's coming next or tune in at 8 p.m. tonight for or have you subscribed to this other bundle? This is what you have to look forward to if you do purchase this because the way Foxtel works is you purchase like the base package and then you can add packages of channels. So you have like History Channel and Discovery Channel and all those kind of things. Then you have like Nickelodeon and Cartoon Network and other kids shit. Nick Jr. and stuff like that. And then you have like a bunch of movie channels and they're another package. And then you have a bunch of sports, like ESPN and all that kind of stuff, sports stuff, and that's a package. So you bought, you paid according to your interests. You didn't get just everything. That would be entirely too expensive. Um, well, some people did, but. Um, so you would purchase different packages according to what you wanted to watch, like what you thought that you would watch and that kind of thing. Um, so it would often have ads for what was on other channels on other packages to, to try to entice you to purchase that package as well per month because it was a monthly payment, right? But then as I got older, yeah, they, they started having actual adverts. And I don't, yeah, why, why would you have ads on? Like, you're already paying to watch the content. Why do they, like... Did they just, did there was a decline in subscribers and so they realized they had to air ads to try to make the money to do, like, I, I don't get it. Why don't they just shut up shop for fuck's sake? <clears throat> oh, I'm on Netflix or TV. We're watching TV as football. Yeah, I, I use Netflix as well. That's, that's pretty much it. And people say, yeah, but this, what, have you got this subscription package and this one? And because, oh, I wanted to watch this on that one and that on this one and this on that one and this on that. And I'm like, I get that, but I don't have money for seven of them. So I just, if I can't, if it's on a different one, then I can't watch it. Oh, well, um, I'll just, I'll watch. Um, I'll find something on Netflix because <laughs> no doubt I'll find something. There's so much shit on Netflix. Holy shit. Um... Um, fuck Rupert Murdoch. Agreed. We start on Murdoch Bloody Parasite. Over the air TV. I'm still not sure what that means. All TV is over the air, isn't it? I don't think any- Oh, actually, I think Foxtel was actually, like, served via cables or something, wasn't it? I don't remember. Uh, Perks of Foxtel are really non-existent. Everyone's doing it better, cheaper. Used to be gold class back in the day. Yeah, well, this was before we had streaming platforms. Like, before we had the internet to support streaming platforms. This is back when we had fucking dial-up. Like, before we even had internet, Foxtel was a fucking thing, I'm pretty sure. Or just, like, a little bit after sort of thing. And it was so slow, loading up the, the in-box, in um, because there was, like, a TV schedule that you could open up and flip through what programs are available, and every page took approximately 10 seconds to load. Yep. Oh, I was fine. This is I hate when I go to mates and playing, paying for Foxtel. It's fucked. Yeah. I just... It's almost like it's a stubborn refusal to keep up with the times. I'm pretty sure even Foxtel has, like, a streaming service now that you don't need the box and all that kind of shit. Like, they have an on-demand streaming service. It's probably limited to shit, but, you know, still... Um, I don't have cable TV, pay for Disney Plus, Netflix, Amazon Prime, plenty of things to watch. Absolutely. Absolutely. Really want to watch Ted Lasso season two, don't have Apple TV, so just gotta suck it up and wait. Yeah. TV that with antenna on the back. That's just a TV though. I'm so confused. Age like So So you said you didn't deal with ads because you had um you grew up net watching network TV. I don't, sorry, I don't made ads at all. I'm not sure what made was supposed to be. I grew up watching network TV, so I don't know what 
like, are you talking? Like, that's why I explained what we had, like free to air, which was just you turned on the TV, plugged it into the wall, that was it. You're golden. You've got like some of them had like the rabbit ears thing, but that phased out like, God, the early '90s, even earlier than that, maybe the mid to late '80s. That was gone. You just plugged it into the wall and you had a, a like the antenna on the roof or whatever instead. But like that was free to air, and then you had like pay TV, which was Foxtel. Yes, PBS. Yes, this is all American stuff. I don't know what any of that is. Free to wear. Yep, yeah, that's why I explained it right after you said that comment to try to get us onto the same page. Um, perfect. Yeah, but I mean, so that's, yeah, free to wear here in Australia. That's the way you have 17 minutes of ads to 30 minutes of, like, slot. So a, a 30, like a half hour TV show would only actually go for... Oh, was it the other way around? Is it 17 minutes makes a half hour of TV show and you get 13 minutes of ads? That might be the way around it is. I don't, regardless, it's shit. Um, but yeah, so a half hour show went, or actually was only 17 minutes worth or 20 minutes worth or something like that. Uh, and the rest of it was just ad time. Um, uh, plus if you want to cancel Netflix, trade for it and you can. Not an hour long fight, then negotiations to cancel Foxtel. Oh my god, I know, right? Holy shit. Still costs a shitload. Um, I'm gonna allow that. Foxtel is trash, super expensive for stuff you can find on other streaming services plus ads. They finally realized they were dead in the water and created Binge, which is a Netflix. Ah, uh, Binge is okay. So Binge is Foxtel's. I thought they had like Foxtel Play or some shit like that. Or was that just like a short lived experiment and no one used it so they canceled it? Thank you very much. What the fuck? I. Yeah, okay, okay. Um, thank you very much for confirming that. I knew they had something, but I wasn't sure what it was. Much appreciated. Pretty well, boy, Automod is not liking me tonight. No, it's fine. Uh, I used to be here. Our show had approximately 15 minutes of ads. Yeah, nah. Not, um... Yeah. Uh, Foxtel also own KO Sport, which would be fine, but they suck me in telling me they have X Sport, but they don't. That, surely that's just false advertising and you could report them to the ACCC. Uh, Foxtel Play or Go, I think that's still a thing. Ugh, good lord. They also have KO, which is just sports, yeah. I do find it interesting, the rise of these, like, niche streaming services that only have one type of thing. It's kind of interesting, hey? Uh, I think Play is for people who have a Foxtel subscription want to watch it remotely. I think that might be it, too. Because I remember getting a Play subscription at one point but I used like a free trial and so I and then I cancelled it before it was done because I'm not a numpty and it was because I wanted to see like one thing that was a Foxtel exclusive in Australia um but didn't want to deal with Foxtel so I grabbed the free trial and then was done with it but I don't that was a long time ago I'm gonna nom. So one recently, I forget the name, it was all like rom-com type things, like all the same genre, I guess it would appeal to some people. Yeah, I got a, a while ago I got a, um, uh, like a free trial card thing to one that was all reality TV. At least with that, there are different types of reality TV. Like just on Netflix alone, I've been watching like baking competitions and then I watched an interior design competition thing and, and then there's, you know, your Desperate Housewives, well not Desperate Housewives, uh, how, uh, fucking... Kardashian bullshit and Housewives of Blah and all that. Like, there are so many different types of reality TV. So I can see why that niche might work a little bit better. But yeah, like all rom-coms, like... Okay, interesting. Uh, or it might be called Go, as mentioned by Married With Pets. I'm pretty sure that's what it was for. Okay, all right, cool. I think what sucks is how Channel 7 got AFL rights, then sold half to Foxtel, and you either have you have to either have Foxtel or KO to all games. Channel 9 played almost all games when they had rights. I feel like that's like Come, speak with me. 
Was that for this year, Fox? Because if that's the first time that that's happened, I would not be surprised if the AFL Let us speak. next round put in some kind of clause that they can't sublet half the games. Because that's like what it is, right? It's like it's like renting a place and then renting out one of the rooms to somebody else yourself. It's subletting. <laughs> like, and doing that with the, um... I can't imagine the AFL were too happy with that. Because they are the ones that would have copped all the complaints, not Channel 7. That was the biggest joke given all the shit they keep doing to make money for a not-for-profit organization. Hold your ground. We have to protect the wounded. I guess it must just be too expensive to keep running the games. I mean, to, you know, to compete with everything else, you got to keep ramping up and up and up and up and make it more and more and more of a spectacle and all that kind of shit, and I guess it's just... The, the price is getting out of hand and they can't figure out how to up membership prices or membership's dropping and they need to make up the numbers somehow. Okay, yes, they've been doing it for about six years with Foxtel. Right, okay. Well, well, if the AFL aren't upset about it, then I guess there must be... Channel 7 must be willing to pay a shitload more than anyone else for it because they can sublet welcome, it out like that. <clears throat> Destroy the intruder! These souls are nearly mine! why they do like I mean obviously there's the money thing like if they can sell the rights to X number of games to Foxtel they'll make a bit more money but I wonder if screening every single game was just impacting their programming too much and they couldn't find enough advertisers who wanted to to advertise during the AFL games and stuff like that and so it just wasn't worth their money to keep screening all the games, but it was worth it if they could screen, say, half of them. Like, I'm just trying to- thinking about it from a- from a business perspective. There's got to be a reason why they decided to do it. And either Foxtel's paying through the nose for it, or... Channel 7 were hurting because of the- what's it? CK3 is cursed at the moment, out of my- Bulgaria and Ukensko, Brittany of all things. I don't know what either of that means. Jas might though. I just don't know if he's here, he might be busy. Oh gosh. Yeah, this is definitely the last battle. My body has realized what time it is. <laughs> to put it bluntly. It's definitely about money. Yeah, I know, but like where it, it's, it's, it, of course it's going to be about money. Everything's about money. Um, everything business related is about money. End of story. But I wonder which part of the money bit it is. Cause like sometimes it can be because you can make a ton of money. Sometimes it's because it'll save you a ton of money. Um, sometimes it's because any other choice will lose you a lot of money. Do you know what I mean? Like it's, it's not always just a clear cut case of money. Um, there are hundreds of different reasons as to why you might make a decision. Hundreds of different reasons to why this may be the more profitable decision. Um, so I'm curious as to which one it is. I do not give two shits about most sports. Um, I mean, no judgment to those who do, of course. Like, you do you and have fun with it. And I hope you really enjoy watching uh, or partaking or whatever it is that you do with your game. But um, it's just not something that appeals to me. Um... But I am curious about why people make business decisions. Uh, relations where they aren't supposed to be. Yay for capitalism! Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, capitalism is why we have jobs, though. So, yeah, no. Obviously, without capitalism, we wouldn't need maybe the jobs. But it's, look, it's just... This is the world that we live in. Uh, wait, not Bulgaria. Hungry, my hungry is full of nudists. Wonderful! Hello, Mori. How are you going? Welcome on in. Could be worse, says Jas. 
could be worse. Uh, you don't do sports. Who boy, a little cross position is going to be brutal. You already knew that, though. You already knew that. You just have to... You, you are going to absolutely need to, um, like, your jumpy boxy things, I cannot do. End of story. I am unable to do those things. Um, so, yeah, like, I... I, like, there there might be some things where I'd be like, ooh, I'm not too sure, and I'll definitely give it a go. Like, I'll go through the motions at, like, 70% of energy level just to see how my knee behaves. But if it is, if it doesn't feel right, I will tell you and be like, nope. <laughs> and you're just going to have to accept it. Um, but I, I know that I, I trust that you'd be able to, you know, get through that. So. <laughs> um... Sorry, ads just come on. Perfect timing. Didn't hear reply. Oh, fantastic, Fox. Wonderful. Reply to, what did you say? Uh, definitely about money. Right. Okay. So the, of course it's going to be about money. 100%. You are correct. Um, but the thing with money is it's not always about, hey, this will get us the most money. Sometimes it's about this will get us the most money. Sometimes it's about um, this will, like any other choice will lose us more money. So this choice will be our, our smallest loss. Um, and other things can be about this will save us the most money. Um, like, do you know what I mean? So there's all sorts of, like, all of them, the the end result of all of them is more money than when we started, hopefully. Um, but there are so many different avenues to that end result, and I'm just kind of curious which one it was that made them make this decision. Um, exactly, did know that. I just became a coach. My gym, Congratulations! Part of that job is scaling workouts to deal with injuries or issues. I got you, fam. Oh, fantastic. I am still going to laugh my ass off um, when you try and do a flag. And you'd be like, what is your... Uh, and you're like trying to figure it out. And then Jas just goes like this. Boom. And then you're like, uh. And then you try and you just can't. <laughs> it is... Paul uses muscles that... I mean, I, I know that CrossFit uses, it's a lot of like, the whole thing is like functional fitness, right? So it's muscles that you use rather than just muscles that are pretty. Um, but like, Paul uses so many muscles that I didn't even know existed. I came, I came, like, I woke up one morning after doing a full on pole session and the muscles between the bones in my feet hurt. Not like bruises and not like a pulled foot, like not a, not a strained muscle, but like, they hurt because they had been used. I'm like, I use you every day. I walk. I run. I don't run. I, I do things with my feet. How? What? It was the weirdest feeling I've ever, the, like literally, it's like, you know, like these, the, the, these muscles in here between, between your bones and your tendons, except in your foot were sore as though I had overused them. Like, like when you, when your legs are sore, like, you know, when, when you've gone, when you've done like a leg day and you kind of go to sit down on the toilet and you're like, oh, it was that kind of feeling, but inside my foots. I don't understand, but it's fine. It's fun, and I like it. Uh, I'm a so die. It's all right, we'll spot you. You'll have two spotters. It'll be great. Watengi. Couldn't tell you. Sorry. No, of course, of course, of course. And that's probably not going to be, that's not going to be stuff that they share publicly either. But it, I'm, it, that's the kind of shit I'm curious about. Tangry Hungarians would make more sense than Adamites. Coptic's growing stronger in Ethiopia, which is nice to see. Then I can laugh at Alenia too, so win, win, win. All the wins. All the wins. Had Lollards as neighbors for a bit. Carlings folks forced them back to Catholic. How? I... Pff, fucked if I know. So what I was doing, what I was learning is, um, so there's a, there's a move on Zippo where you start on the floor and you put your foot sideways so the pole is here and the floor is here and you put your foot like that so you brace your foot around that so the outside edge of your foot is against the ground and then like you're there and you grab the pole like like this right and then you swing your other leg up and then you kind of pull yourself into the pole and you kind of slide into it so you're kind of in the splits but with your feet against the pole and the idea is that you eventually graduate to doing that up the pole so you climb up the pole and then you brace yourself down the bottom and then swing your other leg up the top and you're doing the splits or as close as you can get to up the pole holding the middle of it but you're like this far off the ground so that's what i was doing and we the ceilings were a little bit short so we weren't doing the top leg all the way up to do the split splits we were hooking the top leg 
So you end up making like a, tr like your knee is here and then it goes to here and that's your hips. And then your leg goes down there and then you're gripping the pole in the middle and kind of just sort of say, and then you can let go because the back of your knee is gripping and then you're like, hey, that's what we were doing. And somehow I overworked the muscle inside my feet. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Magic. <laughs> Chocolate and so it didn't switch. Does it get get crusaded? Does it mean you have Carly neighbors? Oh, it's a weird place. I can honestly say I've never had that. Well, there you go. I have experienced a fitness thing that you have not. Isn't that amazing? Heck, I have a Carly relative. Oh no! Through marriage release, Stabby Stabby. Two Cathar Dushies in central Aquitan. Surprised I haven't been forced back. Fuck me, sounds like magic, not gonna lie. It's all just friction and like brace points and shit. Night, night, Yori! See you next time. Thank you so much for hanging out. I hope you feel like amazingly better soon. I know you're like you're on the way, but like I hope you feel all the way better soon. Uh, de Yori, Spam, Neke, View, Solstice, Exo, Dupe, and Heiko. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Well done. Well done. Here we go. And another one. Amazing! Right, I'm not doing another one accidentally. I'm paying attention this time. Ah, oh, shit. I'm gonna give you your points back, Buwe. I'm so sorry. I totally screwed up again, obviously. My brain is off. I'm tired. Um, I have a stretch. Yeah. It's like magic, not gonna lie. Yeah, look. All is fun. All is fun. Uh, let's find someone to raid. Um... Okay, I think, I think, I think, I think, I think, I think, yes. Nope, shush. Ah, uh, worst case, it's going to be a good laugh and a great YouTube fit, if not a live stream somehow. Oh, fucking oath. Fucking oath. All right, let us grab this one. I just got a whisper from Blizzard Kayla Straz. Two of them! Double up! Goodbye. All right. Wonderful. Ah, Kenneth! Many thanks for playing the sound command with Libitz. Hello, Crixie. How you going? Welcome back. And that's a fucking report. Hell yeah, it is. You did it twice. Two messages, one after the other. And I'm like, really? I remember getting whispered from Blizzard back in the day for a big company that didn't spell the name very well. Yeah, I, yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's great. Um, I just realized I still had this up, otherwise you could have seen the report that I did. Oh well. Uh, we are going to send some love to Hydrax. Um, so we're going to pop this... Where are we? Games. This one. And then this one. Good. So! 
calendar. This is the January content calendar. I hope you like it. Today we're at the 14th of Friday. Today has been a 50-50 stream. On Sunday the 16th we will be farming more transmog using ATT, which stands for all the things. I hope that you'll join me. I'm working my way to getting 70% in all dungeons and raids up to Legion on Fear, on Mage, my main. We're like this close. Once that happens, once everything is minimum 70%, I'm going to move to a, a 12 classes, all the things. And so I'm going to go to the lowest percentage completion across all 12 classes and across all the dungeons and raids from classic all the way through to Legion. My spreadsheet is amazing. If I do say so myself, thank you very much to Jack for assisting me with those incredible formulas for pulling the correct datas. Um, but yeah, so that's what we're going to do on Sunday. Monday is Mount Fun Monday, because of course it is. We're going to get some more mounts. Wednesday is Chef Squad. It's motherfucking Chef Squad. I need you. Like, I actually genuinely need you. Chef Squad is a game that is played via Twitch chat. I am the head chef in a restaurant. Um, except I don't have any chefs unless you type exclamation hire me in chat while we're playing the game. And then when I, when you do that, you appear in my restaurant and you can customize your person and I can drag you to a station and then you can follow the instructions on the station to type into chat what you're meant to be doing, like chopping tomatoes or, or boiling pasta or whatever it happens to be, and then serving it out. And we have to like do as many orders as we possibly can in, in the time limit for each day. And I'm so excited. You guys are gonna be voting in chat on the menu each day, all this kind of shit. I am, I'm so keen, I'm so excited. Followed up by Friday next week on the 21st being Wrath Time Walking. The reason that's not 50-50s is because the 22nd is our marathon leveling stream. I hope you'll join us for that as well. 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. All of this is in the schedule. If you scroll down and click Fiamma, like where it says like about Fiamma, if you click Fiamma, it'll take you, there's a tab that says schedule. It converts it all to your time zone. All of my stuff is in there. Um, and so you can have a scroll through, see when all these different streams are gonna be. Um, but yeah, it's amazing. It's amazing. Um, uh, who are we reporting? Oh, I got a message from from Blizzard with one Z and an a, like a, an accent on the I from Kayla Straz telling me that my account has been flagged as suspicious and I have to go to www.us battle no us warcraft warcraft.net or I it was like us battle wow.net or some shit I don't know to to flag my account my account is not suspicious yeah they're fucking spammers um. I don't have to watch you anymore. I'm sorry, Crixy. Time zones are a bitch. Damn kids, indeed. Boom, back to level 10 in classic hardcore after my 20 day. Oh, crazy. Oh no, Chef Squad is fun AF. I've never played it and I really, really want to. Does that require me earning anything or is it all based on Twitch slash browser? The game is free. I install the game. You play in chat. That's it. You don't need anything other than what you already have in the chats. Ah, uh, fuck, I'm off on a holiday. Lame. That sounds awesome. It is going to be awesome. Super, super awesome. All in browser, nothing new but your fingers. Yes. And maybe your ears, because I've been telling you what to do. <laughs> and maybe your eyes, to be able to see where you are, which station you're on. Uh, cool, sounds fun. I will try and remember to be here to join in. Fuck yes. Fuck yes. Um, sounds legit. It's going to be fucking batshit. It's going to be coatic. Wait, okay, it's chaos. Chaotic, right? Chaos. But I once did a typo where I switched the O and the A, so now it's coas. Um, so we, yep, yeah, so it's coatic. Yep, it's fine. Um, I don't know if you still have invites. I thought one. Yeah, sure. Absolutely. I think I've, I think I've got one. I'll have a look and I'll send you a ping. Send you a ping. You can listen. Or see. Fantastic. Brilliant. Look, we'll try. See what works best for you. But yeah, that's, that's what we've got going for like the next seven days. I uh, love chaos energy. Fuck yeah. I mean, we have to, right? We gotta, we just gotta roll with it. Gotta roll with it. Um, oh, we're gonna do this. Boom. Excuse me, and then we're gonna do this, if I can spell correctly. Grab your copy paste. If you don't have the Fiamma hype emote, either because you're not subscribed or because you haven't unlocked it with your channel points, your embers underneath chat, either of which are totally fine. You can still copy and paste the entire raid message, delete where it says Fiamma hype, and pop in your favorite happy hypey celebratory emote instead, and then drop it into Hydrax's chat when we get there. Hydrax is currently running some keys. It looks like they're viewer keys. It's gonna be fun. I like Hydrax. He seems like a cool dude. 
I'm a Pokemon too. Want to play it so bad? Fuck yes. Come play Pokemans. It's great fun. Um, thank you so much to all of you for hanging out with me today. This has been so much fun. Um, I'm excited. We're so goddamn close. What did I get to? 49 on the mage. So I got two 50s and another 49. It's the exact same as I did last time where we're going to be fine. But I also got pizza, so that's a bit different. Uh, another time working next week. I'll come. Oh, it'll be definitely open to everyone. As many people as who want to come along. I'm going to be rotating through a bunch of characters, so it'll be great. Um, take care of yourselves. Be nice to each other. And I will see you on Sunday for Transmog. All the love. Bye.